morning. Mm. 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 Good morning, everyone. Still, still, got, a a still got a little morning. bit of a cold. Bit of a sniffle. A bit of a sniffles. Bit of a sniffles. How are you, lovely? I'm really good. Yeah, really good. Really good. I like yeah. it that we're sat together. It's nice. All it is five nice. hours. All yeah. five hours. It's and it's gonna, it's gonna be lovely today. I can't stop looking at these strands to your right hand side. They are I've chosen my favourite. Which already. ones now we're talking? The one on the left. The moo kind. The moo kind. Shall I show you? Oh my word. It's your deal of the day. This and is it's one deal of the, of the day hour. most beautiful pieces. And even Dan, who's looking after us on floor today, who's not into jewellery, he loved this necklace. It's cool, isn't it, yeah. Dan? It's amazing. It's cool. Yeah. Do you want to know really my favourite? Cool. I clocked these, Anne and Sue, on your social media. Here you go, that's my favourite. Wait a minute. Do you want to see Ross's favourite? They're amazing. I love a good gem show, gem, gem show, show case. Yes, it's a whole it. hour and, of and doing the day. It's one of our favourites, isn't it? As well. Do you want to know um, our Adam's favourite? <laughs> Have we all got favourites? Honestly, <laughs> we've all got a different favourite today. Oh, look at this. Ooh, faceted moo kite. Amazing. Yes, it's an hour of Mukai today. Brand new, never been And this is the deal of the day hour, is it? Yes. 10 o'clock. Yeah, look at this. Look, look at this tea bar of goodness. Tea bar. And it's almost wow. like I got the memo, the Mukai memo. You did? Yeah, and by the way, your jewellery memo. Because look. Bless. It's like I'm perfectly oh. colour coordinated. <laughs> I would love to say I planned it. I didn't. I didn't, not at five o'clock in the morning. That doesn't happen. But look at these, look at these. They're coming up as part of Mark's amazing kits. Absolutely oh. beautiful. Mark as per usual. Oh, I love amazing, them. Aren't they? I've, been, I've been wanting to have chandelier drops and pendants and earrings for years and years and years. And we finally got them today. So I'm really, I'm looking forward to bringing these to you. They're amazing. And these kits are super affordable as well, so aren't they? So I understand. So, well, you yeah. know what? It is going to be an absolute <laughs> cracker of a show today because you've got Mookite for the entire deal of the day hour. We have some of your all-time favourites. We've got Neon Appetite coming up within this hour as an early bird, which is unbelievable. Tubes. Tubes. We like a good tube. We do love a lovely tube, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Um, so look at these. Look at these. Brand new cabochons of Neon Appetite. They're 6.15 carats. Do you know what I'm doing on the 19th? What are you doing on the 19th? For the first time in Jewelry Maker history, I'm going to be gem setting live on air. Yes, Mark! <laughs> Do you know, I've had my gem setting kit for six years. That's not with us. And I've never used it. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be good. That's going to be good. I'll tune yes. in for that one. Yes. Um, we've also got Larimar. Rounds. In rounds. This is coming up at 11 o'clock. They're the only oh. two uh, round strands that we actually have in the entire jewellery maker vault. We know one location. Oh, look at the colour from that distance. Isn't it absolutely, absolutely. amazing? Love and it. they're coming up at 11 o'clock. Uh, six to seven millimetres. And then these oh. are four mil. You've also got the most amazing double trouble opportunity. Last of stock, naturally coloured pearls. Shop ahead on these. I, I, I don't get it. These are naturally coloured. Beautiful. Um, the price already on the website is amazing, but it is going lower. So you can shop ahead. Know that they are last mm. of stock. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, you can click watch live. Look, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. They see me scrolling. That's as much as I know there. <laughs> They're waiting, <laughs> something like that. Da, 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 right Crazy lace. Day. Oh, oh, look, line. imagine that Sleeping Beauty alongside the Larimar. Amethyst, Fancy Jasper, Sandstone. Oh, I love the Keshi Pearl. Amazing lineup. And we've got a big star by in the nine o'clock hour of amazing. And we haven't seen these nope. for a long time, no. have we, in Sapphire? No. Um, your Briolette drops. So if you were thinking something like this um, in Sapphire, this would be absolutely perfect. Natural Sapphire, no less. Not oh, heat treated, not fissure filled, not diffused, or Mother Nature. Um, so it's going to be a jam packed oh. show. Your kits are incredible. Your so jewelry is incredible. Nine o'clock, it's all about, as we mentioned, it's all about chandelier drops and chandelier pendants, really boho. It's a really nice boho hour, actually. Love these. And then in the 12 o'clock, um, we've got our masterclass, and I'll, um, I'll bring the jewelry in at 10 o'clock. Ooh, yes. At 10 o'clock. But um, 
And if you've always wanted to know how to add thread to your seed beading projects, I'm going to show you step by step the easiest way to do it. Yes, because actually that must happen. Well, the, the technique, you can see them over there, the technique that I do, you will need three or four lengths of thread, you see. I see. So I'm going to show you how to add thread. So remember to record the little 12 o'clock hour. So that you can, if ever you're in that situation, yeah. you know you know what to do. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, um, literally every single hour. There is, I did some serious shopping cool. yesterday and today I'm going to think it's going to be lots of <laughs> Um Shall we get cracking? It's your, it's, it's your viewer's choice hour. Remember everything is locked and loaded. Um, you have until the top of the hour to make your confirmations. We're going to start with five items, says Ross. Under five pounds. I knew he was going to say that. Did you? Yeah, I just had this. I didn't have that. Mm, didn't you? No. Is that a classic Ross? I think it is. Have I yeah. not picked up on this yet, Ross? Sorry, I'm just a bit slow on the uptake. There he is. He loves an under five. Hi, Ross. How are you thought, doing? Ross was very casual today in his attire. Normally, he's, he's not saying he's never smart, but he just he looks a bit sort of yeah. A bit more relaxed today. The easy wear. Our lovely easy wear. Easy wear, that's it. I think he's going to be having a couple of Guinnesses yeah. tonight. All right. <laughs> Are you having Guinnesses tonight, Roscoe? Ooh. No, he says he'll wait till the weekend. What about you, Adam? You can have a Guinness. No, because he's working. No. Are you going to have a Guinness? Oh, I'm working uh, well, I'll tell you what. Tonight, mm. do you know what I'm doing? I'm having mm. a glass of wine. Yeah. We yeah. don't have wine during the week now. We have make me feel bad about Saturday and Sunday are our wine days. Yeah, make yeah, me feel bad about good. it. I'll probably have a glass of wine tonight <laughs> and probably one on the weekend as well. Oh, well, why not? <laughs> why not? Right, let's get cracking, shall we? Five opportunities all going under five pounds. Yes, you can shop ahead or the W's at jewellerymaker.com. Oh, no. Should we start with the tubes? Beautiful tubes. I love this colour. Ooh. No way should these be under five pounds. No, honestly. because you think about how difficult it is to facet any gemstone yes. um, into a tube, that cylindrical shape, and then to drill through the centre. Mm. A very long drill hole in tubes as yeah. well. Yeah. You always have to remember that. I would imagine there must be quite a lot yeah. of um, casualties during well, the drilling so. process. And, and I think with tubes, they drill in from one side halfway, and then they drill in from the other end halfway. So the meat in the middle has to be absolutely perfect. So the care and attention to drilling a tube a tube. Must be, um, must be quite hair-raising, as you said. And as you said, lots of casualties, I would imagine. And perfect <sighs> for your SOS, no, for your Morse code jewellery. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, not, yeah, so uh, the, you, these you are good for the adjusters. Yeah, perfect. Um, I love Lapidolite because it actually has, you can see on this mm. photograph now, it has oh. areas of uh, like silvery chatoyancy within. If you're a fan of uh, gemstones like your Sharite, I think Lapidolite is going to be right up your street. We're already at £5.99, right. but that's not under five, Ross. Um, let's get interactive. Come and text in, say hello. What are you up to this weekend? Are you doing anything nice? Under five pounds for you today in wow. your tubes, but we're not even stopping there. When Ross says under five pounds, it doesn't mean buy a little penny. That's you know, most of us round up, don't we? So uh, wow. that's under five pounds. What are you doing this weekend? Well, I'm here on Sunday. I've got the morning show on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Saturday, maybe gardening, I think. Lovely. Yeah. Is it we had, we, nice had we had a mammoth garden session last weekend, and uh, and those who knew, we managed to put down two and a half tons of, of manure. Whole manure. I bet you were popular. It didn't. It was. It was. It was really quite sweet smell. Actually, it wasn't because sometimes if it's too warm, it, it's quite pungent. But pungent, this was, yes. This was, and then all the rain came and washed it all. So it was. Oh, real, so the, yeah, so you've got happy flowers. happy flowers. Happy flowers. Happy flowers. Not stopping at four pounds ninety nine. In terms of technique, what could I use these with? I mean, we said the sort of Morse code. So you've got your Morse code. So I'd have to go with the Laramar. I think the formula Laramar as the dots, and these be a dashes. These are really good. Do you know the technique um, with carrier beads, with the little seed bead belts that go around yeah. them? You could put little seed bead belts around the centre of oh, your tubes if you lovely. wanted to, to do little carrier beads. Beautiful. That would be really lovely. Use the 15 O's, that'd be really cute. Would you colour contrast or would you go for no, something metallic? completely contrast. So I think the turquoise blues. <sighs> £3.49 uh, pence only to get hold of these. I love amazing. the colour. It's quite a distinctive colour of lipidolite, it is. isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. It, it's almost like a, a fruit compote colour. Oh, yes. Mm, check me out. <laughs> check me out, Lou, referencing the fruit compote. Um, look, I'm just, I, 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 when, when I was younger, I worked very briefly in a Michelin starred restaurant. Oh, did you? Loved it because you got to taste all the delicious food. Right. 
Um, yeah, but so you I know don't know about compotes and coolies. I mean, I wouldn't say I know all about it, but I've I've tried a few <laughs> in my time. Um, Three pounds and forty nine pence. Look at all of you there. Good morning. Hello, Lincolnshire. Claire. Hello to you, Staffordshire. Hello, Linda. Kay. Karen. Karen. Susan. Iris. Hello to you, Cynthia. Uh, Susan. Caroline. Wiltshire. Maya and Powis. Hello to you, Jean. New customers. Helen and Dumbartonshire. Good morning. How many did we have then, Roscoe? Fifty. Oh. Yeah, it's quite busy today. And we don't often see tubes. We don't often no, see them. I love tubes. One of my favourite shapes. Yeah, because you could really treat it. It's, it's the gemstone version of a bugle, isn't it? Yes. It is. <laughs> wow. OK, I'm done now. I've peaked. Have you peaked? <laughs> <laughs> Literally peaked. It's all down here from there. Hiya, Joe. Um, what's that? Orin, my friend's oh, grandson. What a lovely name. name. Uh, can't say lapidolite. He says... Pipidolite, not quite there, but at least he likes the gem. So he's only four. Oh, oh bless, bless him. him. That's pretty impressive, amazing though, to name. be honest, Joe. Orin's Orin, beautiful. That's amazing name. Beautiful. Willow, who's five, can't say tiger's eye. She says ti tiger eye. She has to separate it. Oh, oh yeah. And, and we had, uh, I, I mean, I won't say the word she actually said, but Willow was reading to me um, the other day, and she's, uh, she's doing really well with her mm, reading and yeah. whatnot. And she's trying to spell out a word, and let's just say it's not in the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> it, I was like, no, let's try that one again. Definitely doesn't say that. Hello, Jane, saying good morning, you two lovely people. Ah, oh, oh, Mark, you. your package is being posted Ooh. today. Ooh. I had, a, I had a cryptic message from Jane basically saying, now you've moved buildings, I've got a little present for you. Would it be safe to take it to the new, to the new building? And I said, with all the, with all the hobby maker and sewing street, it might be worth... So I gave her my home address. Did you? Mm. Did you? So it's coming today. Yeah, it, 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 it's. Um, we had. I had an issue. Susie made me something. Oh, that's your gone necklace. Missing. Yeah. yeah, it's gone missing. Mm. Magnesite, magnesite. What rondelles? Oh, again, we don't see it. Be perfect with that. Exactly perfect combination. Yep. Spot on. They do go together, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Like bam, alam, alam, dingy, ding, dong. Oh. <laughs> Bit of grease for you. They do. Oh, we don't see yeah. magnesite very often in the rondelles, and what a shame that is because it's so beautiful, isn't it? Perfect. That is so beautiful. A fantastic alternative to that of your turquoise because they have distinct similarities. But don't think the magnesite's in the shadows. This is still a beautiful gemstone. Um, I love it. It's much more affordable than turquoise would actually be. Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. But we're not stopping there. Like I said, our Ross doesn't like to take. When he says under five, we're not talking about a penny. Like, no, no, that's just not cricket, is it? Not cricket. How many do we have of these? It's on my bucket list. To go, go to some village green on a Sunday afternoon with a bottle of Pims and watch a cricket match. Can I come? That Quite sounds amazing. That. Yeah. Um, I, I like, I like 2020. Oh, yeah, yeah. My mum likes 2020. Yeah. It's just done and over. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Um, Adam's a big cricket fan. He says he'll take oh. you. Oh, brilliant. I'd love to. That's on my bucket just, just, just to see a, you know, a Sunday afternoon village cricket match. Did you, do you like cricket? I quite like cricket, yeah. I don't get it. No, no. I don't get it. No. I quite like watching it. I don't actually it. understand it. Um, and considering I used to go out with a cricketer, that's saying something, right. isn't it? Yes. <laughs> uh, it tells you how many games I used to go to. Uh, 4 99 not stopping there, though. Look at that. Beautiful linear, um, wonderful pop of colour, perfect for the forthcoming summer months. Going really low, says R. Ross. Uh, I love these. I love magnesite. I think it's one of those gemstones that deserves to be on a, a higher platform than it actually is. It's still <laughs> £2.49. And the rondelles, this, this particular size is perfect for your micro kiss cross. Is it? You can, you can, you can use... do kiss cross rondelles. This would look absolutely beautiful. So it doesn't have to be circles? No, 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 no. It could be any shape. But this, this in particular. It will show a lot because of the shape of it. It'll, yeah. it'll expose a lot more of the bead shape as well. It's really nice. And that colour, of course, will pop through, yeah. won't it? I'd go, for, I'd go for a bright orange. Yes, I was going to say the yeah. same. Bright, bright orange. Yeah, really beautiful, yeah. vibrant, like a citrusy mm. orange. Yeah, I think it'd be lovely. Perfect for the summer months. Look at how oh, many of you are well there. Done. Good morning. Don't be shy. Come and text in and say hello. We are live here in the studio. Uh, you can message us by the website as well, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. Make sure you start your message right. uh, with JM Studios. What are you up to this weekend? Are you doing anything nice? Anything special? 
Um, not doing anything. Do you know what I'm looking forward to tomorrow? So every other weekend, on my short week, so this is my short week, obviously, yeah. um, Tiggy goes to the childminder in the morning, just the morning, so that I can get things done that I haven't been able to do throughout the course of the week. So I'm going to have my hair done. Oh. Uh, I'm going to have my nails done. I, like, I genuinely can't remember the last time I actually did that. A little bit of L time. Oh, so looking nice. forward to it. Aww. So I'll be like that. Off you pop, Tiggs. <laughs> I'll pick you up at lunchtime. Uh, 2.49 only. Morning, Denise. Morning, Caroline, Jane, Helen, Lisa, Sarah, Kay, Isabel, Karen. Uh, Steve, I'll keep dialing through. Um, shall we do some a different colour of magnesite? Oh, this is cute. So you could use this as your kiss with the larger rondelles as your bead and then choose your seed bead nice. colour. Nice. I think a copper would be really nice as well. Yeah. It? No, we've got 90 of these. Right. He, just meant, he said a basket opener. He said that it's embarrassing. Oh, embarrassing. I don't, okay. I'm prepared to be embarrassed. Oh, no. No clock, we're just going to go straight to it. There's 90 of these available within the vault. How you close to that Larimar colour is that? Oh, no. <laughs> Stephen, what's that all about? Man? You're right, that is, that is embarrassing. We can't do oh, gemstones for £1.49, for That's goodness sake. That's ridiculous. For goodness sake. Perfect, isn't it? Look at that. I don't think I pull off that stern, Ross, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh, £1.49! No. Looming, sea beading, That's spaces. less than a litre of petrol. Oh, God, don't. Half I'm... a tank I put in this morning, £60. I know. I'm, I, thought I'm... We, I thought it was going down, but it's not. No, no. I'm running on vapours and I couldn't even get to a petrol station oh, no. this morning, so I might be walking home. Gosh. I know, I know, I know. Will you give me a lift, Adam? Thanks. Um, running on, literally. <sighs> Hopes and dreams. Um, <laughs> £1.49 pence only. The world's gone mad. Uh, 15 oh. carats of this beautiful, very Larimar esque, yeah, as you incredible. said. Yeah, incredible. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They're yeah. going for your, for your kiss cross. This will make the perfect centre bead of your crosses. Lovely. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and wow. I would use them as little separators. Mm, so absolutely. Instead of knotting, yeah. maybe put that pop of colour in idea. between. Yeah, yeah. They'd look lo lovely with that kits. Pink, with the pink kit, I'm thinking. Ooh, ooh these yeah. earrings that I'm wearing. So these are... Smoky uh, quartz. Smoky quartz. I'm, uh, yeah, this is turquoise, uh, perfect combination. If I hold it up next to it, you get the idea. Because one of my ultimate favourite is Amazonite and smoky quartz. So this is, this is perfect, isn't it? So I'd replace those little rounds of smoky quartz with these just above the drop. Okay, yes. Amazing. I like, uh, yeah, I like that. Mm. Really beautiful vibe to those. Again, perfect alongside the gold of your uh, chandelier earrings. One pound and 49 pence. We had 90 of them. I don't think many people will be buying just one. No. It's going to be no. one of those multi-buy. You could do the cuff, couldn't you? The loom? Uh, they'd be perfect on the loom. Yeah, or oh, do your peyote, you can treat the it peyote. as a seed bead. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So I like the much loom potential. idea, bead loom idea, would be lovely. So much potential to a two mil round. You know, yeah. some people are actually quite intimidated by their uh, yeah. sort memory of Memory wire sizes. bangles, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Memory wire rings, actually. Yes. That would look really nice. Have a, have a um, magnesite ring. Love that, love that idea. Good morning and well done, everybody. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Um, let's now do what, sorry? You can't take K2 Jasper under five pounds, though. Watch me, oh, says Ross. No. I like it. Did you like that I'm, sass? I love this gemstone, but I've always given it a nickname. And it's not derogatory, it's quite a cute name. But okay, go on. <laughs> I call it the Bingo Dibber gemstone. What's a Bingo Dibber? So you, you, if you don't, you've not been to Bingo. Uh, oh, I have. Well, in the old days, you used, to have a, you used to have a biro and you used to <laughs> do a little circle around it, but now you have Bingo Dibbers, so they're big permanent markers with a big flat spongy end and you, yes. just, and you dib and it's like and this reminds you of the little bingo dibber marks that you get on your bingo pad. yeah because that's as you're right that's isn't right. it which yes. has been rained onto yeah. mine in one yeah. location um the uh, basically at the k2 mountain never been under five pounds i'm putting it alongside the magnesite because that's going to accentuate Absolutely. the blues yeah, that yeah. are naturally present within your k2 jasper um, K2 Jasper has, well, it is a Jasper, and then it looks like Azurite has rained on top of it. Be mindful of synthetics and foes that are actually out there. Um, this is the real deal, genuine. Um, I believe second most dangerous mountain in the world. 
the K2 mm. Jasper, yes. uh, the K2 Mountain, yeah. not yeah. the K2 Jasper. Um, so you can imagine um, sort of the extremes really that the miners go to to facet this gemstone or uh, mine this gemstone rather. Three pounds and ninety nine pence only. In your little coins. They're beautiful. Loving yeah. that. Little In your little pips, coins. Yeah. Again, super, super versatile. They could work alongside Mark's amazing kit. Um, make sure you check out those baskets, everybody. Three and a half mil. I can't see you, Ross. Is this wrong with our call screen at the moment? Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Um, Eva, like hello to Jacqueline, Tyne and Ware, Karen, Kay, Bedfordshire, Helen, Lynn, Gabrielle, Cynthia. This is normally a gemstone that if we see it, it's in a, it's in a showcase. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's amazing. I remember the launch of this. Yeah. Everyone was just amazed. A, where it's mined from. Yeah. All to do with the, you know, the K2 mountain. But it's just that amazing blue. It looks like dendri dendritic agate, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But then with that pop, yeah. natural pop of blue. As you're right, as a it is a gemstone, but it's very soft. So you couldn't actually really work it into your jewellery making. So the fact that it is present within your, um, your monochrome jasper uh, makes it workable and makes, it, uh, makes us able to enjoy those beautiful, beautiful blues. Um, I genuinely can't remember the last time I actually saw K2 Jasper on our screens. It's been a very, very, very long time. Good morning. Hello. Morning. Hello. It's Liam, look. What are you doing in at this time? Always busy is our Liam. Always busy. Say hello, Liam. We can see you. Hello, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> You're such a card. What a card. Um, lots of you there. Again, with the kits that we've got coming Absolutely. up in the 9 yeah, o'clock yeah, yeah. hour. Amazing. Because they are them. perfectly wearable on earrings and things like that. Mm. I'm loving these, Mark. Again, it's a, it's a bit on me, isn't it? I love get, getting things like which is which is why I've been given the the, the gemstone setting kits. I'm being pushed because yeah. because I'm in that comfort zone at the moment, and I'm happy in that comfort zone. But I just need that little little push to step outside yeah. that comfort zone. Yeah. Um, speaking of neon appetite is coming up. These kits are coming up in the nine o'clock hour. But right now, what did you say? Tourmalated oh. mo moonstone. Moonstone. That one's there. <laughs> <gasps> Turbulated moonstone. Um, Look at this. Oh. Now imagine moonstone, but clean white body colour. Of course, you get that wonderful shiller, um, the beautiful spectrum of colour that magically occurs within this oh, gemstone. But even beyond that, you have tourmaline within inside. Literally tourmalated shards that have naturally formed within your moonstone. So it gives you... Um, this really beautiful monochrome, um, monochrome impression, challenging to cut any gemstone actually, which has rutilations inside, because um, potentially they can cause a weakness during the cutting process. Now imagine doing that at two mil sizes. It's uh, it, it's fascinating, isn't it? Um, again, I can't remember the last time I actually saw Moonstone. I can't remember the last time I actually no. bought you tourmalated Moonstone. We're at five ninety nine, but you know we're not even stopping there. So much, if I could, and I understand sort of eyesight, dexterity and things like that, but if you're working with things like needles, beading needles, mm. they actually jump on quite easily, yeah, don't they? Absolutely, no, absolutely. I think this would just be perfect with the, with the K2 we've just had. Yes. This thing would just be beautiful. This is so lovely. We're not even gonna stop at 4.99. It's just perfect. What about oh, this? Oh yeah, yeah. I love that combination. It's a nice little boho mm. kit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That collection of beautiful rare gemstones, you can get hold of, well, for significantly under £15. £1.99 pence only to get hold wow. of your uh, tourmalated moonstone. So you get the shiller, you get the magic, you get that pure linen, fresh white body colour, and then you get these fabulous striations that occur naturally. Um, loving it. Absolutely loving this. Tourmalinated. Tourmal that's quite hard to say, isn't, isn't it? it? Tourmalinated. Tourmalinated. Now we've said now we're concentrating <laughs> on it. We're making a, we're making a mistake there. Absolute pink. That's amazing. Tourmalated. Tourmalinated. There we go. Tourmalinated. I'd love to see more. Ross can't say it. Ross now. can't say it though. <laughs> Tourmalinated. Yeah. It's a yeah. tricky one. Yeah. There's lots of syllables in that one, isn't there? Um Willow would 
I wonder what Willow would make of that yeah. word. Um, one pound and ninety-nine pence. Hello, Rose. Hello to Caroline, Donna, Jay, Marie, Annette, Lisa, Sue, Paula, London. You're there as well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Ross is saying, "Oh, L, the next one's amazing. Last of stock, Tans and I. Oh yeah, we played it last week. Seriously." We had 250. Oh, look. look at the quality of the colour. 250. Oh, Do you want to know how many we've got left now? 17. <laughs> because our viewers <laughs> recognise the quality. Now, when you talk about Tams Nights, it's, it's the four C's, isn't it? But the most important of those C's is not the, 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 the clarity or even the cut or even the carrot weight. The most important of those C's is the colour. The more intense and vanadium rich your tanzanite is, the finer the quality. I recall doing this auction and thinking, what on earth, how, what on earth is going on? Wayne approved a closeout deal, even though it, it is actually uh, tanzanite. We are going to match the price, but I, 29 pounds and 99 oh, pence. Wow. What? That was, a, I don't remember Ross, what did we take it to? No. There's 17 left, 32 carrots. Oh, joking. Can you see why 250 went? Well, What's that for then? Ah, oh, yeah, good point. What are we taking this to then, Ross? Yeah, but tell me, he's been very secretive. Oh, yeah. This is ridiculous. We all know the current status of Tanzanite. Oh um, it, I, I agree. Ross has just said this is one of the nicest strands of Tanzanite uh, we've ever had here at Jewelry Maker. It's literally, if you can imagine making a glass of squash, mm. yeah, the more squash that you add in, the deeper the colour. Yep. That's it's li like that, but with vanadium in Tanzanite. The deeper the colour saturation, the more valuable. There are 17, or rather there were 17 of these available. I think this is going to go before the clock finishes. <laughs> Probably. I don't... Oh, my word. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, How... Don't wait. Check out. Check out. We won't be able to bring you a better deal than this. Not for, the, not, not for like, like quality. Honestly. I genuinely don't think we're ever going to be able to bring you a deal like that ever again. We've sold Jaspers for twelve ninety nine. <laughs> oh, how... How quickly is this going to sell out? Was this a deal of the day or a start No, it was just a wane. It was just, just an, an early bird. An early bird. God. Close out deal. This is the second time it's been on our screens. And it is going to be the last. Um, apparently, Ross is saying next week we've got some unbelievable early birds. Um, Wayne said he has the best ever early bird. Ooh, I'm looking forward to hearing about that then. Um, but the 17 that we actually had, guess what? I do remember oh, the rainbow. You're going to love it. I this wondered part. what this was. Floor, right? Look at those colours. I've never seen this colour before, ever. Yes, it's like a... Peach. Peachy, paparaccia. <gasps> oh, look at that. Now we had 150 of these. There's 22 left. Look at the, look at the definition of the heart. Regarded as the most colourful uh, of all minerals, fluorite comes in blues, purples, um, so spearmint greens, yellows. Um, look at that, look at that one there. Yeah. You've got the blue and the purple all in one gemstone. Perfect. Fascinating Perfect. stone. Um, tricky to cut because of its softness. Um, and then here we are bringing it to you in, in a definite heart. It's not one of those shapes that's like triangular. It is a, a definite, real, real heart, definite heart. It? You have the yeah. cleft within there too. Um, these absolutely flew out the door. Again, I don't remember exactly what Ross took them to, um, but I'm guessing if, if this is the second and probably the last ever airing, yeah, that, that's what... Why have we got oh. another clock on our screens? Oh, no. Normally I can remember prices. Why is this this kind of show? That is a, that peach is extraordinary. Uh, Isn't absolutely. it? And you've got plenty of scope for pairing if you want to do your earrings. Yeah. Or just a little heart on a chain. 
that's all you need. Really beautiful. Yeah. You, you love fluoride, don't I've you? I've always liked it. It's in my, what number is it? Number three at the moment. Number fluoride. three? Yeah. How about if I told you then that this is going under £10? <laughs> I'd pay £10 just for that orange. Yes. That's exquisite. It is beautiful. I've never seen that before. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one, you pointed out this. That's Tanzanite blue, isn't it? It is. It's ridiculous. Amazing. Absolutely amazing strand of fluorite. Wow. There are only 22, and I can see so many names. Morning, Beatrice, Paula, West Sussex, Helen, Natalie, Charlotte, Margaret, Bedfordshire, London, Thomas, Dawn, Liz. Uh, hello to you. Cambridgeshire, hello Charlotte, Annette. There are 22 of these available. It's so easy to make beautiful jewellery when you've got a cot oh. of stone like this. Under £10. Oh, honestly. Under £10. And you get those little glass, yeah. little glass beads in between. Which you could put aside you for could. something Absolutely. else. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Little bicones. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Was this in one day then, Ross? Did we have both of those strands in one morning? Separate, separate shows. Back to back days. I can see why they absolutely flew, flew, flew out the door. Um, and it is going to be a sellout. First come, first serve. There's so many names. Uh, Lisa, Lincolnshire, Maya, hello to you, Beatrice, Barbara. Do I remember what we did with the Himalayan Beryl bracelet? Yes, I do. Now, Beryl is a gemstone family. I remember this. Brand new low that we've never done before. Think how rare it is that you see Himalayan Beryl. Oh, look. Or, as another word or phrasing, Goshenite. Wasn't this a Tucson week yes. piece? I thought it was. I was literally in the wings when Toby uh, yes. um, Skyped back to That's you right. all. That's right, yes. Um, so, there were a few gemstones over in Tucson that really got the limelight. Now, one of which was definitely Zircon. The other one was definitely Tourmaline. The third was definitely Beryl. No jet. No blooming jet. <laughs> this is exquisite. Honestly, I lost sleep about jet. <laughs> if ever Wayne, if ever Wayne and Ross said, do you want to do a jet showcase? No, I don't. I have nightmares about jet now. Um, only joking. Um, but yes, so, and you think we had uh, the very lovely Debbie, uh, Debbie Cavill, who's Toby's mum, mm. um, in the building yesterday, and Cherry is Toby's sister. Now, of all, you think about the contacts that Cherry has. Yeah. Um, of all the gemstones that she chose for her engagement ring, it was mm, that's right, yeah. Himalayan Beryl. Yes. And you can see why. Um, Goshenite is the purest variety of your Beryl family. If you think, uh, we said about uh, vanadium with your tanzanite, but in the Beryl family, iron produces um, your aquamarine. Uh, manganese produces your morganite. There is no impurities present within this gemstone, wow. and that is why it is so pure and linen fresh white. Now, that is 925 sterling silver. Um, a slider bracelet is a finished and complete piece. If you are sat watching the screens right now going, I don't want finished pieces of jewellery, fine. Deconstruct it, because you, you won't get the slider no. bracelet for what we're about to do. No. You certainly won't get um, the Himalayan beryl for the price that we're about to do. This is a closeout deal. I do remember this. We had how many? We had over 400. Do you want to know how many's left? 40. <laughs> That's where it usually closes. Which slider bracelet just have that? Yeah, 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 exactly. That's we've done slider price. braces have, at that price. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You're not just getting a slider bracelet, which is 925 sterling silver. You're also getting 15 carats of pure natural barrel. Now, word to the wise, you have until the top of the hour to make your confirmations. Oh, yes. It is viewer's choice. But there are only 40 of them left, and we're not stopping at £14.99. pence. Hundreds of these flew out the door. Again, Cherry, she's one of our sales managers on our sister channel. Lovely, lovely, lovely lady, much like our Toby. Um, yeah, of all the gemstones that she she could have chosen, she could have chosen diamonds, she could have chosen, I'm sure, Mogok rubies, she could have chosen um, Colombian emeralds. She she wanted Himalayan beryl, and it's understandable to see why. It's because gorgeous, it, it's it? got this innocence yeah, about yeah, it, which absolutely. I love. Yeah. I'd never seen it before until it was launched. Well, I don't think yeah. we've done, I think we've done maybe a yeah. couple of Goshenite strands mm. previously. 
Very, very rare. That's what you get in Goshenite, by the way. A member of the Beryl family from the Himalayas. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Again, for the fact that you're getting the slider bracelet. So you're getting the slider bracelet and the starter, the, what do they call those little, not starter strands, what do they call them? The little samples. And we've had them before in lots of different, they have little taster, little taster strands. Taster yes, strands? You get, a, you get a taster strand of something that we hardly ever see. And the slider bracelet for yeah, a tenner. For it's ten pounds. Easy. That's a decent Easter egg, isn't it? You, I was about, you just read my yeah, mind. I was like, you yeah. know what? Well, never mind actually giving chocolate. I mean, I like chocolate, don't get me wrong. I know you're not a fan. Mm. But I think I would prefer jewellery. Mm, I prefer Himalayan beryl. Um, and it's not costing the earth. This is a bracelet that I think could have been on screen probably. I don't know mm. what, what it was, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was something like 49 99 mm. It's It's Goshenite. Like I said, the purest. Some might say it's one of the rarest varieties of the Beryl family. Um, single figure price tag, morning. Well done, Carolyn, Paula, Patricia, Eva. Hello to you, Fiona, Lavinia, Lorraine, Muriel, uh, Claire in Yorkshire. People multi-buying. I don't blame you. Again, it's a really nice, giftable opportunity. Hello to you, Jane. Mark, you didn't tell Elle about the Twilight Zone to do with your address, did you? Yes. So Jane from Cornwall, who's sending me the gift, yeah. who I said that I sent my address to, well, yeah. quite a lot of the numbers in the address were also in Jane's and birthdays and all sorts of things. So it was a bit... <laughs> and only people of an age would know that noise, that sound. What, do, 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 do? Mm. I know that sound. Mm. But we're of an age, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Well, you're a lot younger than I am. Not really. Yeah. It's Not really. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is it a bit? Have you got? It's have you got a, a funny address? Lots of figures that are in my postcode and that we share and ages ah. and things. Yeah. No, it was, it was odd. No, odd. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Meant to be, some might say. Mm -hmm. uh, Nine ninety nine. The final few of those. Check out your baskets, everybody, and good luck. Shall we do? I love these oh. earrings. Um, somebody, I, I, I had a message oh, as well no. saying, um, I hope that Elle, the earrings that you, when, when you actually show them on air, they don't go back in stock. No, these are studio samples, I can promise you of that. Um, so no, nobody will be receiving the ones that have ever um, been used on the show. Um, sometimes with strands we'll do that, but not with earrings. Now, these are the oh, final few. I love this well, design. Absolutely. We've brought these together, haven't we? We have, yes. yes. That's a genuine cultured pearl. Obviously, you get two. The other one's in there. Um, here we go. Um, obviously, you get two. You could, we were talking about separating them if you wanted to. You can wear it as a finished piece of jewellery like so, but... That's right. I would cut the chain in half yeah. and then put a pearl or something on the end as a little dangle to match it. You could, and then you've got a separate piece of chain you can use in another piece of jewellery. You take the chain off altogether. I think it would be lovely as a stud. Yeah, gorgeous. Look at the quality yeah. of those pearls. Gorgeous. Genuine cultured pearls as well. Um, and we were talk oh. discussing the fact that it is a Rolo chain, so you've got those exposed links for That's if right. you wanted to do things yeah. like uh, your bubble style Absolutely. earrings. Absolutely, I'd charm. We were talking about having donut beads, weren't we? And yes. So they sat in or the, the jade donuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be nice. That'd be a lovely idea. Um, or just literally have them as interchangeable because they can be worn like so. You can add embellishments if you wanted to. Um, uh, these were a previous deal of the day. They've been incredibly popular. Um, I believe the other colours have actually sold out. We had them in the yellow gold. I think so. We did, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. we had them in the yeah. yellow gold. I think they've actually sold out. Nine ninety nine. And I mean, seriously, they're genuine cultured pearls. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the third pair we had had those little CZ snowflakes. Yes. In the little divot, didn't they? Yes. Wow. These, these are well, beautiful. They were on the other day, actually, yeah. and again, flew, absolutely flew out the door. I love that. I just think these are really, really classic, really mm. timeless, but um, also have that celestial inspiration, which is so popular always, always, always every yeah. single year. Right. Um, under £10 only. So, yeah, I mean, if, I, if you can imagine, just cutting off the butterfly back that's on the reverse obviously you would put it at the top so you can actually wear them see if i can actually balance it here we go i have to hold it now imagine those as a pair of like sort of opera length earrings yeah. and maybe a beautiful pearl at the bottom beautiful so i mean your jewelry makers that's what you do you can customize things and you can make them individual and unique it's gorgeous and you're also very savvy yeah, yeah. <laughs> very savvy i love with dismantling your precious metal. i love dismantling you do see i'm one of those lazy people that go ah oh, well look they're done 
<laughs> Look, they're done. They're finished. They're already beautiful. I don't need to do anything to them. And at £10, try and find a high street shop so that can bring you faux pills at those kind of prices. You know what to do? Check out those baskets. How about the most beautiful parcel next? What does Selene, does anyone know what Selene translates to in Welsh? Star. Oh. Yes. Sorry, Seren, I beg your pardon. Seren. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have thought that I grew up in Wales. Yes, yeah, Seren translates in Welsh to star. Mm. This is Serenite, um, also known as the plush diamond. Tiffany's & Co. once upon a time marketed uh, these as the plush diamond. Wow. They are mined in the USA. It is completely natural. And incredibly, this is a very rare variety of feldspar. Oh. A very rare variety of feldspar. What you can't see with the naked eye are tiny, tiny, minuscule, microscopic platelets of copper. Now, if you think about your Pareba tourmaline, now I know they're polar opposite in their appearance of colour, Pareba tourmaline has copper platelets within, and many believe that it's that copper presence that brings them that energy and that life. Um, they are absolutely exquisite, and you get this almost champagne-like hue, uh, to uh, to a serenite, completely natural, wow. mined um, in Oregon in the USA, and as I said, this is a this was a gemstone that was previously marketed by Tiffany's and Co. Um, now I, I can almost hear people <laughs> saying, "Why aren't they doing it now?" This simply isn't the stock. There's, yeah. There isn't the supply. Um, remember J yesterday, Jake was talking about actual rarity and apparent rarity. Um, this is actual rarity. There is only one location in the world um, that actually unearths it. So if you think about the millions that Tiffany's & Co. will pump into marketing, um, they didn't have the gemstones to sustain that. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Oh, my word. You're already under a pound each already. Everything that we've brought over the last five auctions are sold out. Imagine these, wow. your gemstone setting, your snap sets, Absolutely. your dremeling, yeah. your milliput. Your milliput, definitely. Oh. Yeah. They are beautiful, aren't they? I've never noticed in a brilliant cut that there's a distinct star if you look straight through. Mm -hmm. You don't normally see that in a diamond because... No. Nope. They're just... They're, they're just that, the second row down in the middle, look. Yeah. You can see that. I've never seen that in a brilliant cut before. Maybe because of the density of the stone, or I don't know, but it, beautiful. It is absolutely stunning, and they are completely and yeah. utterly natural. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs, for sure. We very, very, very rarely get wow. to bring you serenite. Um, oh, have I got quantity of these? 30, okay. Louise has got hers, Natalie's got hers. Maya and Gabrielle, well done to you. Alice, Sally, Elaine, hello to you, Sandra, Dorothy, wow. Marilyn, Lynn, Sharon, Zoe. Again, we'd bring the donuts. Imagine just gluing one of these in the centre of the mm. donut. Yeah, absolutely. £6.99. Oh, my goodness. I launched Serenite when we first had it here at Jewelry Maker. Sorry, um, at, at Gemporia. I launched it on what was our USA channel. And it caused an absolute frenzy. Um, and I can see why it's one of the most exquisitely classy stones. If you love Zarite, I think it's got yeah, a Zarite feel to it. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right, though. I'm not talking yeah. chemically in terms of its actual uh, sort of composition, but visually, I think it's got that class and sophistication. And I'm sure we bought empty tennis bracelets with amounts. Yes. To fit four mil round. I'm sure we have at some point. Well, you're getting 12 yeah, in this parcel. Yeah. 12 of yeah. them. Um, I won't have the quantity. There's loads of you right. there. And there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. But Fiona, stay where you are. Worcestershire, stay where you are. Hello to you, Marianne. Hello to you, Northamptonshire. Hello to you, Elaine, Sandra, Sharon, Zoe. You will need to check out your baskets on these. Valerie, Iris, Lavinia, Sandra. Do you want to know how many's left in the vault? 12. <laughs> there are 12 left in the vault. A one locational source. Serenite is completely natural. But when we think about your feldspars, most of us think about gemstones of opacity. Mm. And then you see serenite, named after the stars above us. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's mesmeric. It's got this class and sophistication. What are you thinking? This is probably a ridiculous question. <coughs> I, probably, I probably should know the answer to this. So uh -huh. you see all the names down yeah. the left there. We have W for web, I'm assuming. Yes. We have T for telephone. Yeah. 
What's the A? App. But isn't that the web? No. Same no? thing. Same thing, but yeah, someone uh, shopping on the app. I've always and wondered shopping. what the A means. Yeah, someone shopping on the app and someone shopping on the right. website. That clears that up. Basically, then. that's the difference. Here's a fun fact. Oh, go on then. Did you know? Yeah. 80% of our jury maker viewers watch online. Oh. 80% of our viewers. Gosh. Yeah. I don't know if that, well, that's the number I heard. Right. Um, okay. Now, the pearls, mm. I have to show you again. And you get two of these. You get both, and it has to be wrong. Right. Okay. That's good for you, by the way. Not so much for us. These are coming up, bringing you the appetite first, but, but just to give you a heads up. You can shop ahead. They will be available, though, for 15 minutes. But before we bring you these beautifully exquisite, metallic, naturally coloured pearls, I'm going to bring you, literally, a vision of tropical seas. Oh. Natural vibrancy. Mm -hmm. A gemstone that forms almost granularly it's Ross's favourite, and it's certainly one of mine, Appetite. Appetite. I love this. I'm just going to read you one word. A little-known gemstone with spellbinding beauty. Um because you, we get almost caught up in the big five. And I've shared this with you before. I remember having a conversation with my dad um, years ago, and he actually, I was talking about Paparaccia, uh, no, sorry, Pareba Torbli, weirdly, which is actually the same color as what you're about to see. And he went, yeah, but it's not as rare as diamonds and sapphires and rubies. And I, was, mm -hmm. and I said, no, of course it is. Dad, it's far rarer than any of those. Um, and you could see he was confused. And I said, that's marketing. That is Completely. all marketing. Yeah, yeah. Appetite, the reason why it's not as widely known as your mainstream gemstones is because of its rarity. Neon Appetite in particular, because it has, it forms, as I said, genuinely in granular sizes, 0.15 is the average carat weight. So when I show you a strand <laughs> of this size, I think most of us appreciate, yeah, yeah. you know, amazing. how exceptional it is. Oh gosh, yes, sorry. It's coming yeah. up. I was about to show you, sorry, uh, that's fine that I knocked that over. Let me just show you. Look at the quality of that appetite there. Incredible, isn't it? That that's a nugget. Got coming up. I think with a Laramar would be amazing. But we're not doing that, I beg your pardon. Of course. Oh my word, these are insane. These are... Cr Look at those. They're amazing. It doesn't get any better than this. Look at the colour from there. Neon Appetite, it's all about the colour. In fact, let's read an article from the jewellery editor, <coughs> a great uh, source of in, in, uh, inspiration. Um, and it says, I know, <laughs> Appetite, the great unknown gemstone. Join us on a voyage into the secret heart of Appetite and discover the spellbinding beauty of this little known gem. Look at the colour, absorb that amazing colour. Um, and then take a little look, here we go, at the parcel that you're going to get. Uh, do you see what I mean? Appetite is very much an insider gemstone, uh, sorry, insider gemstone collection. Collectors secretly, why can't I talk today? I'll start again. Appetite is very much an insider gemstone collector secretly largely unknown to the general public. It's a terrible sentence. Um, occurring in a kaleidoscope of colours, including an electrifying shade of neon blue, often confused with Pareba tourmaline. Appetite is considered a prized possession amongst collectors. Join us on a voyage into the secret heart of Appetite and discover some of the jewellers who have been bewitched by this magical stone just waiting to be unearthed. Those aren't my words. Those were written and published within the jewellery editor itself, speaking about and justifiably giving this gemstone the limelight it deserves. Oh. Um, how Appetite got its name. German geologist Abraham uh, Gottlob Werner uh, christened uh, the stone Appetite, which is derived uh, from the Greek word apatine, meaning to deceive or to oh. be misleading. Oh. 
because the stone's chameleonic ability to look very much like other stones. In fact, it is often mistaken for peridot, topaz, aquamarine, tourmaline, and beryl, depending on its color. You can get green appetite, of course. We have. Um, here are some of the pieces that were photographed within the jewellery mm -hmm. editor, so right. teamed alongside Peridot. Um, the, the, actual, the, the actual appetite itself is, is the four blues in the centre. Um, look, at the, look at the smaller rose-cut stones, the, sort of the faceted cabochons, if you, if you will, the rounds. Look at that colour. Now look at the quality that you're actually getting. I'm going to put this one out there. Yours is better. Yours is better than that quality. When you look at those kind of rainbow shapes, again, are you seeing the inclusions? What's amazing? I think yours is better, but it's still a beautiful piece of jewelry. This piece of jewelry is very Haley Kruger esque. Yes. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, other designers, and we can show you a few more. Here we go, Cat Florence. Now, that might be a familiar name to you all. Canadian born designer, Cat Florence has an eye for rare gemstone and hunts down, uh, hunts down unusual stones from all over the world. She discovered Neon Appetite two years ago uh, whilst travelling through Bahia in Brazil. Its colour rivaled the finest quality in the most valuable Paraiba tourmalines at a fraction of the price. The value of appetite depends primarily on colour saturation. So specimens with high colour intensity command the best prices. Size matters when it comes to appetite, since finding large stones weighing over one carat is extremely rare. So it is all about color and carat weight. This is Cat oh. Florence. These are a couple of her pieces. Ross has actually sold one of those pieces. The one on the left. Wow. Possibly both, he's saying. In a future life, in a past life. In a previous life, previous on a pre life. Uh, right. previous... Right. Uh, previous uh, producer role. Yeah, he, he used to work at Rots & Co alongside right. Cat Florence. Right. Um, and Toby Cavill, of course. Now, the quality. Is that saturation there? Wow. Is the carrot weight there? Absolutely, absolutely. And remember, you're looking through perspex. Look at the quality of the stones that you're getting up close and personal. 6.15 oh. carats of six by four cabochons. It's calibrated size, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Six by four. So you can so use this with your mounts. Yeah. yeah. Ready. Yeah. For your gemstone setting, your new vet, your new adventure. I'm so nervous. You shouldn't be. You're going to absolutely smash mm. it. Six by four is actually one of the most frequently uh, requested of sizes. Yeah, of it was. It's perfect for yeah. solitaires. Amazing in earrings, pendants. You said about the tennis bracelet. Perfect for that. But Neon Appetite, as I said, it forms in small sizes. So this is a really rare parcel. And it's not the small pieces that are reconstituted into small <coughs> pieces, no. is No. No, no. They're individual. Well, if you think 0.15 mm. is the average carrot weight, we've got 12 in a pack yeah. here. What are these averaging? Half a carrot. Half a Just carrot. Over. Yeah, wow. Just over. 51 points, to be exact. Right now, we're at £5 per stone. It's, is it any wonder that so many of us... I know, Ross, this is your favourite gemstone, isn't it? In his top five, he says, I do love Neon Appetite as well because it's one of those gems that packs a punch. You heard Cat Florence talk about it and say it is, its colour is like one of the finest examples of Paraiba tourmaline, which you can talk literally tens of thousands of pounds for a Paraiba tourmaline. We are not stopping at 59.99. In fact, we are nowhere near. Now, I know without even looking that I won't have a massive quantity of these available. They're Neon Appetite. Um, it's, if, if I had 50, I would be absolutely overjoyed. So how much would that ring have cost then to buy that Cat Florence ring, do you reckon? Or yeah. the one on the left, yeah. $10,000. Oh, no, euros. Euros. Right. right. The one on the right, 8,000. Wow. It's amazing. A lot. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And Cat Florence has, uh, you know, has, uh, has bejeweled many a celebrity, like Sarah Jessica Parker. 29 pounds and 99 pence only for six carats of Neon Appetite. Imagine these nestled within the, um, a Baroque. Incredible. That's two pound fifty each. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. 
for neon appetite. Exactly. I've got neon appetite in, in a finished piece of jewellery um, and I paid significantly more than what's on your screens. I don't mind. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. We rarely ever, ever see it. It's got one of the most hypnotic, energetic colours that you could possibly imagine in a gemstone. And you're getting an entire parcel. That's 12 pieces of jewellery. Completely. Yeah, because yeah. of its colour, it almost magnifies the size, do you think? Mm -hmm. and they're, they're large enough to do your, your, your micro bead bezeling. Yeah. For your milliput, just be amazing, wouldn't it, for, for, for milliput? Literally just pushing it in. Is that yeah. the technique? Yeah. So you don't have to be a gemstone setter. No. Now, I have quantity, incre incredibly, there's quantity. There's about 80 of these. That's £2.49 per stone. If this is the first time that you're introducing Neon Appetite to your portfolio, even if you're not a gemstone setter as of yet, you haven't embarked on that journey and it's something that you'd like to do in the future. I, you know, Neon Appetite, even in, even in nuggets, we don't see very often. Ross is promising in my ears that I'm gonna give our viewers a special price today. He, lo it's already special, £2.50. He absolutely loves Neon Appetite and I completely, completely occur, uh, concur. It is such a gorgeous gem and you'll notice it literally from, from metres mm. and metres and metres away. The fact that this is calibrated, we bring you gemstone mounts on a regular basis. If you've got, if, if you can cradle the prongs over a gemstone, um, and we can teach you those techniques, then you're already make you're, you're already really a fine jeweler. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. Pardon? That's two, what I thought he said. <laughs> under two pounds per stone for six carats. Sky blue appetite is beautiful, green appetite, orange appetite, but neon appetite is the number one most popular color out of all of your appetites. Um, Oh, you've got five minutes literally to make these confirmations. Johnny, Carol, Dorothy, Tracy, Joe, Beatrice, Louise, Gabrielle, Judith. Hello, Mikey. Hello, new customer. Hello, new customer on the web. Hello to you, Maureen. Hello to you, Carrie in Cheshire. I, I mean, we've got quantity, but what, that quantity is really comparable to the actual gemstone that we're yeah, bringing absolutely. you here. Yeah. It's never going to be one where we actually have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. You know, earlier on, we had that tanzanite, didn't we? We started with how many of that tanzanite? 250. Um, it's sold out now. Awesome. Sold out. The fluorite, completely and utterly sold out. Uh, sold out. We, you know, we had quantities of those gemstones. Use the quantity that we actually have available right now as an indication of the rarity of this treasure that you're getting. Make sure you check out. I'm going to leave those last few there because I want to squeeze in these pearls. Um, of course. Has to be a mistake. I don't get it because there's some magic words in, there's some magic words in those graphics. Okay. Do you know what the first magic word is? Natural. Yeah. It's Natural mad. colour, not bleached and dyed. Oh, we're on a split patty. Okay. For 69.99. That's for two. Okay. I want to buy these. Look at the quality of those colours. Oh, it's all been organised in colour groups for you as well, look. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. They're so you beautiful. Could, you could separate the three colours if you wanted to and do, do suites of jewellery with one separate colour. What would you sell if, those for? In the necklace, a knotted necklace. Uh, one strand, 130, 140. Yeah, all day long. Yeah. I think you could a ask. Nice clasp. Yeah. yeah, all day yeah. long. I think you could probably go higher than that because they are natural. But you know, you know they're going to sell at that price, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Hang on, so it's three split pays as well. You, yeah. And it has to stay, doesn't it, now we've introduced it? Oh, you're joking. I'm For not. two? Yeah. On three-way split pay? Yeah. There's only 25, though. Two months' time, it'll be the birthday. <coughs> yeah. If you don't buy these, I will. Oh. I'm all over this strand. It's strands, plural. Amazing. We had 300. Uh, did we did we discover that this was a mistake or not? I, d I don't know. Listen, we don't do the pearl buying. We just literally bring them to air. But it, I, something doesn't quite connect. The fact that these are naturally coloured. Watch the phone lines absolutely light up. You will need to be quick about this. There's only 25. What? On, I mean, seriously. <laughs> so you can get two strands of natural coloured freshwater pearls 
for eight quid split pay. Yeah. Honestly, it's... It's a joke. Silly, isn't it? It's, it's not a joke, but it, it, you know what I mean. Oh, look. £8.33 on your split pay. They're, they're not bleached and dyed, which even if they were, that would still be an amazing mm. price. These are totally and utterly natural. And that is why so many of you are there. There are 25 of these. Oh, yeah, yes. Just thinking, would that work? I think so. I think so. Yeah, that's, yes. that's probably the colour I would not it's, with. It's yeah. drawing out the lavenders, yeah, isn't it? It is. I think that's what I would colour. All black. Or do you think black Ooh. might be a bit... What do you think? I prefer I think the black. black. Oh, you like the black? Yeah. Do you like the black? Stephen likes the black. I think I would yeah. go something like champagne. Oh, yeah? Like a champagne Or like sort colour. of a pale apple green. Yeah, oh, they're nice lovely. Well. Yeah. Um, it's going to sell out. Well Good done. luck. Good luck. Wow. Oh, they've gone. They've gone. They've gone. Well done. Well done. We've still got so much more to bring you. Amazing kits with Mark, of course, all about the boho chic vibe. Uh, but up next, it's the water foam. Starting us off this morning is 294, Joe. Good morning to you, Joe. Oh, hang on a second, oh. Joe. Wait a minute. Be worth the wait. It, you, it will be worth the wait. Oh, pretty. Really pretty. Oh, look. Love that. Uh, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame, a multi-strand bracelet made from a collection of JM pills and chain. I've never won in five years of entering. Oh, Joe. Right, we're going to keep everything crossed for you. I'll, I'll, I'll try and be lucky on the next draw. So, fingers crossed. Uh, 295 is Hazel. Good morning to you, Hazel. Uh. Amazing, beautiful Marla. Uh, this week I've made my first Marla using 6 mil garnets and rose gold lava rock in, and red eslon. That's beautiful. Love that combination. Hope you like it. We certainly do. Uh, two, uh, I'll let you read the next one. Oh, there thank we go. You. So 296 is from Jay's. I saw this on Facebook yesterday. That is extraordinary. Look at those tiller beads. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is from Josephine. Josephine says, hi, JM family. This week's entry is a seed bead bracelet inspired by a lovely Alison Tarry. Thanking Jewelry Maker for all the great offers you're giving us, especially during these hard times. Good luck to everyone in this week's draw. That's that's hours and hours and hours of work. It's, it's so beautiful. beautiful. Isn't it? Josephine does make on the wrist. She yeah. makes amazing jewelry. Number 297 is from Julia Lees. Hi all at JM. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a mixed blue gemstone necklace. I'm into mixing my gems up at the moment. Love from Julia in Rubri. That's a nice idea, actually, mixing all your... Yeah, the tones. Pink scoops are really good. Our last entry from today is from K. Number 200... Oh, my wow. word. Talking about hours of work. And K says, hi, everyone. My entry for the Wall of Fame is inspired by Marvellous Monica. Seed bead Easter eggs. Really enjoyed making these. Thank you, Monica, for all of your talent and inspiration. And that's Kay from Hertfordshire. I second that. Amazing. What's yeah. in the centre of them, too? Looks like an egg. Maybe an, it's an egg inside and then seed beaded around the egg. That's amazing. They're beautiful, so you've, aren't they? Well, you've literally, like, blown an egg. Well, no, they, they came in a kit, I believe. They, they oh, were, they were um, acrylic egg eggs. Shape. And then you, then you I was going to say, because that would be, that would be quite fragile if it yeah. was an actual egg. Yeah. Um, they're beautiful. Gosh, well you're done, all everyone. so talented. Um, speaking of talent, oh. our lovely Mark bring you some beautiful jewellery. Um, awesome kits. Very much the sort of the summer mm. boho. Price, yeah, I they are. Say. Ridiculous. Well, Especially honestly, the pink kit. I'd expect to pay more than the kit price for these earrings alone. Mm. I love yeah. these, I love them. Um, so don't go anywhere. Uh, your kit hour is after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show.
You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Just been talking about cat issues. Oh, we've had some issues, haven't we? Yes. Honestly. Well, you've got an injury. So I've got. I've just showed Elle. I've got two nicks just above my earlobes. Which so last night after I have my supper, Thomas always gets on my lap for an hour, and it's exactly an hour. This time he crawled up onto my chest, and he's just. It wasn't his fault, bless him, but he stretched his out both paws, and as he did it, either side of my face, he stretched out his claws and nicked both ears. At the same time. At both ears. At exactly the same time. It was just like a bee sting. Because oh. cat, you know, cat's claws, they're really sharp. Just nip yeah. both and... Oh. Yeah, so I had that to deal with. And you're, you're also ripping up your carpet. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> They've got a cat tree. They've got a cat tree that, that, and they do use it. But, yeah, no, they keep ripping, literally lifting the carpet from the yeah, door frames. Yeah. Um, the other day, I couldn't get in my bedroom because they'd, uh, they'd, they'd knock the door closed. Oh, no. Ripped the carpet oh, yes, up. But it's... Anyway, yeah. anyway, trials and tribulations, eh? I never knew all of this happened with cats. I'm, I'm a dog person normally. Um, these kits, They're though. Oh I, oh, I love them both. Yeah. love them both. Um, these kits, Mark, are so beautiful. They're just massive. Absolutely huge. I've never seen, as I said, the reason that we've got these kits, I've been asking for chandelier drop earrings yeah. for years, even before we came back to, to Eagle Road from Ivy House. Mm. So um, not only have I got the most amazing eardrop pendants but I've also got these amazing necklace pendants and one of the necklaces I've got which is um where's it gone it's on a little white bust oh oh I've put it over there Stephen sorry it's over there sorry it's my fault you can actually use the earring pendants just that one that's it perfect you can even use the chandelier drops as 
Oh, that's beautiful. Those pieces for your necklace, you see. So all of the pendant drops you get in the earring kits, you can yeah. use as necklace. Almost like little connectors. Connectors. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that filigree pattern as well. Oh, it's, it's stunning. They're now, I, I said to you in the break, Jess, I said lots of our customers have been asking for this type mm. of thing, so you're not alone in that. Um, yeah, beautiful mandala connectors. You've got chandelier-style earrings. I've, I've, I've heard a few customers have messaged me. Um, now, we're going to start with which one? The pink, which you love. I love this. Oh, my goodness me, look at how much you get. So, in the kit, I've made this massive, long-length, over-the-head knotted necklace here using the pink. And I've still got all of that left on my mat. So, I've just got massive. So, you've got that massive pendant dangles there, which I've used. You've got the actual necklace, and I've got all of that left still from that. Yeah. I'd like to know the length of it. It must be a good six feet, even Let's longer look, than that, I would have thought. Probably more. I think it's two metres. I reckon it's two metres, yeah. Is it two metres? It's masses of it. I'm going to say, I'm g it looks like two metres. Um, it's longer than two metres, I think. It's, it's yeah. gorgeous, and it's such a yeah. lovely rose colour, isn't it? It's amazing. Now, I, now this, I thought this was magnesite. Yeah. And I've been going on about this being magnesite all week. And I came in this morning, and I checked on the, on the, the specs, is actually Czech glass. It's two meters it's of Czech amazing. glass. Amazing. It's wow. Beautiful. You have got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beads on here. So if you like doing your kiss cross, these so your kiss cross station malas, which are which you did on my DVD I launched yeah. in the new year. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. And you've got enough here even to do little kiss cross stations suspended from the pendants. Uh, I mean, it, there's it's masses. Amazing. There's massive, it is two metres, we can It is confirm. two metres, is it? Wow. Um, two metres, it, oh, wow. Plus you get your 11 O's in your galvanised hot yeah, pinks. Yeah. Um, you're getting your rose gold um, blank pendants. Um, they are base metal in the two different designs. One which is almost like a scalloped effect. One again, very almost Bollywood vibe, I'm feeling. Um, yeah, and check glass. This is brand new, and the only way you can get hold of the uh, strand of your check glass beads is within this kit. Now, wow. we, something else we discussed as well, Mark, is how affordable these kits I know. are. It's amazing. Absolutely incredible. I mean, that, for me, the kit price is the, is the price for these two amazing pendants. Never yeah. seen anything like them. Look it's at really that. Amazing. Look at uh, this piece is absolutely beautiful. And again, maxi dresses. Love the fact that you've sort of put up pops of color with your mm. cord in there as well. Um, so lovely, so so lovely. I mean, if you were to sell a piece of jewellery, I would. For, I as a, a, as a, a, somebody that buys jewellery myself, I would expect this to be. What do you think? 60, 70 pounds. I was going to say seventy pound. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all knotted in between yeah. the beads, and you've got the knotted tassel. Oh, I love this. This is ridiculous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I can't believe the price of this kit. Um, How many do we have then, Ross? <laughs> oh, there's less than 20 of this left already. It's been very, very, very popular. We, they've flown out. They've absolutely flown out. Now, don't worry, we do have different colorways uh, to bring you. Um, but if you want the pink, if you've got heart set on owning this, you need to be super fast. Super, super fast. Um, hello to you, Karen. Good morning, all. Mark, your pieces are stunning. Oh, bless you, Karen. Thank you. As always. Oh, I love these kits. They're amazing. Uh, wow, Mark. Stunning designs. Love them all. Um, that's Liz and Tyne and Ware. Lovely Liz. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. It's beautiful. I I, it's, it's like yeah. a, the, the glass itself is almost like a sort of creamy strawberry. Yeah, it's like a gemstone, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's why I thought it was a magnesite. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just, just amazing. Yeah. And you've got enough in the kit, to, because you've got the two large pendants there, you've got enough to make exactly that necklace there twice, and you'll still have enough to make another necklace on top of that yeah or, masses or stretchy bracelets or it's memory all wire has it gone has it oh my word do you know what it reminds me of yeah strawberry daiquiri candy floss Ooh. i thought mm. an iced strawberry oh. daiquiri right mm. we were doing a bit of googly research the other night about cocktails because andrew went to, went to see a friend of his allison a couple of weeks ago and they had a cocktail and i, I can't get my head around cocktail i can't justify spending 15 pounds on a drink it's just ridiculous some of the names are quite rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really rude. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. Our sister channel, Hobby Maker, the other day, I, yeah. I, as I was oh, those leaving cards. those cards, it's like, yeah. ooh. Yes. Honestly, did you see those? <laughs> They're funny. There was one talking about wieners. That's right. 
Yeah. Yes. A licking ice cream. Licking ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was like, oh, <laughs> saucy. Um, speaking of a bit of sauce. These are amazing. And they're red again. I know, I know, I know, I know we're only in April, but I'm going to say Christmas. You know how, how difficult it is to get red anything. Oh, gorgeous. And these are beautiful, absolutely. But these are real post office. And they've got that slight little um, sort of AB coating to them as well. Which yeah, when they, there when is. Catch, oh, look, look at that. Yes. Oh, I Amazing. love this colorway. Um, it's teamed alongside your white. The, the previous kit sold out. Um, teamed alongside your white Mayuki. It's a matte opaque white. And then you have the gold lovely, in your blanks. I love this kit. That's absolutely stunning. I would put a bit of black in there as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, and absolutely. make it a little bit And you've got Moulin all those, um, those little openings in the pendants. You can, you can bead in between those if you want to, or you, yeah. can, or you can fill with resin, or you can pop Miller put in. You can, really, you can really bling them up, even before you add beads to them. There's so much Yeah, strength. and it is just simple beading, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Love it, yep. love it. Simple, simple beading that makes the most beautifully high-end designs. You saw how quickly the first kit sold out. How many do I have of these? Oh no! Uh, already straight away down to fa uh, under fifty. Um, busy today. Very, very, very busy. Um, these are a slightly oh. bit, uh, different size. Your reds are actually eight mil, and you're yep. getting yep. one hundred. Um, they are faceted rounds. They've got, they're gorgeous. They're Is it amazing. still the case? Because obviously these are, um, a, again, a glass faceted bead. Yep. Red is the most expensive pigment. Yeah, always, uh, always has been and I think always will be because, because of, the, of the, the, the colour. It's all about chemical reactions and things. I'm not quite understanding it. But the pigment they use, red, is the most expensive. I love it. Because there aren't actually, there, are, there, aren't, there aren't many naturally red products out there. You remember the old food colouring used to be made from cochineal beetles? And do you remember that? Yes. We don't Obviously do that anymore. Don't do that, any no, don't do that really, anymore, There's thankfully. actually not very much red out there naturally. No, it's that's true. Difficult. That is true. And blue. Yeah, Certain blue. blues. Yeah. Um, that's true. Uh, it, it sounds like, when well, you think, why, why are we talking about this? Well, obviously, we need the pigment to make the actual beads itself. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, yeah. £17.99 and pence only. Um, absolutely uh, yeah. gorgeous. I mean, again, that necklace, you would never in a million years, well, I hope you wouldn't, actually no, sell no, that for... £60, £70 again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I bet it would fly because it is so wearable. Mm. Again, knotted in between. I've, I've used black with this one. I had to go for black because you have the white and the red. Yeah. But you can use any sorts of colours because you've got the, the red. Purple might be quite nice as well. Or, yeah, or nice. Dioxide green, that might be beautiful. Beautiful. Well, uh, well if you want to see that, I've oh, got... There we go. Perfect. I've got a greeny colour I can actually hold alongside it. Um, now, really? Oh. I want to buy some of these kits because that's the kind of jewellery I can do. Well, yep, it's really easy. I, yeah, can, I, can, really I can do that jewellery. Yeah. Um, Ross is saying he wants entire sellouts. The first kit, gone. This one, we're going to do a 60 second clock for you, jewellery makers, and we're going to go even lower. Um, everybody pays the final low. Wow. Catherine, Marilyn, Eva, Tracy, Marcia, Sharon, Alison, Angela, Judith, uh, Lisa, Northumberland. Karen, I can see you on the phone lines. Wendy, Janet, Margaret, hello to you, Susan, Berkshire. Uh, Caffilly, Northamptonshire, uh, Judith, Dorothy in Worcestershire. Um, we've got less than 50 of these available, so we don't really need to drop the price. That is absolutely awesome. These are uh, beautiful faceted glass, but they've got, they have mm. got a very they slight have, AB. They've got AB coating to them. And I like the fact it is so slight. Mm. It's very subtle. Yeah, it's not too... Some, like, sometimes I think an AB coating can be too intense. Um, on no, certain beads, be no, you're right. too intense, you're right. but yes. this one's a little bit more delicate yeah. and subtle, shall we say. Um, half the stock's well and yeah. truly gone. In what? the 12 o'clock hour, we've got the most amazing AB crystal beads. Oh, yeah. Now, that's different. The Mayuki yeah. and things are different. Oh, um, I'm talking about, like, sort of your gemstones mm. and the bigger oh, yes. pieces. Yes. 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 It can be a little bit too intense, I think, and it takes <laughs> over the colour, whereas this doesn't. What's that? You've, you've got that intensity of blue... Wow. And I think here on the desk, you can definitely see it. You can see that intent blue, sorry, red. Um, you can see that intensity of red and just the occasion. It's like a presence of purple absolutely. coming through. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm really into a hobby maker at the moment. And um, I've not made it a secret that I've fallen completely in head over heels in love with Hunky Dory and their card making products. Yeah. 
and, uh, and they do stamps with a die cutting machine and all sorts of things. But I'm just, if you didn't want to use these in your jewellery, you could use them as stamps and use your ink pads if you're doing really ornate. Oh, lovely. Sort of, um, oriental inspired cards and things now like that. Now might be an ideal time, Mark, mm. to tell our viewers. Oh. Go on. <laughs> might be an ideal time to tell our lovely viewers what you're up to. Okay. So many of you know I've been desperately wanting to, uh, to do a little stint on Sewing Street and introduce the world to my cross stitch. Well, it's been confirmed. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a trial hour, which I really like. I'm on trial. It's Ooh. really good. So I'm doing my first hour on Thursday, next Thursday, the 14th at 12 o'clock. Amazing. And I've got the most amazing cross stitch kits to bring you, so I'm really excited. I love cross stitch. It's amazing. I love it. I Absolutely haven't done cross stitch for years. It. No, it's my. It's my with the garden. It's my downtime. Because I make jewellery all day, every day, so yeah. I need something that's, you know, my downtime. So all over winter it was cross stitch, but obviously yeah. the, the, the days are getting longer. So, so let's make sure we garden. tune in to show, uh, show our support. I will be. I love let's cross stitch. Can't wait. I have to get one of your kits. Mm. I haven't done it for a long time. They're jubilee related as well. Are they? So really apt. Yeah. See, I yeah. used to. I yeah. used to. The last time I did cross stitch, I was telling John Scott this this morning. I was like, oh. We used to do it in primary school. That's right. On the quite big sheets. And yeah. We, for Mother's Day and table yeah. mats and things. And we used yeah. to sing all, that's like, right. wartime songs. Mm. Yes. We um, yes, used to right. sing, like, It's a Long Way to yeah. Tipperary. I used to love it, my little classic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, oh, that oh, is on the verge wow. of selling out as well. Shall we bring you the next colourway? You've got two more kits. Um, this one's all about the blues. Now, blues is usually one of the most popular colors it's gorgeous but this is beyond blue because it's actually more mermaidial um yeah i've got this one as well oh oh this yeah. oh right i beg your pardon We've got three three three, um, three kits. necklaces kits and two earrings can i show these together beautiful. just I see what i'm glass pearls it is mermaidial isn't it it's gorgeous no absolutely lovely so when i then start including mm -hmm. do you have a favorite of the two pendants of what of yours? Of the of this style. Do you like the, I don't the sort know. of the, the shell scallop or the the um, Oh do you know it's Indian weird inspired. I was kind of thinking that a few moments ago. I I, I if you were to mm. ask me I'd probably say this one. Right. But yet I also think that you're physically drawn to things mm. and I've been wearing yeah. holding the other one. Yeah, yeah. It's so great, I love the, the workmanship on this one with the I think that's just just so exquisite, isn't Adam, it? Adam, you like this yeah. one? I think the workmanship is just beautiful. Ah, as, as I said earlier, perfectly. If you look at the screen there, you can see all of the open spaces that you can you can fill with resin. Yeah. You can you can bead in between. You can do wire working. So, so you can really bling up your pendant even before you incorporate it in your necklace. Love this. Amazing. Now these are Czech glass mm. pills. Yes, that's right. So they are literally made out of yeah, compressed. So, these, so the, the, these are from the Czech. Um, we've actually I've visited the factory where these are produced. So I've had first hand. First hand experience of these are beautiful. They are, aren't they? I, I, I think with this colourway, I'm yeah. thinking definitely something yeah. mermaid inspired. So you, ha so you have the you have the white glass pearl, and they're sprayed 15 times. 15 times to get yeah, that colour. To, to get the colour integrity. Yeah, wow. Yeah, amazing. And then with your Mayuki, you actually have the dark blue lined green AB. So yeah. it's the perfect combination to go alongside. Um, to alongside your blue glass. I haven't seen your piece. What for you? Oh, Mark, yeah, that's gorgeous. So there we go. Okay, gorgeous. Absolutely mm. stunning. Um, have I got many of this kit? Straight down to the oh. last 40. These are flying out the door. Of course mm. they are. That's beautiful. Is that on thread? So this is on, if I just unhook it. So this is, this is on Eslon, and I've popped a little slider clasp on the back there. So macrame in effect, we've got the beading and then I've done a macrame sliding clasp at the back with the beads. It's very, it's very subtle this one. No, it's really so those pretty, have actually really been pretty. threaded onto an S long? Yeah, 0.5. Wow, 0.5. loving that. Absolutely yeah. loving that, the detail that you're getting um, across both of these uh, connectors, pendants. They could be connectors, they yeah. could be. And if you're brave, they could be most amazing earrings. Wow, why not? Why not? <laughs> 14 pounds yeah. and 99 pence only for this kit. Um, oh yeah, my little is obsessed with mermaids at the moment. I feel Who like is? Willow. Uh -huh. She's obsessed with mermaids at the moment. 
Um, in the bath, that's what she's always playing, being, playing being a mermaid. So maybe I need to make her a mermaid, uh, a mermaid yes. necklace with this. £14.99, but they, it's looking like it's going to be an on-screen sellout imminently. Uh, Jane, Lorraine, Karen, Vivian, uh, Kafili, Jeanette, Alison, Wendy, Florence, Cheryl, uh, Mary and Jerry, Janet, Angela, new customer, Barbara, Helen, Carolyn. Something I haven't actually asked. Um, is this across uh, sort of all uh, capabilities? Absolutely. They're, they've, they've got really good drill holes. The seed beads are 11 0 so they're really able to be used. So I've used um, 0.5 Estlon on all of my all of the kits, so that we, there's no trouble with threading. Mm -hmm. No, they're really good, really nice. Wow. And you're guaranteed that perfect spher spherical yes. shape with, uh, with the check glass. I love these glass pearls. Beautiful. beautiful. I wish we did more of them. I yeah. Of them. Do you know, it's weird. You Again, you said that. I wish we did more of mm. those. And I also wish we did more cord. Yes. <laughs> we need more cord. I think, I think there's a delivery on its way. Good, because I, yes. I need cord as well. Yeah. Uh, hello, yeah. Alison. That's amazing, Mark. I am doing oh. a cross stitch now for my cat called Midnight. Wow. But the one I've just started is a Victorian painting called, the, I think I mentioned it, called The Lament of Icarus. And um, it's quarter of a million stitches. <laughs> mm. How long is that going to take you to do? Oh, it'll be a couple of years. The last one I did, you see all the photographs yeah. of, the, of the, the figure of Jesus. That was a year and a week. And that, that was 100,000 wow. stitches. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. They're a real labour of love. Yeah. Congratulations, Mark. I'll be watching, says Elizabeth. I can't Me wait. too. I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited. And I believe I'm on with John Scott. Yes. So it'll be interesting to see the chemistry. It'll be lovely. Yeah. Can I say, he's, th yeah. that, that man smells amazing. Oh, does he? <laughs> Literally, every time I go into the changing, into the dressing room after John Scott's been in, I'm like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can't be shy here because uh, the amount of times I've walked in there and John's, you know, getting dressed or whatnot and vice versa, <laughs> we can't be shy. Um, okay, I wow. love these. Can I show the earrings? So what I've done for the, the I'm, I'm going to treat these as bundles rather than kits. So obviously you need to add your thread. You can add any other seed beads or, or gemstones. And for me, I just I had the, I had this strand of smoky quartz in my stash for years. And you know, all of a sudden something just clicks and you think I've got the perfect gemstone. And we've got a strand of smoky quartz in this hour as, as well, I believe, to so say you'll be able to make these. What about sapphires? They're just gorgeous, sapphires. Yeah. What about the sapphires yeah. that are coming up as well? Yeah. And if, um, if Nikki is watching, she might be at the golf club working on her latest project. These delicas are beautiful. I love the. Mm. I, I absolutely yeah. love these. And they're so wearable. Yeah. This is long, beautiful, sort of boho sh chic earrings. We've got big quantity. We've got a silver colour. Ah. And we've got a gold colour. Amazing. Um, I'm going to start, I think, with the beads. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Which what, one first? What's the price of these kits? Um, I don't. I don't want to say it just in case I'm wrong. Okay. What's the price on these kits? So Mark can hear. Well, I'd pay what I've just heard for these earrings, for sure. Mm, yeah, you can have those if you want them. <sighs> you're more than welcome. I genuinely wasn't hinting. No, no, no. You're more than welcome. I genuinely wasn't hinting, but thank you. Well, I never wear my jewellery, you see, so it's always nice to, to donate so other people get enjoyment from the pieces. I wear your jewellery yeah. a lot. My the mum's the only person who wears my jewellery, you see. So it's oh, nice to I wear them on the donate. weekend. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Pleasure. Thank you, thank you. They're beautiful, aren't they? And I'm guessing, actually, quite simple construction. If you've got the right if you, components... If you've got head, we need a head pins. That's so, all you need. Wow. <laughs> Well, here are the yeah. colours of the beads. These are your delicas. I can see why you love them so much. You've got your metallic bronze. Beautiful. Color. Dyed red opaque. Red again. I love yeah, it. Yeah. And then, oh, what's that one? What's CL? Copper lined. Copper lined. Mm. I'm glad you're next to me. <laughs> um, and then, of course, here are the chandelier earrings. So I'm just going to turn these around so you can see them all. Um, there's the ones that I'm wearing. Yeah. There's the ones that are in your beautiful necklace. necklace. You're actually getting how many pairs? Six different designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six different designs. Yeah. So if you are thinking earrings, then... Uh, yeah. So they're, so they're supposedly they're, they're, they're called earrings, but you can use them as individual pendants. You can use them, um, as I said, as clasp ending for your, for your necklaces mm -hmm. and do all sorts of things with them. So don't, don't just treat them as, as they are earring drops, but they're, they're lovely. Aren't they beautiful? Again, very detailed. 
amazingly detailed um, across each and every single one of these. Love that, just that pop of red running through. Um, these are gold plated, uh, gold plated base metals, uh, which means obviously they can be that much more affordable, that much more accessible. We have got a big quantity of these. Listen, it's particularly in things like earrings, I do wear. Oh. I wear costume jewellery, I do, mm. particularly in earrings, because it's the kind of jewellery that you will literally take on and off yeah. um, and change more frequently. Loving these, so many of you there. When you said we've got quantity, Ross, how many is quantity? Oh, I was hoping he was going to say at least double that. Right. There's a hundred, but they're yeah, flying. All I've Joy. done with this page, yeah, I've just popped a little amber, a little amber. I like, I the spotted center. the amber. Yeah. They're really, really simple, beautiful makes. Look at that. Again, beautiful <laughs> and so wearable. So the Delicas are £21 on their own. So uh, 6 95 a tube for the Delicas. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? Or, <laughs> or £1.66 per base metal design and, and then, then everything else for free. free. Oh, silly, isn't it? Which, which, how often do you see Delicas for free? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how often do we see Delicas? Like, yeah, well, this is true. This is true. Look at how yeah. many people are on their phone lines. Um, oh, we're all going to wow. be wearing the most fabulous earrings, aren't we? On the back of this kit. If you're a gold person, then this is the kit for you. If you're a silver person, we've got... Or if you'd like to offer the variation, if you gift or you, uh, you sell, you retail your jewellery. It would look lovely with the jade. I totally agree. Yeah, amazing with jade. I'd use it with lots of, uh, of the gemstones that, uh, that we actually offer. Pearls, you could use it with pearls. You could use it with. Yeah, yeah, I love them. They're ve just so versatile. You don't have to put anything with them, to be truthful. Because sometimes when you're making chandelier drops, you have to be number specific on the head pin so mm. you get that graduation. But because all of these are, are fan shape, with a with a raised uh, with a high section and a low section, so that if, you, if, if Steve can just pan slightly to his right, those those um, earrings there, which are with the silver kit, there's the same amount of beads on every single head pin, but because of the of the yeah. graduation of the actual drop, it tapers. You don't need to you don't need to change the number. You don't have to think. You just thread. So th those are just featherweight head pins that I've popped various amounts of, of your delicacy on and attached with jump rings Those at the They're top. beautiful. They're, they're almost feather-like, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely. Would you expect to pay, I mean, this is a silly statement because I would expect to pay considerably more, but you know, even if you did, even if these were, what, 20, 25 pounds? Um, I'm, I'm happy. I'm absolutely happy. I buy costume jewelry earrings in particular from the likes of Zara a lot because I like their collections, I like their designs. Um, and you can expect to pay what's on your screens. Mm. And this is what, six pairs of earrings in this kit, or as you said earlier on, um, you, could, you could use them actually as connectors. Um, they make the most fabulous connectors in a multi-strand necklace. And, and any of these suspended from the bottom of a Marla necklace instead of a tassel and have the pendant drop beaded. Just be so you've got all that scope for your Marlas as well. They're gorgeous, Mark. Absolutely love these. Yeah, bottom of the marla instead of just having a tassel. Yeah. Amazing. Not everybody likes tassels, do they? Yeah, yeah. I've got one more kit, and then we're going to dive into your demonstration. Stay where you are on those uh, on those phone lines. I'm I'm going to get these kits. They're oh, they're such good fun. They're really nice. Yeah, kits love as them. Well. They're gone forever as well. Yeah, love them. Love them. Love them. Um, many of the kits are actually selling out now. This is going to go like the proverbial hot cakes. Yeah. Hot cakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those colours of delicates. I know. So we're going seconds. Or three favourites. White, turquoise and silver. Galvanised silver. Uh, I'm sold straight away, just mm. th those. Maybe They're the most beautiful okay. colour combinations. Um, but also the fact that your connectors are silver... Thank goodness we have the biggest quantity across the kits in these. <gasps> Mark, how have we not seen those? I love these. And I, what I've done is I've, I've, again, I've used head pins. I've had a little bit of chain for movement and then a little dangle at the bottom. You can, you can just keep make that into a necklace, you see. Just alternate the sections into very a necklace and have them as, as necklace sides. Very so art very, deco. Very, yeah. Yeah, very art deco with that sort of uh, fan filigree design. 
These are flying, literally flying. I'm not surprised. A, it's silver. Mm. B, it's the turquoise colour. Yeah, yeah, and the, st and the silver. We're galvanised silver we don't have very often. No. It'll be lovely. And, and, and if you're brand new, maybe you've stumbled across Mark and I uh, whilst you're flicking through channels, um, you thought, oh, I like those. Oh, well, you can make them. It's, mm. the, it's, the, it's one of the s most simple techniques. Um, well, I'm saying that, assuming it is, because it's just what you said. But yeah, yeah. if you've never done it before, ask Mark. Mark can show you. He's going to do a demonstration right now. Secure your kit. Um, and you're very helpful and interactive on social media as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Um, you can always drop uh, Mark um, a message. What do I need to add to these? Just, what, featherweights? So as, as I said, you, depending on what you're going to make, so you, you add cord, so your eslon, you can mm. use for every single one of these kits. But all I've used for the earrings are head pins, yeah. um, featherweight head pins, if yeah. you want something more delicate. The, head, the ordinary head pins will go through the delicacy. You don't, I've, I've just used featherweight just for weight, really. Um, and then gemstones, that just to add like I've made with your earrings. So everything that you should have in your stash. A little bit of extra yeah. zhuzh. Absolutely, yeah. And zhuzh, it most definitely does. I love these, I'm obsessed. 20 pounds only. Um, thankfully, we've got the biggest quantity of the kit that you're looking at right now, but there wow. is literally double <laughs> rows of names um, on this one. So it's gonna be an on-screen sellout. Janet, I can see you there. Don Dorothy, we can Ooh. see you there on the phone lines. If you want the multiples that I can see in some baskets, you have to check out because, um, yeah, I mean, if you look at the call screen right now, look at how many people have been successful um, and there's people in the process of dialing through and also checking out. We haven't got an unlimited supply of these, obviously. Um, have a little look across all the kits as well because I think they really do go together yeah, they hand work in together, hand. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. We oh, did have the biggest here. quantity. Oh! Oh, it's gonna be lovely. He is lovely, isn't he, yeah. Ross? Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's going to take every penny off for everyone. That's lovely. Do you know what? Ross is one of the most... He's very mild-mannered, is our Ross. Yes, yes. I can't ever imagine him being ruffled. No. Relax to the max, Relax he to the max. Gosh. What would be the opposite of relax to the max? And that would be me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stress to the mess. Uh, <laughs> you, you're not stressy. Mm. Sometimes. Not on screen, I'm not. No. No. Sometimes. Um, I think I'm, I, I'm literally a bit of both. I do yeah. stress. Yeah. A bit of both. But he's always chilled. And that's why you're getting this price tag. We're now stepping into your third column of names. Well done. In 10 seconds. Susan, gorgeous. you were the first in Warwickshire to make your confirmation. Everybody pays that final low price. You know that. These are beautiful. So quick makes. But just because they're quick makes doesn't mean it's not luxurious no. jewellery. No. Everything that Ross can squeeze out that price tag, he says, I'm doing it for you. £17.99 only. What was that saying you just said then, Ross? Relax to the max. <laughs> You're going to use that? <laughs> yes, definitely. I'm going to try it on Tiggy. See if uh, she won't. Relax she doesn't, she doesn't know how to relax. Um, Wow. Don't relax right now, though, because you need to be, you need to be making your confirmations. Um, so many of you there. You're loving these kits. And, of course, any questions or comments that you have for Mark, then feel free to message us because um, we are def we are live here in the studio. You can do that via text message or um, you can do it on the website. By the way, each kit has been like this. I don't really think it's just this kit. Each of Mark's kits have uh, and all are very close to actually selling wow. out. Um, so, Mark... Which of these are you going to demonstrate? So and I'm going... With yeah. the moo kite that's coming up as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. That'd be perfect. Yes. With, that, with the bronze kit, that'd just be perfect. So what I'm going to show you is basic fundamentals of the Lark's Head Knot. Love it. Because it's... it's are there different fundamentals mm. to a Lark's Head Knot? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because ah. Lark's Head... They're, in the world of macrame, there are five knots. Right. Okay. And one of them, the Lark's Head Knot, is a holding knot, so it's not really a knot. But for something so simple as a lark's head knot, so adding your donut pendants, yes. your, your knotting, your marlas, your, you're adding your pendants and your earrings, it's, it's just such an amazing little knot. It doesn't get used very often, but no. I just think it's one of, and for your, your slider class bracelets yeah. or your macrame friendship bracelets, it's got yeah. so many uses. So I'm going to show you how to attach your cords to the top of the pendant to start your knotting. 
then I'm going to show you how we do the little <coughs> suspended from the bottom. Fabulous. As well. So, first thing you need to do is colour coordinate with your your cord, first of all. So, I went for, obviously, pink. I always go for pink and turquoise, the two together. That's absolutely lovely. perfect. Okay. Now, as I said, your cords will go through all of your 11 O's and all of your 11 O delicates, so you don't need to worry about that. But what I definitely recommend doing is 10 minutes before you start your project, choose your cord. So I'll just take a, a long length off, like so. And then what I did was uh, quite a lot of money, and those in the know would know, I bought this product called Nail Envy. Now, this is a nail varnish that <laughs> lots of men wear because it's opaque and it dries. Oh, OK. To a nice mark. Now, there are two varieties. There's the original, of which this one is which is the shiniest, glossiest nail polish you've ever seen in your life. Right. Or there is the matte version, which I should have bought. Right, okay, <laughs> right, okay. So I bought the matte, which, which I'm wearing now. Um, so this is the high gloss version, which I now use to, uh, uh, it's quite an expensive thing to do, but I use that now to um, strengthen my cords. Yeah, OPI is quite <laughs> an expensive brand. It is, yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, very expensive Learn the mistake. hard way then. Yeah. So what you would do is, is 10, 10, 15 minutes before you start your project, just take, or it doesn't have to be this nail varnish, it can be any nail varnish, and just prop, plop a little, a little bit on to be a finger, like so. Make sure you pop the lid back on. And then all you do is you take the last inch and a half, two inches of your cord, and you just run it through your fingers until all of the excess disappears. Now what that does, it permeates into the cord, and that'll just give it a, a nice, point stiff finished so it makes it easier for all. Now that you don't need, as I said earlier, this goes through all of your B's and all of your delicas and your 11 O's, but sometimes it, the ends fray. Yeah. Okay, mm. so th this won't completely stop the ends from fraying, but it'll just give it a nice neat finish. And because you've got an inch and a half there, so don't, don't just um, do the last tiny amount, do the last inch and a half, because especially if you're doing long line Marla necklaces, you'll be using a lot of cord, you'll be, you'll be in, in, entering and exiting a lot of beads. And there will be a, be a point where you'll have to then just trim your edges to a 40 degree angle, and you need that, that length, because you'll be, you'll, you might need to cut five or six times okay. at an angle, and obviously you don't want to then have to reapply your nail varnish. No. Or, or that sort of stuff. So definitely recommend doing that the, for the two ends before you start. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pendant, and obviously depending on the length of your Marla. I think for a Marla with individual knots, you'll probably need about four foot of cord. So you take your piece of cord, you fold it in half. Now there's a right side and a wrong side of a lark's head knot as well. Okay, I know it complicates things. If I, I know I know there's different sides, but I didn't know there was a right or wrong. Yeah. So if I just show you the necklace here, if I can show, let me have a look. Have I done a, a lark's head on here? So if I if Stephen can get a close-up of the top here. Okay, so we've got the right side of the knot, so you can see we've got a nice, neat loop with a knot at the top. If I turn it over, you can see the two separate pieces oh, of cord. Oh, yes. You can't really, can you see, we've got two pieces of cord side by side, mm. and then on the front, they're both together. Yeah. Can you see? So you want the, the front of your pendant to have your both cords together. Okay, so the way you do that, this will make sense now, is you take your two cut ends of your cord that you've just prepared with your nail varnish. So that's the top, that's the front of your pendant. It's easier to see on the other, on the other pendant because it's got the, the etch designs. So that's the, the top. So what you need to do is you need to have the top of your pendant uppermost and take both of your cords from the back to the front. So we're just gonna take both of our cords from the back through to the front. Okay, hold them nice in your hand together and then separate the two cords. Take your hand underneath and pull the two cords through. Okay, so you can definitely see now that we've got the, we've got the two cords going underneath the knot and on the other side, the cords separate so that you know that that's the back. It's a really simple little little difference, but it, when on a completed piece of, of, of jewellery, it definitely matters. If you're make. somewhat of a perfectionist yeah. as well, which yeah. I think most jewellery makers yeah. probably are. So if you want if you want the front of the knot, always come up from the back to the front to do your lark's yeah. head. Okay. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to tie, pull that nice and tight, and I'm just going to tie a double knot. 
And what that does, it just keeps that knot nice and tight in place. And that just gives a really nice, neat finish. Okay, and now your cords are in the right position now to start doing your knotting. So I'll, we've been doing quite a lot of knotting recently, but I'll just show you how we do a quick single knot. So I'm going to use the beads that you get in the kit, these little hot pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my hot pinks and I'm going to feed on one of these amazing glass beads. And the reason that I've popped a bead at either side is the, the drill holes are quite large in these glass beads. And if you did a knot, the knot would disappear inside the bead. So I've popped a little seed bead either side and that just stops. Okay, so I'm going to slide that down and then I'm going to use my bead awl. Again, this is, a, this is, this is the best two pounds you'll ever spend. As if that's two pounds. I know, or if you didn't have a bead awl, you can use a, a T-pin as well. Yeah. So we're just going to tie an overhand knot and then you're going to hold that knot in your right hand with the gubbins, you know, your, your twists uppermost. You're going to take your bead awl through and then pull nice and tight onto the awl and then pull the awl up to the bead. And what I do is I, as I make sure that that little seed bead goes over the top of that awl. So I'm resting my thumb nice and neatly on the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm not doing, I'm going to leave it on the awl and then I'm going to pick up my next bead section. So my 11 O, first of all. So you see how easy the 11 O's go on the cord. Mm. My second bead. Especially now you've done that trick with the nail varnish. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So you can see how, how easy that goes on. And then I'm going to slide my next section down to my awl. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the awl away. And then I'm going to push with the bead section I've just added push down while closing the knot and you're guaranteed then the perfect knot in between your beads every single time. So obviously you will just going to carry on to your, do your knotted necklace. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you've done your necklace, we're going to then move down and I'll show you how we do the little pendant sections. So obviously the, all of the pendants have an odd number of holes, all of them. Okay. So obviously the, the middle one here is going to have either a lot more beads or you can put the same number of beads on because you've got that graduation, yeah. so you'll get that nice. But what I did with mine is I actually added more beads to the centre. I did groups of three. So I started with the outside edge with nine, um, with nine, 12, 15, 18 in the centre and then 15 yeah. and worked my way up, up that way. Okay, so what you do then is you go back to your cord, take a little And did section. you say there's cord coming back into stuff? Yay. At last. And what about the awl? I think the awl's on the, on web, on the website. I believe we, the awl is in stock. I don't know whether Ross can Ross, see if it's on. If it's can you is the awl in stock? The, the, the awl, awl. The yeah. bead awl. Yeah. Ross um, look. Because I actually need one of those awls. It's brilliant. I, I said it's the best two pounds you'll ever Two pounds. Two quid. Yeah. We'll have a little look. Yeah. Oh. We might be in we luck. Be in they luck. always sell out. Yeah. That's the thing. That's yeah. why I, I, I hesitantly asked. Yeah. So that that's that. So the, what the little demo I've just shown you is the um, is the way that I is the way I pearl knot, and it's just. Oh, is it? Have we got is it? Is it not? Oh. We're in. We've got it. Fantastic. Snaffle, snaffle that up. Honestly. How many have we got? Because genuinely, it's I need. Brilliant. Is there? Because yeah, I do need one. Amazing. I've had, I've had this since I joined JM ten years ago, and it's as good as new. It's just it just lasts forever. And I do a lot of knotting now. Well, th that's what I want it for. I'm going to start doing uh, knotting, um, yeah. knotting, and probably have a go at selling some jewellery. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just pay for my petrol. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dropping yeah. the price. If you haven't got an all, there we go. Tom, uh, you're Tom. Yeah. Mark's Mark's top tip. Tom. Brilliant. Love it. Love Tom, that then. all. As I said, for two quid, liter of petrol. You know, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm really grumpy about petrol at the moment, as many of us are. It's a joke. Anyway. 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 Yeah. So, uh, yeah. we've, we've, I've shown you how to attach your cords as in with the Larks is not exactly the same we're going to do with all of these little sections here. You're going to take your, you only probably need about 12 inches <coughs> of cord because mm -hmm. we're only going to do little sections. And exactly the same again, we're going to, we want the nice knot frontage to be on the front of the pendant. So frontage is uppermost, we take the two cords, through the hole at the back, 
we make sure our cords are nicely separated. We go underneath, take the two cords and pull through. Okay, so you get that nice neat knot. And then once again, just to secure that knot, you don't need to do this, but by just going in and doing another two, another double knot, so one and two. Pull that knot like so. And then what I've done on here, the, in the, the pink beads, the pink glass beads, you can actually get two cords through. So the holes, are, as I said, the holes are quite large. So you can get two holes, two beads in like so. And then I've pulled that nice and tight. Again, with a double knot. Oh, that's a good technique. So yeah. the fact that's 0 0.5 thread going through, through those twice. check glass. Absolutely, yeah. And now you've got that nicely attached. You've got that nice neat knot above the bead. And then you have your two little sections to then add your beads to. So let's, let's add a few beads and I'll show you how we finish. I won't do the whole amount because that's all about experimenting with amounts and the, the length of drop, etc. So we'll pop on we'll pop on some beads. Now I've not um, prepared the end on here and you can see how easy the 11 O's go on to your mm. 0.5. So we'll do this one, we'll pop on, let's pop on some beads. So like this isn't how mine looked. So we'll split it up with another seed bead, we'll pop one more on. So we'll just pop some 11s on, on the bottom. So what you would do is, is each of your two drops, you would do exactly the same amount mm -hmm. of beads, the same pattern. And then to finish, I do this with all of my knots again. So we tie an overhand knot, all the gubbins uppermost, hold it in your hand with the loop pointing downwards. Take your awl, you're going to go in, pull the thread, then pull the awl up to the beads. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's sitting in position. And even when you get to the last section, just take a bead, slide it on, take it off the awl, feed it up and push it up alongside. So that knot is nice and secure at the bottom. There's no gap. Then you slide your bead off and use it on your next section. And then all I do then is cut the thread, leaving a little tuft. And you can either glue that with the epoxy, with the... Um, Hypo. Hypo cement. Yep. Or what I do at home, I won't, I won't bring it on air again, is I use a cigarette lighter just to singe the end to stop all the, the knots. From yeah, because it's a man-made so material, isn't absolutely. it? So you can actually... Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, nylon, so, so if I bring the... Mark, look at that. So that's the completed piece. So as you can see, I've, I've separated... So there's my lark's heads with a nice knot uppermost. Then I've tied a knot to attach my first row of beads to. And then you've got your two dangles. So the ends here, I've used my little cigarette lighter, so it gives it a nice, neat finish. All of the, all of the fibres have have spliced together because of the heat. Yeah. So um, they're, they're never going to come undone as well. Oh, and it just makes a nice, beautiful. A, nice, a nice drop. But I know it's this tiny little thing, but just having the front of that knot in the right place yeah. just makes all the difference. And I'm glad you actually mentioned that because I wouldn't think about doing that. Yeah, so always go from the back up. Backwards up. And then, you, then you're guaranteed that you're, the front of your lark's head is on the top of your piece of work. There's nothing uh, worse than having eight with the knot at the front and then, and then one, one and it, you, it's, it is annoying. Yeah, that would bother yeah, me as well. Absolutely. But yeah. that, that yeah. is such a beautiful necklace. Um, it's really great fun. Really and as cool. if you can make yeah. that with surplus, so you've got more... Well, you, can make, you can make two full ones of that, yeah. exactly the same, plus you'd have another 40, 50 Bracelet. centimetres of beads left as well, so yeah. it goes a long way. Long, yeah. long way. Uh, these yeah. kits have been so popular. Um, so I think some of them have already sold out. Um, most of them are actually on the verge of if they haven't already. So well done, each and every single one of you. Thank you again, Mark, for these beautiful Pleasure. Earrings. Could Stephen just pass me that bust, the minky, that one there? Do you remember I talked about the AB? This is coming up in the Oh, 12. my goodness me. This, this is coming up in the 12 o'clock. So we're going to be demonstrating this. So this is coming up. This is one of the kits. Mark, that is absolutely stunning. So the, these are the AB. It's to you, you, you have so for all your bridal bridal pieces. Did you hear what Adam just said then? No, no. You've gone from your boho vibe, your Coachella, uh, right the way up to your, to yeah. your Lady Gaga red carpet. Mm. Oh my goodness yeah. me. So this is all, uh, this is 12 o'clock in the masterclass. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, it is, I mean, that looks like just it's encrusted with diamonds. 
12 o'clock masterclass for that demonstration. Um, okay. Thank you. You're Pleasure. amazing, as Pleasure. always. And, and as always, we love your jewellery. You. And also, you. we found out that there's going to be no, uh, some cords landing. That's very good. Yes. I, I do need some. Um, I've actually... <laughs> at, go I don't on. know if you knew. No. Brand new relaunch of Hip. Oh, I did know. You did know that. When's that? Very soon, very soon. Ross, do you know? The relaunch of hemp. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Relaunch of hemp cord. It's lovely. It's absolutely first product lovely. I ever used. Yeah. Hemp Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do I have selenite? I don't see it. Okay. It's on its way. Selenite. Smoky oh. Quartz Drops we're oh, going to bring you to. Ah. So if you've been admiring these beautiful earrings, honestly, Mark, I, I'm obsessed. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're right they're at my scope as street. well to actually hang a dangle in the centre if you wanted to as well. You know, you've got a loop there if you wanted to add a lovely little thing in the inside. I love them. I think they're so cool. They're absolutely we need more, beautiful. We need more designs of these, these um, yeah. gentlemen's. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because, you know, even if you're £10, if you do mm. things like your artisanal markets and things like that, they would fly. Absolutely. And if yeah. I live in your neck of the woods, I'd buy loads. Because <laughs> <laughs> like you do, well, yeah. earrings in particular are, um, aha, um, uh -huh. earrings are actually historically the, the, the piece of jewellery that we change the most. Mm, that's right, absolutely. You switch up. Yes, yes. Have you seen this selenite strand? Oh, we believe oh it's one of two strands we've ever brought to air. Um, first rondelles for sure. Look at this. Totally natural. Uh, let me just borrow this. Totally and utterly natural. Selenite. Crystal healers believe this is the most powerful of all um, gemstones. Oh, this is the um, cleansing pyramid things we yeah. do and the bowls and yeah. the, the, the um, spheres. The, 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 the gemstone I've that never retains seen light. In a well, we, uh, I said it was the first and. and uh, a, a viewer actually corrected me and said, no, we've had it once previously in rounds. Oh, wow. um, selenite, it's this magical, God. mystical, almost aura of a gemstone um, that has this beautiful, angelic white colour. It literally retains light. Now, I launched this last week. End of, was it on the weekend? Weekend just gone? Sunday, yeah. We have 20 left. Oh, it went nuts, <laughs> absolutely nuts. It's amazing. It is amazing. You put if you put your torch, the, the torch on your mobile phone to selenite, it, it creates this magical, magical light performance. Should we do it? I know there's only twenty, but still. Um, this is going to work with all of your chakra jewellery. This is going to work with all of your mala jewellery because of the sentiments and beliefs attached to this gemstone. I, I won't have the time to actually go into the whole PowerPoint presentation that I showed you at that time, but if you watch the show back on Sunday morning, um, it talks about, you know, just, just, just how significant selenite actually is. And I actually found a couple of uh, selenite uh, um, bracelets online that were like £40, pounds, oh, 30 God. 40 pounds. Look at this, though. Here we go. Should we come underneath? Yeah, let's do that. If I... Oh, that way. Let's do it this way, then. Oh, look at that. See how the light travels? Oh, when the little, little bands around the side. Yeah, you've got these silky, oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful inclusions. See how the light literally travels? Sorry, I'm not oh, very no. good with torches. It's magical, That's isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? And totally and utterly natural. We didn't close wow. it at forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, even though, in our twelve years almost of broadcasting, we believe this is the second ever strand. There are eleven oh, left. No. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Eleven left. I, I mean, I, I showed this alongside. Here we go. Sorry, one sec. I know it's gone dark in the studio. One second. I showed this alongside pearls because selenite and pearls oh, together. Yes. Look at this. Look at that. It takes on the colour of anything that it surrounds, yeah. doesn't it? It's got that slight pink hue to it now. That's oh. so beautiful. They're going to sell out, though. Hello, Susie. <laughs> I knew you'd be here, Susie, while getting this. Sell it. You know, I mean, Susie's our guest designer, Susie. 
she'll be all over this. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Because of the, the beliefs attached to the gemstone itself. Um, on Sunday, I gave you a, a whole presentation on selenite and, and the fact it's called. Do we have that? Do we have that, Ross, handy, if we not got time? Um, you know, the, just a couple of the slides that I showed on Sunday. Here we go. Look, here we go. It's healing with serenity, Aww. purification, peace, meditation, uh, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. You only have to look at the gemstone yeah. to see, uh, to get those feelings and that sentiment. You only have to look at it. Even if you're not into crystal healing, you can feel those emotions, can't you? So here we go, this is one of the bracelets that I actually found elsewhere, 49 pounds. I think you can make that. Ooh, easily. Yeah, it's a stretchy bracelet, yeah. basically. A couple of those, his yeah. and hers would be nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's on the verge of selling out. Well, well, well. done, everybody, well done. Shall we do, I'm gonna pass Ross's phone back, because I'm very aware I had his phone. For, you've got a lovely fo screen photo, by the way, Ross. I know, look at this. I actually better not show you just in case you get a message. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally a money on the front. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, if you are feeling this amazing inspiration, you're going to need some beautiful briolettes to put to the, uh, underneath. How about adding, we will do the smoky courts, but how about adding natural Burmese sapphire mm. and sorry to I, I don't want to I just need to show mark this yeah if these were in tumbles if these were in nuggets I'd get it they're in they're in briolette cuts amazing that color I know it's extraordinary it's it you can see why you have cashmere sapphire, which is no longer being mined. It had that really short window of mining, arguably the most historic uh, historical source. And you have Burmese. For me, it, those two are the pinnacle of quality. They say that Burmese sapphires rival the rich, deep, historic, luxurious blues that you used to find in the Kashmir Absolutely. location. Now, we do something very wrong here at Jewelry Maker. And let me tell you what that is. We describe these as faceted drops. They are not faceted drops. I, it is doing it disservice. I've had this conversation with our team, and they actually, their answer was, I'll tell you what, Al, if you want to sit and change them all. No, I don't, and I haven't, I haven't got the time to do that. However, this is a premier strand. These are briolette cuts. There's 360 degrees of exceptional lapidary work here. They're not drops. No. There's so much more. I mean, imagine these, Mark. Oh, yeah. With the pearls we had earlier on. I imagine it interspersed in, <gasps> that, interspersed in that necklace, I think, would be amazing, wouldn't it? Could you put, what, suspend them, would you? So can you see where the crystals are going down the centre? Yeah. If you did every, every fifth one a sapphire... Here we go. So you get sort of a corkscrew spiral of sapphires running throughout the necklace. So, like, yeah. so it almost be, it would be yeah. set within? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Mark, that would be amazing. The all the way around. Yeah. Should we do it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, wow. Taking an absolutely outstanding piece of jewellery and adding natural Burmese sapphire briolettes. Unbelievable. And I, I can't, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of things that we're doing wrong. We, we're calling them faceted drops. They're not faceted drops, they're briolettes. But also, this is natural Burmese sapphire. And we're about to absolutely obliterate the price tag. Does it have, does it have those rich, regal, deep blues um, that, you know, are synonymous to things like, oh, we think about the Royal Engagement Ring. We think about Elizabeth Taylor. Um, when we look at this level of luxury, we imagine it in your 18 karat golds and in your platinums, for sure. One thing we certainly don't imagine is the price that you're about to see. Your deal of the day, hour, is coming up. It is coming up. Not too long to wait for your mookite strands. I'd, I'd create big cluster earrings with these. Oh, yeah. Well, they look amazing in your earrings, even with the antique bronze. But I think you probably changed it to gold. Little gold seed beads. 
hanging down. They would be perfect alongside these, wouldn't they? Or imagine this is a pendant oh. on a chain with the sapphire suspended. That Absolutely gorgeous. We're not stopping at 79.99. We have a big <laughs> quantity of these. Shall we do a clearance deal? And do you know where else we're not stopping? The next price. So the price that you've just showed me, we're not stopping at that. <laughs> mm. We're not stopping here. Natural not Burmese. Stopping there. No, not stopping here. Well, that's lower hump. than the price you just showed me. I know. I know, I know. That's, uh, that's how Ross rolls. Um, oh. That's less than £2 per stone from Bur of Burmese Sapphire. Now, I need to point out, and I know Jake mentioned it yesterday, this is uh, old mine. Um, old mine as well, so you can absolutely purchase this with conf confidence. No irradiation, no fissure filling, no diffusing, not even a, a, a minuscule amount of heat treatment. All solely mother nature. I'm, you know, one pearl, one of these at the bottom. Maybe a beautiful little trio or um, a collection of different lengths on sterling silver chain. A little How pearl, commercial. a little pearl beady bead. Oh. The drop just. Oh my goodness. If you, if you had the time, Mark, to still do things like oh, your arti uh, you know, artisanal markets, which you used to do very successfully, didn't you? Well, I really miss them, actually. Really you miss them. You should do it again. Mm, just the time, isn't Just it? the time. I bet this is the yeah. kind of jewellery that would absolutely. fly. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it's a stone people know. Yeah. They love birthstone. It's got it's blue, honestly. <laughs> £24.99. pence. That, I mean, what? That's that's less than that's less than a pound per carat, and it's about a pound per no, sapphire. No. A pound for a natural Burmese sapphire. Again, you can I can bring you sapphire of lots of different qualities. I can bring you, I can bring you a sapphire for one pound. I can bring you a sapphire for probably a million pounds. Um, but natural blue Burmese sapphire should never ever ever be less than twenty five pounds. Crazy, isn't it? Unbelievable savings. Lynn, Judith, Carolyn, Malcolm, Eva. Um, hello to you, Vivian, Elaine. Hello to you, uh, Cumbria, Linda, London, Brenda, Lin another Linda, Jill, new customer, Angus, Elizabeth, Dorset, Simon, Pamela, Valerie. You're going to need to be che uh, quick checking out those baskets because these are absolutely flying. They're not faster drops. These are briolettes because you have that 360 degrees, beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh, well, it, it, it is. It was actually made famous in the Edwardian and Victorian period. Um, and regarded as one of the most decadent of all cuts. There's so many there. I had 100 of these, incredibly. Yeah, they're absolutely flying. Um, do you know, it's one of those that if you actually have customers that come to you and sort of say, or oh, could you make a commission? Could you make a piece of jewellery? I bet many, uh, many people would actually think, oh, um, I can't ask for sapphire. It's going to be too expensive. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any and of then, the big stones. Yeah. They're, most well they're almost hesitant yeah. to. Yeah. Oh, my. Do you know what I get so many times now is when, I, when um, we see friends and family and I, and I say that we sell diamond strands. They just can't seem to understand how we can sell strands of diamond beads that we can use in our jewellery. It's just incredible, isn't it? Just reminded me. I owe our Alison some money. She bought some diamonds for me. <laughs> As you do. As you do. I love this strand. This is amazing. There's the smoky quartz and there's is... smoky quartz, isn't there? Oh, if you love these earrings, and I'll show you again, this is the strand for you. Well, that's incredible, isn't it? My favourite building in the entire world is still the Gherkin in in. Uh, I've, had, in I've eaten at the City top of the London. Gherkin. Just adore that building, and these these sort of drops always remind me of the Gherkin. I mean, if you oh, if you if you love the earrings that I'm wearing right now, and I, I do, oh, I'm obsessed with these, Mark. This is the perfect strand. It's yeah, I had a meal, yeah. I had a meal at the top of the Gherkin. Really? Overrated. Oh no! Yeah, unfortunately, we had oh. quite a bad experience. Oh, what a um, yeah, oh. yeah. And maybe it was a one-off. Give it a try. Mm. Give it a try. This is this is this is a lot nicer than the stone, the stones in your ears. I have to say, the richness of colour in it's that strand. espresso it's colour, the whole isn't it? Strand as well. Look. Yeah. No. Oh way. my goodness what? me! <laughs> 
Oh, that's ridiculous, Ross. So the wait. quality of that's probably the finest quality smoky cross I've ever seen. It is. You, you're looking for an espresso coffee colour, yeah, aren't you? Absolutely. With this brilliance. Is it. Yeah. Imagine these alongside those pearls. Ah. Oh. That's How many have we got? In-house designers getting involved? Oh, no. Oh, they've flown. They've absolutely flown. Limited now because there's so many of you there. Vivian, Teresa, Wendy, Elaine, uh, Ava, Yorkshire, gone. Well done. Well done, well done. Now, wow. just before we cut to a break, we have special permission to bring you... <gasps> oh, this... boxes. We launched this. We've got 100 of these left. Just before we cut to the break... Are we doing it now? Okay. Um, comes like a little suitcase. I love it. Absolutely love it. Listen to this. We're taking it under ten pounds. There we are. Go, go, go. Do you know what? I had so many comments about about the way that you and I made people laugh talking about our closures. I love closures, though. What, I do. What is it that's so enjoyable about the sound of a good closure? Ready, 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 ready. Oh. It's good in it. Should we close it again? Ready, ready. It's that thud you get on a good closure. There's nothing better. No. Literally nothing yeah. better. Let's do the other side. Ooh. I love that subdued clunk at the end. <gasps> ah, a subdued clunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right, uh, uh, here it is. I mean, they all the right way before we go on. I think they are. This yes, time. they are. Thank goodness. Sorry, it was. It was we giving, had issues, didn't we? The oh, last it was. One. My OCD was yeah. going absolutely crazy with some pointing yeah. in the different directions. Amazing. Come with the stickers. Um, I mean, what can I fit in these little boxes? So we discovered that you can get um, whole half tubes. Where the little half tubes, the Adelicas, they've been taken away, haven't they? All yep. fit in these. Um, your the tube of eleven O's will go in this. Things like Super Duos, the shaped beads, you'll get about two-thirds of a mm -hmm. tube in. So they do hold a lot. Findings? For, for, for all of your findings. And um, another thing that I dabble in is, is a hobby called diamond art, diamond yes. painting, with the little drills. And lots of people text in the, our show, didn't they, to yeah. say that these would be perfect for your diamond art drills. Well, what about also yeah. for like our sister channels, so not hobby maker, but also sewing Going street. Keep your pins and all your, your sort pins. of accoutrements. Your sequins. Sequins, yeah. Sequins. Absolutely, yeah. Your jewels Fantastic. and sparkles. and yeah. um, We've been given special permission to relaunch this for you today. It's got, it went under £10. Yeah, it's and, and I've loved seeing the photographs as well that our viewers have actually sent in of their beautifully organised stashes. Yeah. Um, we didn't close there. I need, yeah. I need an organised stash. I've got, it's yeah. weird, I've got OCD in some ways, but not in others. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I am very much a clean freak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But not necessarily an organised one. That's all right. So I need to, I need yeah. to organise my stash. And this children, is how I do it. You do have children. Yes, yeah. Well, as soon as I organise it, it's unorganised again. <laughs> um, there are a hundred of these left. And they literally just all, you know, the fact yep. that they are clear, Mark. A few nuts and bolts and screws in the garage, in the man shed. Yes. It's just perfect. So you can keep all sorts of herbs and spices in the kitchen. Yeah. They've got so many uses. But the fact that they're really, they're really good closing, they're good, nice and airtight. Nice little, they're brilliant. I love them. Those of you that do your cooking. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah? You can That's literally brilliant. just give it the tap you've got, you've got as well, look. Yeah. That flip lid. So really easily. 60, and we saw, we looked at other sites, didn't we? You could, Pax of 10 they were selling for similar sorts of prices. Just, the literally, just yeah. literally the, yeah. uh, so yeah. the, the, the Tic Tac boxes themselves. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, Nicole, Linda, Jennifer, Sandy, Michael, Susan, Jan, hello to you. Uh, Eva, Lisa, Brenda, so many of you getting involved right now. It is a necessity. I think if you are just generally creative. Oh, absolutely. You, you get need four to be organised. Yeah. That's ready? Amazing. Ready, ready? Yes. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. But it's a beautiful piece of kit. It, as I said, it's got a carry handle, really strong acrylic, and uh, you can just use them for so much. You know, as, you, as you said, so we've got Sewing Streak, now we've got Hobby Maker. Yep. Lots of little bits and pieces of Hobby Maker you can keep in these as well. Yep. And um, all of your card off cuts and things. And as I said, Jewelry Maker. Well, they're, micro they're just amazing. strands. Yeah. Your gemstones uh, will go in there We talked about putting well. single cabochons in yes. each of them as well. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Because the lids come off as well. 
even though they flip open, you can actually take the whole lid out yeah. to pop the cabochons this in. This is it. Them safe. Hello, Michael. Just what ah. I've been looking uh, looking for after uh, for my findings. Yeah, Thank you. So you can have a gold box, a silver box, <coughs> a rose gold box. Yeah. Chains in a row, your head pins. They're long enough for your head pins. Labelled, so you shepherd know. hooks. Oh, yeah. Shepherd. You can literally go, where's my yeah. shepherd hooks? Yeah. Uh, oh, where's a... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, my head pin's in that size or whatever. Oh, there they are. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go put them back away safely. Safe as, uh, safe no, as houses. Um, because things get damaged as well if you just have them sort of rattling around. I've got yeah. all my jewellery making stuff in a deflecto tower. And oh, I yes. love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. It goes under the stairs after I've had it, you know, been making jewellery. Um, but... Which is great, but I also need something smaller mm. because they just rattle around. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so. really good. My mum's got one not as big as this for her for her tablets. My mum takes so many tablets that if you shook her, she would rattle. So oh, she, she so she has things like this for her tablets with Monday, Tuesday, or yeah. or hours of the day and things like that. So so even for for medicines and things, I think that's this is an amazing idea. little little kit. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Ellen. Mark. Uh, I had great ah. joy separating my beads and pearl scoops into colours uh, and sizes into these. Brilliant idea. And at six ninety nine. It's ace. Like you said, we found ten of the we little tic tac boxes right for that price. Yeah. For the, what's on your screens? Yeah. Um, it is the final. 100 of these storage always flies out the door doesn't it and i think you know i spoke about sort of cleansing um you know when you actually uh you have a little sort out you probably find your creativity is less hindered mm, absolutely there's nothing more frustrating no. than looking for something and you can't no, find no, no, it no, no. i get really cross and then i'm like well, i'm at my crossest sat in traffic because yeah. there's nothing you can do about being sat in traffic no. and the time wasted but if, you've, as I said, if you're at home and you, you know where things are, they've got a place, and you know, you know exactly where to go to, you know, we wasted enough time. We don't have to waste time with our hobbies as well, do no, we? No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And as you just said there, um, it is in, quite enjoyable. It's yeah, quite enjoyable to have that little yeah, sort yeah, through. Yeah. Uh, just what I need for my collection of micro fasted like yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'll see them clearly and be prompted, uh, start to use my yeah. tiny gems. Lovely absolutely. Idea. The fact that they are transparent mm -hmm. as well, the boxes. Yeah, absolutely. You haven't yeah. got to you haven't got to sort of like open everything to actually find what you're looking for. You can mm -hmm. physically see through. I mean, if yeah. I show you that way, you can literally see straight through. It's a quality box. It's ace. No, it's really good. It's really good. Talking about um, um, last pieces. On Sunday morning, I'm on the show with Carol, and at eleven o'clock, I'm bringing to air the last few pieces left from the. Chestnut Close Spring Collection. We've got tiny amounts left, and obviously we've got to make way in May for summer. So we're going to bring the last few pieces 11 o'clock on Sunday for anyone who missed Be it. It's such a beautiful yeah, collection. Really, really, I've had so much feedback, and lots so of people have received their bits and yeah, pieces. And yeah, yeah. Really like They're great. so beautiful, Mark. Yeah. And still, I I, I've, I've mm. gone blank what the name of the flower is. My favourite. The well, iris. I got the iris. iris. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I said oh, it yeah, I got the lovely. iris. Um, um, I need to pick up a staff order for the chain. Oh, oh right, yeah. You need a chain. But yeah, I wanted to wear yeah, it around yeah. about 26 oh, inches. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, Mark. Absolutely beautiful. So if you missed Mark's collection, make sure you tune in on Sunday um, with Mark and Carol. Now, coming up after the break, we have Mookite. Can't wait. Like you have never seen it before. All brand new premieres. New cuts, new shapes, exceptional quality, all the way from the western coast of Australia. A deal of the day hour. This is sold out. Mark and I will return after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Here at 
and Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. The obsession of Mookite. We all, I've, no, I've never met anyone who doesn't like Mookite. None of our viewers, none of the people who come no. to the workshops, visitors, we all, we all have an affinity with it. And, and for me, it's, we, I call it the sharing gemstone because, as you know, I love this. my mum and I both love Mookite and she loves all the mustard and the beige tones and I like all the reds and the pinks and the greys. So for us, if we bought a strand, we'd always separate it. So we have, we have an affinity with Mookite, it's beautiful. And the fact that it comes from the other side of the world. Literally the other, it couldn't, it's come, it couldn't be any no, further absolutely. away. No, no. Um, it's actually a variety of Jasper, which we know Jasper comes in so many different yeah, visual beauties. Um, for me, Mookite is the most distinctive of all completely, the Jaspers. Completely, yeah. Um, and also the, this gemstone, there couldn't be, it couldn't be more apparent its location. Because you oh, know we oh. often actually say gemstones often display the beauty mm. of their location. Larimar, prime example. Yes. Mookite yeah. comes only from Australia. And um, these aren't my words, this is a wonderful website. I've kind of cherry picked a few bits over um, of, uh, of different articles um, available to explain what Mookite is. So, um, both Mark and I noticed the difference in spelling um, at the top. That might be maybe how the Australians spell it, I'm not really sure. Uh, named after the creek where this jasper is found in Western Australia, the Mooka Creek, Mookite is fast becoming a well-recognised Australian semi-precious stone. Now, one thing, I read this article and I want to share it with you. 
We don't use that terminology anymore, semi-precious. No, no. Because they used to call garnet semi-precious. That's not my words, GIA. Mm. I've, I've literally said we don't call things semi-precious anymore. Garnets, especially things like zavarite and demantoid, they're not semi-precious at all. Um, so, yeah, we don't use that terminology. Anyway, the amazing colours reflect the Australian outback in its ochre hues. Completely. Due to the flint-like structure, mukai is tricky to cut and polish, as it will easily splinter. However, when uh, success, uh, successful, sorry, cabochons can look picturesque and can be made into spectacular jewellery. Mukai, mukai is mined in the Kennedy Ranges, about 100 miles inland from the coastal town oh. um, of uh, Carnarvon uh, in Western Australia. Sorry, I can't help but say no. that with a Welsh accent. Um, the creek has many underground springs, making mining wet oh. and me a messy job, uh, but the results are worth it. And if we read on, um, I think it's in this, in this slide. No, just one second. I'm going to read this to you because I think it's quite important. If we go back... It talks about sort of the wet, boggy mm, locations yes. of um, of mukai. Typically, I didn't find it, did I? But actually, it's a it's 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 this is a, um, ancient marine life that actually has produced and resulted oh, in the colour right. of this right. of this gemstone. Um, we'll re we'll lead on. Here we go. These two leases are confined to the riverbeds where mukai is exposed. Have we jumped to the slide? Sorry. Here we go. No, it's okay. We'll go back. Tom Capitani and uh, Joanne Pass were very fortunate to be the last miners to obtain a mining oh, yeah. license in the, er in the area situated on Mooka Station, which is now controlled by the Department of Conservation uh, and Environment. The area can be accessed by crossing the Gascoigne River, which can be quite a challenge, with four or six wheel drive vehicles only. Oh, Two existing mining license exists in the area as well. So, you know, this is not a huge no. operation anymore. No. Um, and it is only found in that one location. So again, you've got to ask yourself the question, what's going to happen to the price of mukite when those mine, when mining runs out, mm. or, or at the very least dwindles? Um, we can move on. These two leases are confined to the riverbeds where the mukite is exposed and easily mined. The last 20 years of mining have depleted the reserves of high quality multicolored mukite uh, through brightly colored mukite can uh, sorry though brightly colored mukite can be seen strewn throughout the riverbeds uh, from these mining activities so we are now uh, some might say some might read that certainly this is how i imagine it we're getting near the end we're getting near the end yeah. precisely like okay it, so it? if we can't do large scale mining anymore mm. and we're basically looking at what's left what's left of the fine quality Wow. Here is Thomas Capitani, wow. um, and we spoke about a gemstone actually displaying the beauty of the location. Look at those warm colours. Um, oh, you'll amazing. notice that mukite, when it is found, it, found, it tends to naturally form in quite large sizes. Yes, yes. Um, but tricky to cut, remember. It's making this collection really exciting. There's a couple of other photographs I want to show you. Uh, Tom Capitani, he owns the mine himself, um, and you can see you know, uh, locals. This is very much a family, uh, family sort of mining business, which I think is absolutely wonderful. Having been to Australia, it is extremely hot, so I can't imagine how you go about mining gemstones under such uh, such heat intensities. Uh, again, moving on. There, look at that. Mining is a team effort uh, in this remote wilderness country. So, and I love the next picture um, where literally they all, after a hard day's work, um, chef and master gem cutter Mick prepares a nice meal on the barbie. That's full course. English. Um, yeah, <laughs> it, you can see it, can't you? Yeah. You can literally visualize, okay, they've done the gemstone mining, maybe they've done a bit of cutting, let's get the barbie going. Uh, the bush doesn't release this treasure readily. Bogging um, of vehicles is frequent. Oh, no. It is mined yeah. on a river. So, um, so wow. yeah, often, actually, the big heavy-duty cars and trucks will get beached in the sand and in the mud itself. So maybe that all, having, having read all of that, it yeah, makes it understandable part. why we rarely see it. But when we do see it, it's visions like this which grab us. Reds, ochres, purples, mauves, yes. all completely Now you, now you mentioned flint. 
Mm -hmm. You can see that sort of that yeah. look, can't you? I never never knew that. Almost like slate, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at Almost that. Almost like slate. That's amazing. Look at those colours. Look at those amazing colours. And that's what you're about to get after some absolutely beautiful, skilled lapidarists God. have fashioned them into these wonderful shapes. Now, we have 12 premier mookite opportunities. And I'm going to start with the smooth pears, which I can see in, is it this piece? No, this piece. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, beg your are. pardon, here's more oh, question. Look. Oh, Mark, look at that. They're extraordinary, aren't they? Oh, it's beautiful. Totally and utterly natural. 95 carats. Look at this. Yeah. Remember what we were saying about the colours? The picturesque look in your cabochons, which is basically what these are, but drilled, so you can suspend them. I love that custard yellow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? And this, yeah, so beautiful, Mookite. Our sister channel, when we were discussing it with our um, our colleagues, they were like, "Oh yeah, we have a bit. We have a little bit of mukai in pieces. Oh, do they? Not much though. Not they don't have it very no. often, um, but always very, very popular when it can, uh, when it's brought to air. This is the smooth drop. Smooth drops. Now I have no other smooth drops. If you are looking, I've got faceted uh, drops. But if you're looking for that really elegant droplet light shape, just one of these on the sterling silver chain, Mark. That's it. How many do we have then? It's a whole hour of deal of the days. 12 items, 12 separate strands. Oh no. Uh, there's only 50. Oh gosh. Each right. item, there's only 50, so you're gonna need to be really quick on this, other than the tumbles where we've got slightly more. So we've got rondelles there. I've never seen Mookite rondelles, mm -hmm. never. Imagine the Mookite rondelles yeah. in with this. That's the beauty, and this is why Alan Sue. I, I I liked your picture on uh, on Instagram last night. I love the pieces that you have made today. Thank you so 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 much. Um, I have Australian friends. Never heard of Mookite. Sent the wife a Mookite Marla oh. for Christmas, and she adores it. That's Anne, our in-house designer, that's made one of these amazing pieces. Oh, bless you! Right? I mean, yeah, I, that doesn't surprise me to be honest, because. It's such remote mining and so little of it is actually available, particularly if we are coming to the tail end of yeah, it, absolutely. which is certainly what that article was actually suggesting. There are 50 of these available. That's it. And these are not reconstituted. These are not dyed, you know, maybe like your agates. Love an agate, literally love an agate. But we put, we, we, we influence it to dye to, to highlight the beautiful markings. Mookite does that all on its own. Straight away, people getting involved. Huge stones. Treat them as cabochons if you want to, because you could. You don't have to use the drill hole, it's opaque. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Look at that. Have you got a favorite? I think it's the, the yellow one. This one? Yeah, I think that's, what's the other side like? Flip it over. Oh look, that's just beautiful. Oh, it's like a flower. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the joy of Mukai is you think you've seen it, and then you flip them over. Yes. And, and it's the excitement of not knowing what you're going to get when you get it home as well. They're all totally, totally unique. That is not your closing price. 12 strands, <laughs> limited Mookite. It's a deal of the day hour, as opposed to- We're going to out with a bang, apparently. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Are we going out? We've still got, we've still got- oh. We've still got, what, how many hours now? Two and a half hours on show. Yeah. I mean, Vivian, Christine, Cumbria, Lisa, new customer, Janice, London. Add it to your order. Brand new, premiering today. 95 carats. One of the biggest carat weights we actually have in, uh, um, in uh, Mookite. And this, this is it. This is the Mookite deposit that we have. There's no more. There's, we haven't got Mookite. Have we got Mookite in round? No. 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 Have we got any other Mukai in our vault? No. This is literally it. 12 premier strands. It couldn't come any further away than Mukai.
19 pounds and 99 pence only I mean, wow. visually, it's. It, I think I agree. It's one of those stunning stones. Mm. I can imagine things like the the heat of the Sahara Desert, or the outback. As I, we said, it, I, I completely give it a brand new seal of respect now after reading all of your your, your PowerPoint and, yeah, and how we, difficult it is to get, and the fact that we're running out. And I think it just makes you look expect, at it completely different. Yeah, yeah we expect yeah. Mo uh, jaspers in, pati in particular. Yes, we expect them yeah. to just be available. Well, look at ocean jasper. Absolutely, it's not available anymore. No, no. Um, Mukai is only found in one location, and yes, they are having to scour the riverbeds now to actually find uh, deposits that maybe uh, uh, maybe were were missed. Uh, to bring you parcels like this. So I can't say that it is, I can't predict when it's going to deplete, but it will at some point. Mm. It will at some point, and there's no other location that we can actually turn to. Um, of all the lo one locational gemstones, I think Mukite has to be one of the most distinctive. Oh, completely, completely. It's, it's yeah, immediately yeah. recognised. We have only 50, and there's so many there. Hillary, Pamela, Cumbria, Carol, Johnny, Pauline, customers wanting three. Um, 50's not a lot. It's not a lot in terms of quantity, um, so good luck. Now, I think, and that's just little old me, when we start working towards the quite quirky, <laughs> unusual quirky. Art Deco mm -hmm. yes, shapes, yes. things are going to really oh, heat up on the phone. Look at yeah, those. Yeah, they're ones. stunning, aren't they? Look at that one. Do you I know, I always, I always talk about, when we're, we're discussing Mukai, I always talk about supermarket shopping. Because you can buy, I don't know what price they are in, all the, in other supermarkets, but, but I buy a pack of six apples, named variety apples, for three pound. Yeah. Okay. It's taken six months for this apple to grow. It's been picked and washed and bagged and we buy them. Now, something like this is millions of years old. We've seen the work that goes through mining it and shaping it. But it's in Australia. Yeah, exactly. And we're still paying under £20 for a strand <laughs> or something like this. We, I just Sometimes I can't get my head around gemstones. And, and we're so easy. Yeah. It's so easy to be blasé about Completely that fact. Completely and utterly, yeah. So easy. Also, Mukat's expensive. Mm. You know, there is a piece. I think I've got a photograph to show you. There's a, the, this is a gemstone, gemstone not just used in jewellery, it's used in sculptures. Um, in fact, look at this oh handsome my chap. Word. He look sold at, at Bonhams <laughs> for forty thousand pounds. Oh, he's incredible, isn't he? Uh, sculptured by Louis Alberto, oh a magnificent cockerel, and it's all in mukite. How amazing That's is that? That's extraordinary, isn't it? <laughs> it's an expensive stone. Wow. An expensive gemstone. We have here beautiful, very 1920s faceted. These are actually faceted diamond shapes. Um, love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So you can see some of the pieces that Anne and Sue have actually made out of these. Um, it's going to create structure immediately, isn't Completely. it? Completely. You're, you're, you're absolutely right about Art Deco, without a doubt. Just here. Oh, is it? That one there. That one there. I beg your pardon, yeah, that was my yeah. fault. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. There it is. You can see, you've got those taper edges. They are nice. Very Art Deco. And, yeah, the, and actually Art Deco colours yeah. too. Yeah. They're gorgeous. We all had a favourite piece that Alan Sue have made. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, oh, yeah, Tiger's mm. Eye alongside yeah. your Mukai. Can you imagine that as a combination? How would you work with these, Mark? Because they are quite distinctive shapes, aren't they? Well, again, keeping it really simple. You don't want to start faffing. Just as I said, Anne and Sue have used quite a few stones in that necklace. But as you said, just one of those large drops mm. with a little heart either side. Just that, and that's it. Yeah. These would be perfect on your, on your memory wire talks. That would be just, just one. Look beautiful. You wouldn't even need to put any beads on at all. Just, just one in the centre. What about things like gallery wire yeah, and yeah. bezel setting wire, completely, wire completely, wrapping? Yeah. And bead bezeling, sea bead bezeling. Oh, yeah. as well, couldn't you? All sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, they'd work with the kits earlier on as well. Mm. Work perfectly alongside the kits. Have I, got nine, have I got 50 of these? Oh, just 50. I'm asking the question because I'm not going to lie, I want to get hold of it too. I have very little mookite. 
um, within my personal stash. And, it, and I, it's actually one of my favourite colours on in this gemstone. Ocra. You like the mustard, isn't it? I love mustard. mustard. So, yeah, yeah, I love yeah, it. I've yeah. got so many different. Let me move that out of the way. Um, I've actually got so many different items of clothing that that colour. Oh, in fact, I'm wearing it now, aren't I? I've actually got sort of fle uh, sort of speckles of yeah. ochre within. Um, it's just warm and delicious and beautiful. You're a are you more ochre or the crimson red? Crimson red. You like the crimson red. My mum loves reds. the mustards. Yeah. They're beautiful. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Uh, Fifty of these are available. This is one. This is actually one of the biggest carrot weights um, of the entire showcase as well. Vivian in Hertfordshire. Vivian in Highlands. Sarah, hello to you. Wendy, Christine, Pauline, and Linda. We have got pretty much every single shape that you could wish for, with the exception of rounds. We don't have rounds. We've had rounds in the past, haven't we? Yeah, it's true. nice to see different shapes, I think. True. I like stones like this that have, that, that have large surface areas. I think it, it just warrants it, doesn't it? It absolutely does. And again, you flip them over, they look completely different from the other side. Extraordinary. Why have we got a clock ticking away? Oh. Uh. Ross says I'm going to go lower. Oh, look at those. Those colours, those patterns come from... Uh, millions of years ago, ancient marine life that has transformed this beautiful variety of jasper to this completely natural, visually stunning pattern of colour. We're going lower. We want another entire sellout on your Mookite showcase. And the re do you think about it logically? It, I, I've travelled to Australia, it, it takes over it literally takes over a day it's horrendous it's not, uh, hor and it's not something i'd volunteer to do anytime soon that being said i was meant to be going to bali which isn't that far uh, away yeah. um where are you going to bali i oh, don't say that are you really oh yeah we had to cancel our trip i'm going to derbyshire in may really looking forward to it i'm happy um, with derbyshire I like Derbyshire, it's beautiful. Shall we're going to Chatsworth, Ooh. one of my favourite places in the world. Amazing. Yeah. £14.99. Mad, isn't it? But you think about logistically the air yeah. miles that each Crazy. and every single one of these strands is actually, you know, that alone. And it is completely and utterly natural. This is one of the biggest carrot weights of the entire showcase. And again, this has got to be the greatest selection of, uh, of shapes that completely, we've ever done. Really, completely. Shapes I've ever done. Seen. We'll take a little look across the tea bar. Yeah. You know, you've got you've got some those rondelles I love. I'm loving this. Yeah. Oh yeah. You've got faceted rectangles, rondelles, you've got those kite shapes. We're gonna do what, the squares? These ones or those ones? Oh, These the ones. Oh. Yes. Um, so all coming up within this showcase, but be warned there is fifty of each. That's it. That is it. Uh, so you'll need to be quick. Uh, making your confirmations, everybody. 95 carats of natural Australian beauty. Florence, Carol and Malcolm, Lisa, Margaret, in-house designer, Anne's loving these. <laughs> I don't blame you, Anne. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. The colours, you couldn't... It's, it, it's incomparable to anything mm, else. Completely, no. You so, you don't, so you obviously don't, you don't get blues and greens, do you? In no. Your it's all the, the hot colours, yeah. But if you think, mm. um, like, we had those... Terrible, they had the terrible fires, didn't yeah, they? Not right. that long ago. Yeah. And you think about, um, you think oh. about the climate, and even the earth itself has got that red, mm. that red heat of colour. Hello, Lorraine. I'm from Derbyshire. It's the most it beautiful is. place in the UK. It is beautiful. We're very lucky. We've actually booked into a B&B within the Chatsworth estate. Oh, lovely! And we can actually walk out of our front door, cross the road into Chatsworth House. So we're gonna, we're gonna oh, just love. When's this? When are you going? Uh, 14th of May. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, lovely, wait. lovely, lovely. Do you know what? And I always think, mm. talking about, you know, we're not, and we're not going to Bali. We had to cancel it because COVID was still a bit of an issue mm. um, at the time. Anyway, uh, we, uh, we, I always think when we fly back from your holiday destinations, you know, when you, yeah. I, I love that moment when you start seeing the UK and how beautiful and you green it is. Come down through the clouds. Love it. Green. That's when yeah. you appreciate how how beautiful. The I UK love our is. country. Our country is beautiful. Me well, too. We're, Andrew and I have been together now over fifteen years, and we've not been abroad. Why would you? When you've <laughs> we don't. Well, we yeah. just love this country so much. That's a good thing. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Are we ready for these? Just looking. Are they, are they in the brace? I'm just looking um, across Anne and Sue's amazing makes. They're in this one here with the points. Oh, should yes. Swap, should we swap them across? Yeah, let's. That's cool. Go. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Look I think you have to get both of these. I just replicate. I hope you don't mind, Anne and Sue, but I'd replicate that necklace. That is so... That's yeah, love it. Avant-garde, that's the word. It is. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. It's dynamic. And you could probably, I assume, make two of those necklaces, maybe? Yes. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, all about, you've got some lovely deep crimson reds, but then, oh, look at that. The, uh, for me, that is the most perfect mm. stone to cabochon wrap. It's a real poppy jasper colour, isn't it, that, the red? Oh, look. I never noticed that before. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful colour. I think I'm going to go yeah. as far as saying, I'm going to put this one out there. I think this is the best mm. Mookite showcase we've done. I think so as well. Yeah. Do, do you agree? Look at, the, look at that, that red side. Of yeah. that. that is just so rich. Look at the quality of the, ja uh, of the Mookite that you're actually Incredible. getting. Um, now, have I got 50 of these as well? I think this is going to be an on-screen setup because who else is visualising like a, like a cocktail ring, like a, you know, yeah, gallery wire or like bezel that. strip yeah. or bead bezeling? Amazing. They'll be beautiful, and you could cherry pick, pick out the colours, like maybe across your Mayuki. It will complement all of your precious metal, all of your beads, um, and visually, it's just beautiful. This one's even got. I mean, that's reminding me about of a, a really lovely latte. Frothy cappuccino. A frothy cappuccino. <laughs> Ooh, 19 pounds and 99 pence. There are literally 50, and there is a clock ticking away on our screens. Eunice, Gabrielle, Manchester, Florence, Edna, hello Dawn, new customer, Neris. Uh, Lanarkshire, hello to you, Helen, Cambridgeshire and Caroline. 50, that's it. Of course we would try and get more. We know that we've got more than 50 people watching. We know that. Oh, that's a bit naughty. Ross. <laughs> oh, no. I don't mind. Wow. You know we wanted to recreate that necklace. It's not looking likely. No. Unfortunately, it's probably <laughs> going to be an on-screen sellout. I think they're good. I think Mookat's good for gents as well. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. One, one of the, the gemstones that is. Look at yeah. the markings that you get. Look at this one. That's extraordinary, isn't it? What do they look like on the back? Should we flip it we'll over? Flip them over. Ready? Oh. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, my word. That is extraordinary. Just that on its own. On a yes. memory wire. On a memory wire. And that's all Mother Nature. No dying, no reconstitution. All Mother Nature. From one location that exists. That is, look, well, it sounds like yeah. dramatically dwindling in supply. Dramatically. Two mine, uh, mining rights. Literally, that's it. In operation now. Um, and they're having to scour the riverbeds of the Mooka uh, River itself. Let's, let's go back and read that whilst you're dialing through, because there's a lot of you getting involved. So at the very beginning, we actually start talking about um, how picturesque the gemstone is, where it's mined in the Kennedy Range is about 100 miles inland um, from the coastal town of Carnarvon. Um, it's a, a spectacular, beautiful gemstone. But is it rare? Is this gemstone rare? Mookite is incredibly rare. It's one location. It's not found anywhere else in the world, anywhere else. And if we flip forward, you'll also read on and find that it is getting less and less and less accessible. Ca uh, Tom Capitani and Joanne Pass were very fortunate to be the last miners to obtain a mining license in the area situated on the Mooka station. Uh, which is now controlled by the Department of Conservation and Environment. Uh, the area can be accessed by crossing the river, uh, sorry, the Gascoigne River, which can be quite uh, of a challenge with four and six wheel vehicles only. Two existing mining licenses exist in that area. Two. But read on. Can we just read the last bit? This is important. Those two leases are confined yeah. to the riverbeds where Mooka is exposed and easily mined. The last 20 years of mining has depleted the reserves of high quality. Um, though brightly coloured Mooka can be seen strewn through the riverbeds. That's how we are sourcing it for you today. Okay. Shall we do... Oh, they're cute. Oh, look at that. They're amazing colours, aren't they? 
I love this one. It reminds me of a colour chart when you go to these DIY centres to buy paint. Yeah. All the different grades of colour. Look at this colour. Oh, yeah. It's like a mint, sort of mint mushroom yeah, type that's colour, beautiful. isn't it? Okay, let's give you something completely different. Let's go for something like a terracotta red. That's lovely, isn't it? With those pearls we had earlier. Oh, yeah. Those two strands. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I love that. And then... They're just beautiful. But I think, if, do you understand what I mean? If you bought a strand of, I don't know, let's go for appetite. Yeah. You know pretty much what you're going to get when you get home yep. after seeing it on the studio. But something like Mookite, it could look like absolutely anything when you get home. <coughs> the different patterns and colours. So that's, that's really exciting. You don't know what you're going to get. No. I like And that. every single Mookite strand will work with another. Yeah, absolutely. They will all, that's why Anne and Sue have mixed these up together. Um, now, this is the third of literally... Sorry, fourth mm. of 12 lines that we have of this gemstone. And by the way, that's 12 lines uh, entirely at, ju uh, at Jewelry Maker and pretty much the majority of the entire Gemporia partnership. He got the best deal ever, uh. he said, on Mookite within this parcel. That's why the prices are so amazing. Yeah, oh, well, big carat weights, amazing shapes. Um, for £12.99, of course, incredible quality. You're right, they are all individual little pieces of completely, art. Completely and utterly. And because they are such large shapes, I think you need that with something like Mookite to see all the patterns and design, don't you? Look at that. I don't know why, but this shape, I'm really thinking about rings. Mm. I think, and you've got the drill point maybe that could be your, your, your starting point for um, some wire-wrapped rings. You've got that little splash of mustard there as well. Twelve ninety nine. You know, we can bring you more plentiful varieties of uh, of jaspers for twelve ninety nine. Not the one locational source of yeah. mookite, which is on the verge of depletion. Um, again, we only had fifty of these. You're loving this collection. Um, I, I, we've we've all agreed. We all think that this is actually the best. The best mookite that we've actually brought you in uh, in a showcase in a very, very long time. And we've had that confirmed by our gemstone buyer. This is certainly the best deal. Completely. Um, the best deal. Uh, I think this next one is going to be an on-screen sellout. Let's do it now. Do you want to know which one it is? <laughs> My, I love this necklace. I love it. Look at that. That's amazing. That's exactly how I would use it as well. It's just beautiful, isn't it? That's incredible. Tessellate them together. You, you could, could create like a mosaic. Little, he little hexagon. They are like mosaic, aren't they? It's got quite a sort of antique vintage feel, I always think. Love this kind. strand. I absolutely love this. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is gorgeous. That's lovely. So if you were bead yeah, bezeling, you you were, um, if you were bead bezeling, you could you could put two together flat end to flat end to get a yeah. full diamond and then bead bezel them together. That would oh, be amazing, wouldn't it? That would be gorgeous. You know you were saying about you look at them and then you flip it over and you yeah. see something completely oh, yeah. different. Look at this. You're loving this shape. Oh, look. Oh, look. We'll do it in one price crash because <laughs> there are literally 50 and there is already a 30-second queue. Um, In-house designers getting involved as well. I don't blame you. Why I think, not? I think Anne likes Mukai. I love Mukai. I don't blame her for like. Who doesn't like Mukai? You said it earlier on. Mm. Everybody loves I've it. I've not met anyone who doesn't no. like it at all. No. It's almost, you can taste yeah. how creamily beautiful. Do you know it sounds weird? But you know when a gemstone's got opacity, but it's a creamy opacity? Yes, yeah. I can see that within your Mukai. This will be an on screen sellout. There are so oh, many right. of you there. You have to be quick. It's down. It's not a matter of if, it's. When, yeah. So if we were talking earlier about, about the lack of blues and greens, <coughs> just thinking about it, something like chrysoprase would mm. be the blue and green mucite equivalent, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think. Or aquaprase. Yeah, aquaprase, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Aquaprase, that's what I meant. Yeah, they would be quite, mm. yeah, they would be yeah. quite similar. Yeah. 12 99 so many of you there. 
Are you going to do what Anne and Sue did with this beautiful piece, or are you going to tessellate them? Or? How many miles is it to Australia, roughly? Oh, I, all I know is 26 hours. Hmm. More if you have to stop off. <laughs> Honestly. Mind you, saying that, it took me longer to get to Tucson. It took me much oh, longer to no get to did. Tucson. Yeah. Did you get your luggage? Eventually, yeah. Right. Do you know, I wasn't even bothered about my, the fact I didn't have my clothes or my toiletries and things mm. like that. Because I had COVID, so I wasn't going anywhere. Mm. I was really bothered about the fact that I couldn't give the girls their presents. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And they're like that. Huh? <laughs> um, okay. Well done. Sh should we do the ovals? Oh. That sold out, by the way. Well, we thought it would, didn't we? Uh, Ross's favourite. With my favourite. I, do I love, love those it. rondelles. They're stunning. Have oh. we ever had rondelles? Have we ever had rondelles? Oh, yes, the rondelles have? are here. Yeah. So flip that over. There we go. Flippy, flippy. Let oh, me just turn this round. If you look at the top over the shoulder. That's extraordinary. There's Mark's rondelles. Have we ever had rondelles before? I, don't, I can't remember. I don't, I don't rondelles think before. so. They're gorgeous. So look and how it draws it down towards those top drilled ovals. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh my, that one there that's just yeah. disappeared oh, yes, down. The three oh, colours. look yeah. at that. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, look. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's like a smoothie. <laughs> a beautiful smoothie. I can't deal with smoothies. Why? No. Are you not a fruit person? No, no, no. I like, I, like the, I like the taste of smoothies, but it's the texture. I can't... Sort of quite gloopy, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah, they definitely are. Mm. Oh, I love them. No. Look at these. Uh, these are flying out. You're loving this one too. That one you were saying about not greens, but there is actually a... Yes, I saw that. A yeah. greeny hint to this. Yeah. Look at the intensity of those beautiful crimson reds. The only ovals that I actually have which could look like they're floating, if you know mm. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, the positioning of the drill hole, does that make a big difference to us as jewellery makers? Only any, well, I, I presume <coughs> something like a round that has a hole th right through the centre, that probably mm -hmm. has more design um, outcomes. But I just like these, these top drilled, just, just treat them as a single pendant. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, onto memory wire, onto to th th these that go really nice on your cord with the Lark's head knots we were talking about earlier. Yeah, lovely. Um, macrame? Amazing. Macrame, yeah, that'd be amazing. You could do your macrame, yeah. your bead bezeling, treat them as cabochons. I'd like to see these individually bead bezeled and yeah. then attached to a toggle clasp to make cufflinks. I think would be lovely cufflinks, wouldn't they? Amazing. Yeah, I yeah, love that idea. Hello, Karen. Oh. Thank you. I've never had mooka in my stash. Yes! Yeah. Well it's quite done. It's stone, isn't it? it uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And it's also one of those that, Karen, you, we either have it or not at all. Mm. Yes, that's right. Or not at all. Um, you know, there's certain gemstones we'll always have a constant supply of diamonds. We will always have a constant supply of agates um, and other varieties of jaspers. Mukai, absolutely not the case. Not the case. Well done. Next up, Mark. <gasps> now, forgive us if we're wrong, but I don't recall ever seeing I've, Mukai I can't in Rondells. Seeing Rondells. No, no. The whole colour palette in one strand, isn't it? Yes. Faceted. That article talks about how challenging... Excuse the typo. Round out. Um, <laughs> uh, it talks about how challenging it is mm. to cut this gemstone. Mm. It splinters. It splinters. Yeah, so if you imagine like a piece of slate, this is what I'm visualising. Yes, not so, that's true. You know, and trying to facet slate. Mm. I'm not saying it's to that degree, but that splinters, doesn't it? It certainly does. So and that's how shards, I'm imagining so, yeah. mookite. So then start working with rondelles. Yes, it's a frequent cut for us. That doesn't make it less challenging. No, no, no. no. Maybe that explains mm. it, Mark. It could be. Could well be. Maybe that is why this is potentially the first mookite strand we've had in rondelles. What would, what would you do with these? I'd keep it really, really simple. And I had to make myself a stretchy. I'm just thinking we've got Father's Day coming up in yeah. June, haven't we? So, so something for the gents as well. Oh. 
should be. There are 90 carats of natural oh, I love them. Australian mukai. Rondell's potentially the first time. Maybe even the last. I don't know. I don't know. Can't read into the future. At the best possible deal, Wayne has literally messaged <laughs> down and said, I could, I could source only 50, but of those 50, I managed to negotiate the best possible deal. This is going to be an on-screen sellout. Ross is just confirming that. Again, it's just a matter of... Um, of who really is going to be successful. Over a hundred of you have it in your baskets. You wanted the rondelles. Oh, they're just absolutely beautiful. I love this as well. Yeah, uh, you know, just literally, look. It's gorgeous. And again, with, um, with Mukad, I don't think I would ombre. I'd just keep it as, as I do with mixed barrel. I always keep mixed barrel separated. Yeah. Um, as the, as they come on the strand, and I think the same with mukite as well. I think if I think if you start ombreing, it's it's acts as it's quite detrimental to the stone. I think. Well, that's want, how it is. You want them all to be. It is that know, perfect arti yeah, artist artist palette, yeah, isn't completely. it? Completely. Um, you know, that's you lovely. think you think about the likes of Monet, and yeah. uh, we were talking about yeah. Gustav Klimt. They'd ha he'd have these kind of colours of paints. Oh, it would be exactly. that, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. They've sold out. Ah, these are okay. going to be. These are going to go as well. I love that's my favourite so far. Look, that one there. Which one am I doing? Eel. Yeah, this is my favourite. Oh, that, how dramatic is that? I love oh, this. I absolutely love this. This, this is what I can imagine. Yeah. This is what I can imagine being in a gallery. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah you're right. Actually, yes. Yeah. Extraordinary Look. use of shape. Love this. Oh, this strand. Design classic. I'm going to say again. I think. Yeah, and it goes back to the conversations that we were saying earlier on. Um, you don't have to... Uh, it was Linda and I yesterday, I beg your pardon, Mark. We were saying that it doesn't have to be the most technically challenging no, absolutely to create not. beautiful no, jewellery. No, no, I love that. That is just beautiful. They are, and you said about yeah. gents. Just one of those. It would be like a shark's tooth, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Similar to a shark. Shark tooth. tooth. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Yeah, you're loving these. Big single solitaires, um, but look, they are big. Look at this one. Yeah, it is. It's rhubarb and custard. Fifteen carrots in each of your stones. Look at that one there. Is that bunting? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Very rare, beautiful bunting. Look at that. That does anyone else see it? Follow the yellow brick road. Yes. Oh, yeah. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Follow, 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 follow. You've never seen that film? Plays tricks on your brain. It does. It's actually mm. very weird. Um, Twelve ninety nine. Flying monkeys. Whoever invented flying monkeys? Oh well, 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 when you're talking about Return to Oz, that's terrifying. I have to fast forward the flying monkeys. Yeah, I they're terrifying. Them. Yeah. And the woman without head. Yeah. They literally swaps her head around. Mm. What's that one about? Yeah. Um, no, I was thinking about the more traditional Wizard yes, of Oz. Yeah. Uh, Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Did I only have fifty of these as well? Oh no, Ross. Yeah. I think only people may be maybe um, doing the design. Yeah, uh, could you see some names? I, th I think that's just extraordinary. Crossing piece over. Of work. That's my favourite Mukai I've ever seen. Look at that. That's just incredible, isn't it? It is beautiful. It is. Uh, yeah. Oh. Absolutely stunning. Hello to you, Karen. Wow, wow, wow. Ah. I now own uh, the Rondells, <laughs> Trillions and the Ovals. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, well done. Karen, who, who hasn't got Mukai in her Have you got now a new Mukai obsession? Thing. Yes, I do too. Um, oh. I've got four more items. We'll do the coins. Just before I do those coins, though, can I pop that back for a second? I want to, oh, I haven't got it here. We are, we've had special permission to do a, a little relaunch on your natural Canadian jade. So we have a little tiny showcase of Canadian jade that is coming up within the next hour. Do you know, I sat there, I saw it earlier to your right, and I thought it was dioxide. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it so green. I know. It's incredible. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, your Canadian uh, nephrite, Millennium Jade, they call it. Um, I'll show you the actual oh uh, presentation coming up 
straight after the Mukai. Then we've got your Laramar showcase, um, and then we've got your masterclass. Okay, now look at this. How gorgeous <laughs> is that bracelet? Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, and the earrings. It's the only coins we have. I think these are going to fly because they're just yeah. so versatile. Aren't they beautiful? Just a little bit of wire work, a little twist across the surface. I see little little um, Mobius rings in between. That bit draws me, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. They're absolutely gorgeous. Stunning pieces, as always, uh, by Anne and Sue. Here is the strand. There are 50 of each. In terms of colour variation, I'm seeing so much on this. Uh, these are, you know, this is the... This is the cabochon that you maybe want to encase in sterling mm. silver. This is the perfect cut for your for, for your um, macrame. Yeah, perfect. A few wish bracelets. You just need one, wouldn't you? What are, what what hardness is it on the, Ooh, on the scale? Uh, I want to say seven. We'll just ch check that yeah. answer. I think wow. seven. Six and a half to seven. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Six to seven. Oh, well done. Yeah. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> um, yeah, between six and seven. So it's a durable it's a good stone. stone. Yeah, it's a yeah. durable, yeah. durable stone. The risk really comes when you're cutting the gemstone. Um, all of which, by the way, these strands are, are, are blessed with very generous drill holes. So you said about the new supply of cords that we've got coming mm. in. They're going to breeze through your mukai, aren't they? Yeah. Hemp natural. I love hemp. Hemp, yeah, absolutely love it. It's going to be perfect with um, the colours, the natural earthy colours that absolutely. you see within Mukai. Yeah, yeah. A, a gemstone, yeah, and listen, it's not mainstream. It's not one of those gemstones that you see on uh, on the high street or um, in many of your yeah. jewellery houses. Why is that? Yeah, I've never seen it. Well, I hadn't, I hadn't seen it before before joining. Jewellery so, maker. Yeah. I'm imagining getting a couple of strands of the rondelles to do your mala and then any of these shapes... Yeah, and lovely. £12.99, pence. you're loving the coins too. Um, you, you pick one, Mark. Um, that one. That sort of lavender. That, that one there? The, I like the blend. It's just such a perfect blend. How many guesses? Oh. Are everyone guessing the mine? Think, I think it's about 3,000. I'm going to go for... I'm saying about two and a half. What? What? Is it really? Got that completely you wrong. Completely wrong. Nine I mean, and my a half geography thousand. is horrendous. Mine is as well. Nice. Absolutely horrendous. Wow. Nine wow, and a half wow. thousand miles. Faceted hearts coming up next. I'm lining these up in order so uh, our dam can put them away. Faceted hearts. Then we're going to do those big statement slabs. And then, wow. then it'll be the tumbles. I read a fact. Really um, sorry, I interrupted you no, completely you there. That was okay. really rude. I read a fact the other day that if you took your veins and laid them end to end, they would go to the moon and back. Stretching them or? No, just 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 laying them in a row. All no. of your veins in your body would go to the moon and back. I've heard a, a, a no. similar fact about no. your intestines. Oh. I know. They wouldn't go to your moon and back. I don't think so. They do go quite a long way. <laughs> yeah. Um, they go, I oh, think they go no. further than the front door. I love this. Strange. L right, okay, I'm going to do a reveal on this. On purpose, I'm covering it on purpose. Would we agree? What? The length of your small intestine, it can be between 9 and 16 feet. Yeah, I knew it was quite a lot. Ooh, all tucked in your little all belly. All tucked in. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to see the most beautiful... These are amazing. Start dialing. Oh, I like that grey one. Faceted. <laughs> that middle one. Oh, it's like a chilli. Yes. Looks like a little yeah. chilli plant. I do like that sort of lavender grey. That's really yeah. pretty, Oh, my goodness me. Now, we know that it is challenging, particularly challenging to facet. And yet here you have checkerboard cuts across your faceted top drill hearts. Uh, this is stunning. What's the back of that middle one like? Let's have a look. Flippity flip flip. Oh, look. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Each of them will be. Look at that one there. 
Each of them will be unique, yeah. both front and reverse, and that could be part of the process, isn't it? Actually yeah. choosing, yeah. Yeah. choosing us. I like this one because it looks like you know. Sometimes you see um, paintings in things like kitchens and restaurants, mm -hmm. where you've got like your peppers. And, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah, looks aubergine. like a chili. It does look aubergine. Like a chili. Yeah. Looks like a little yeah. chili. Abstract chili. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Naturally coloured. Naturally coloured at twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Um, I expect this one to be an on screen sellout. How wow. have Alan and Sue used this one? Oh, it's here. You put it there. Yeah. Oh yes. Alternating between uh, sort of the faceted, uh, the faceted drops. Right. I've got two more to bring you. These are huge. <coughs> Slabs. Massive. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm not even going to go for the biggest one. Oh, look at these. The pattern chose me. Oh, look, at look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, they're gorgeous. What's the other side? Oh, look. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. The way... They're fascinating, aren't they? Yeah. Natural, natural. So, news from the location, Western Australia, the Mooka Creek. Um, literally two mining licenses exist now, and they only, solely, actually source your mookite from the riverbeds. Um, unfortunately, large-scale mining operation has ceased, which basically means that mookite is becoming more and more mm. and more limited. So, are we going to expect to see more showcases of mookite? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I should. I'm, I'm not saying never, but I should imagine it's going to become even more difficult for, um, for the likes of uh, a Wayne. This is the biggest carrot weight, and these are the biggest individual stones. So if you are looking for those dramatic sort of statement, maybe uh, uh, pendants or earrings. Can you imagine these in the ear? So this would be carrot weight, will it? Because I think on the screen there are four. You've got four on yours as well, have you? Oh, you've got four. Yeah, I've got four. Yeah, you've got four. Wow. And that's averaging Gosh. 25 carats each. Each. Just over 26. No, Again, no, no. faceted for their beauty, showing the markings, literally like a work of art in a gemstone. We have your Canadian uh, jade coming up. 12 99 in one more auction's time. There are 50 of these available. And I, I love it. Where is it? Alan and Sue did just it's used in suspended the base, one asymmetrically. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Just asymmetrically, so jutting off, off to the side. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? I beg your pardon. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous. The textures and the colours. It's like the Lovely. most wonderful bouquet of colours. Beautiful. Okay, the final. The final mookite. Um, we've got the biggest quantity. We've kind of described them as tumbles, but oh. yeah, I, I think that's quite unjust because they're so much more than that. Oh, look, I've just noticed. Uh -huh. Because we have the biggest quantity, and maybe there's people watching right now who haven't yet sampled this beautiful Australian gemstone. Like Karen. Uh, like Karen today, mm, yes. Yeah. How about we give you an unmissable chance at the most affordable price tag? Here, look at that, the visions of mustards. Now, you said about not necessarily um, colour grading, but yeah, I think Alan and Sue have done that yes. in, this, in this stretchy yeah. bracelet, but They've it taken the, the, the burgundies and reds, and the, all, the, all the, um, the yellows in the, the yeah. mustards. Absolutely gorgeous qualities from your mauves, to your peaches, to your creams, to your rich creams and reds, to those absolutely delicious mustard colours. <laughs> we should be stopping here at £14.99. pence, But because we have got oh, no. quantity, we have special permission to take this under £10. A 60 second clock. Gosh. It's that middle one. I love the middle one. Yeah. And also this, this stripy one. The, the animal stripes. Thing. It's the only strand of mookite that we could actually get within quantity. 
Um, they're all absolutely beautiful. And it's actually, you know, the, the strand where we've got um, the biggest mixture of colours. Completely. You're right, yes, yes. The biggest mixture of colours. Again, treat them as individual little cabochons if you wish. Um, the clock is ticking away. There's a hundred of these. So news, just so those of you who have just tuned in, um, Mukai, we should predict it to actually become very seldom seen, certainly here at Jewelry Maker and possibly across the, um, across the entire world. Why is that? Just two mining licenses ex exist at the moment over um, in that, not at the moment, probably ever mm, now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, completely. Two mining yeah. licenses actually exist on the Mooka Creek. Um, and they are only able to access this gemstone through the Mooka Creek riverbeds itself. So it is dwindling in terms of its availability. Is Mukai available anywhere else? No. No, it's not available anywhere else on this planet. Nine pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of this beautiful, natural, one locational gemstone. Have we ever bought double length strands of chips in Mukai? I don't think so. No, I've never seen I that. I don't think no. so. It's difficult to get. Just think about the air miles. And I hugely yes. underestimated how far away Australia was. 9,000 miles. <laughs> Mad, isn't no it? wonder it takes a day, yeah. a day to actually get hold of it. Northamptonshire, Kath, Pamela, Donna, Vivian, Gabrielle, Neris, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Susan, Cheryl, hello to you, Northamptonshire, Jacqueline, Anne, London, Catherine, Robert, Mary, Warwickshire, you know what to do. You need to be checking out your baskets to guarantee your success because this is, well, I, I imagine it's going to be an on-screen sellout um, opportunity once again. People multi-buying. I love the sort of casual cuts and shapes of this strand. They're absolutely beautiful. It's, it's one of those that you don't, you can have your formal, you can have your calibrated cuts, you can have your round brilliant cuts, your princess and all of those. Mm. But it's quite nice to actually just have something that's, Gentle, yeah, no, understated, lovely. boho chic, as we've mentioned it a few times. Nine ninety nine. Denise, Susan, Jacqueline, you know what to do. Check out those baskets, everybody. Your masterclass is coming up at twelve o'clock today, and we have still between now and then Canadian Jade, um, and also the the smallest showcase of your Larimar. Beautiful, beautiful. Another one locational gemstone. Um, but your Canadian Jade wow. has been on your screens once, once previously. This is completely and utterly natural. When you have a title of Jade, it can be quite uh, um, confusing to some. Um, this is how I always describe it. Um, if you imagine Jade to be the surname, and then, and then you have your children, Jadeite and Nephrite, two completely different chemically mm. chemical compositions of the gemstones. Um, but two incredibly valuable gemstone. Now, of the two varieties of jade, nephrite is older. Nephrite is older, um, jade I, a little bit rarer. Um, but actually, if you talk, if you, if you look at sort of eastern locations, they, they don't refer to it as jade I or nephrite. They generally refer to right. it as jade, as a, a generic thing. So let's understand this beautiful gemstone. And here's an article that uh, um, Dave Troth actually shared with you some time ago. One of the oldest loves gems in the world, Jade has long been revered by gem lovers internationally, but nowhere more so than in China. But what is it that makes the gemstone so special? Gem A assistant gemology tutor, Dr. Juliet uh, Haibu, gives uh, an overall, uh, sorry, an overview of Jade, how to identify it uh, and its significance in Chinese culture. From the emperors of China's who considered it a heavenly gem, to Cartier, who feature it in the finest art deco jewellery designs, jade remains an eternal and mystical stone, an object of fascination and desire, often referred to as, I can't read that, unscrutable, mysterious and enigmatic. enigmatic. That last word, we, it both resonated with yeah, us, didn't enigmatic. it? enigmatic, I love that word. Enigmatic. This a Chinese the... saying is beautiful, isn't it? Wow. You can put a price on gold, but jade is priceless. Jade has indeed a special significance in China, and today the market is led by China's economic growth. The demand for quality jade has been soaring since the turn of the century, with prices rising tenfold. 
in the first decade. Overall, high quality jade may be compared to certain rare colored diamonds. Let's just hold one second. Because in the West, we think diamonds, don't we? Mm. In the East, they think jade. So, okay, think about then the rarest colors of diamonds, because you can't even compare this to a decolorless flawless. <laughs> think of the rarest colors. Your canary yellows, your pinks, not your irradiated, mm. Mm. the naturally colored diamonds. That is what Gem Association are actually making the comparison with. With prices per carat far above ruby or sapphire, some exceptional pieces with unique provenance have fetched incredible prices, such as the green nephrite seal of the 18th century in the Chinese uh, Qinlong Emperor, which sold for $15.7 million at Sotheby's Hong Kong in 2010. There is no doubt about it. This is the most valuable commodity that many would say exists full stop not just of, of gemstones, of everything. This is how it forms. Vast wow. boulders. Now, don't be misled by this image. That doesn't mean that jade is plentiful. It definitely is not. Um, this is called the Polar Pride Boulder, called the Find of the Millennium by trade expert. It was discovered in the year 2000. An 18-ton boulder that was split in half for carving, courtesy of Jade West Group. Look at the color. Mm, that awesome. enigmatic yeah. green that we were just speaking about. Shall we do it? Now look at your green. Is this natural? Yes. No enhancement. Completely natural. It has been on your screens. It launched on the 10th of March, almost a month ago. Um, alongside Dave, I have the last remaining quantities of it. It is natural Canadian jade, millennium jade, um, because of that wonderful intensity of color that you get within this gorgeous strand. Have you seen anything like no. it before? No. And as I said earlier on, when, when we had the tea bar on the desk in the first hour, I thought it was dark side. <laughs> Yeah, completely, we, completely. I mean, by the way, really. what a testament to, to, yeah, the, to, yeah. to the jade as well. Millennium jade, we're talking wow. about one of the fine, the, the greatest finds. Because the beauty of this, you have translucency. It is so exclusive, we only have a handful of these available. Um, this is really, if you, if you regard yourself as, um, as a collector and a connoisseur, this needs to be on your shopping list. Because the reality is, only recently, and again, it was explained to us yesterday by, uh, by Jake, the difference between um, actual rarity and apparent rarity. Don't be fooled by the fact that, yes, Jewelry Maker have got jade at the moment. We have it because we were in the right place at the right time. It is still astonishingly rare and only actually been unearthed in a few locations around the world. Natural in their color and already people dialing through. How many do we have of these then? I don't know. It's, it's, it's Millennium Jade. Um, remind me what we took this to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would definitely get your certificate of authenticity with this. Now we're gonna start chipping our way towards, for this carat weight, for this quality, all day long at this price. Some of you will be confused by this. Now, Chinese don't care, frankly, whether it comes from Myanmar or whether it comes from Canada. Is it jade? Mm -hmm. This is jade. And it is that millennia green. And it is completely and utterly natural. So found in the British Columbia, it's the main supplier for the Chinese market. You know, I mean, look at that. It kind of, again, reflection mm. of the beauty that you see. Um, we know about the situation in Myanmar. Um, so this is now the go-to location for the Chinese market. Do you know what this beautiful mountainous range is called? 
the Jade Mountains. Yeah, the Jade Mountains. And this is the treasure that you're getting from that beautiful location. There are 20 opportunities. Um, the primary nephrite deposit in Brit British Columbia are all located in highly mountainous areas. Uh, this is a view of the Jade Mountains in the province northwest corner. Uh, the extremely rugged terrains and harsh winters make nephrite mining challenging. And this photograph, of course, is, is from uh, Jade West Group. Today, you are getting jadeite from that, sorry, I beg your pardon, sir, uh, Canadian jade, um, millennium jade, from that exact location, under £100. 20 of you, I should say. £39.99. The, the, the reality is, you know, if this were, there's different... Why do we put, call, call it Millennium Jade or Canadian Jade? Because there is that umbrella. And like mm. I said earlier on, Nephrite Jade is called Jade. C jadeite Jade is called Jade. Um, you're, it's a, basically a source of Nephrite, which is the biggest supplier of Nephrite to the Chinese market right now. You can see it, 90% of its exportation, some of it, some of it goes to the likes of Cartier, some of it goes to the likes of Tiffany's & Co and Van Cleef, 90% of it, though, goes across to the Chinese market. So we are a minuscule percentage right now. Um, very short, a very, very small window of opportunity. If this were jadeite, by the way, it would be imperial jade. It would be imperial jade because of the color. And also, you can see on this recording the translucency that you are getting within. Is this as valuable? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, it'd be, I think it'd be beautiful to work with your other strands of, of jade. Oh, as lovely. Well, wouldn't it? The, the, yeah, the, totally. You've got that pale apple green and then this really dominant, vivid bottle green. The two together are just incredible. We've got four of them left. Can we have four. a quick look at Jade Mountain again? Sure. Sorry. I just thought it just reminded me of the Lake District. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? You can actually yeah. see. It's amazing. You can see the green, can't you? There's yes, two of these yeah. left. Can you just flick forward a bit? Um, because I actually spotted, you know, we saw where this goes. The jewellery houses. And then there was, yes, yeah, so we can see mm. Tiffany's & Co. Yeah. Van Cleef & Cartier. I saw some lovely pieces of jewellery. I'm going to show you. Oh, did you? And that is the same stone that you are getting right now. Elsa Peretti of Tiffany's & Co. Ooh. working with your millennia jade Not it is work. so prestigious colors by the yard jade here we go vintage elsa peretti tiffany launch all working with what the same material that you are getting right now look at the cabochon ring it's that heart in the middle of a hollow yeah, heart amazing yeah. now now this one i'm going to show you the two together I only have 20 available. So if I show you the two. Oh, can you imagine a graduation of this? Yeah, incredible, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. So I've brought you this strand. Now I'm gonna bring you this. But can I can I just do something? I might need to do it on your overhead. Oh. You know what's coming, don't oh, yeah, you, Adam? Yeah, yeah. Imagine this as a necklace over the top of the head. Perfect. Cyan red silk. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? Imagine that. That on our sister channel mm. um, would be an investment. With your skills and capabilities, you could make a millennium jade rope. Easily. Oh, wow. We're going to bring, this is the smaller wow. size. We're going to go straight down to that price tag. You know it's going lower than the previous auction. Smaller carat weight. Again, absolutely beautiful quality. Completely and utterly natural. Cartier, do you want to see what they're doing with their, uh, with their beautiful Millennium Jade? Here it is. Here it is. Oh, look at this. Simple. All about the actual jade itself. Not only does this go under £100, we're going to take this, not only lower than the previous auction, the final 20, 18 now, 17. 
We're going to take it under 50 No, pounds. really? Oh, my goodness. £25 you can get Millennium Jade. It doesn't, it doesn't feel very cold either, no, does it? No, it does feel differently yeah, to Jade Eye. Yeah. Um, the luster's different too. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a terrible description, but it is literally what the GIA use. Um, they refer to the luster as waxy. Mm. It is a little bit more um, more liquid like, isn't it? Yeah. So more of a light return on the exterior of your um, of your uh, Canadian jade. Yes, yeah, like a, a waxy like luster. Also, you tend to get a much darker green, a much more mm. beautiful, a more imperial like green. Um, Amazing. If this was imperial uh, jade, I you would be talking about hundreds, if not thousands, if not millions of pounds, to be truthful. Um, Ninety percent of the world's Right. Canadian jadeite goes to the Chinese market. Some Out of 20, we're down to the final seven. Some of the stones remind me of seraphonite as well. Mm. Yeah, no, I can see that because yeah. you've got that dark green. Mm. That beautiful dark green. We know the situation with, you know, at the moment with me, within Myanmar. But the reality is, um, where we're looking at right now, uh, it is... That's the, the biggest location of source of the Chinese market for your millennia jade. It's always come from this location. There are other small pockets, if you like, but it's been this location which is responsible for producing and offering 90% of uh, the Chinese export. I can understand why they want it. They don't care whether it's in Burma. They don't care whether it's in... Um, in British Columbia. It's about the quality and the value of the jade. I've got the final two of these, and I have literally... Two more strands to bring you as I well. I love those rectangles. I know. Oh, my word. They're amazing. So for your friendship Fantastic. bracelets, for your macrame, for your cufflinks, for your markers and your guru beads. Can you, oh show, me that, can you show me that Cartier ring? <laughs> I know it's a different cut, but still. That's what it would look like, looking yeah. from, from above. Yes. Now, even though we've jumped up in carrot weight, mm. totally natural, same location of source, same legacy, big individual. Look at that color against the desk here. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. We are going to, are we? <laughs> Match the price of the previous auction. Um, there we go. I've said it. I've verbalized it. Let's, uh, let's take this time to literally flick through some of the slides of the pieces of jewelry that we were showing a few moments ago. The fact that you have uh, master carv uh, you know, carvers, it's not just about jade. It is also about nephrite too, which is... That they don't describe that as nephrite jade or, or, um, or jadeite jade. It's jade. A nephrite jade pen uh, by Elsa Peretti, the argu argument, arguably the most um, influential designers in uh, Tiffany's. Here we go. Nephrite. Rare nephrite in that collar necklace. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the quality of the color and look at the quality that you are getting as well. Absolutely stunning. We're matching that price. How many do I have? More. I'm surprised. I'm so surprised. We've got 40. It's a, it's a very exclusive collection, to be honest. I mean that. Oh, my gosh. Look how amazing that is. And is that easy to work with, Mark? I would have thought so. Just, I mean, you can pop one of those onto your, your ring memory wire, two pieces. Yeah. Just pop that through. Twenty-four oh, pounds and ninety-nine pence for your millennia jade. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's and um, by the way, that's not a terminology that I've made up or Dave's make, made up. That's the terminology that they actually use. It's the jade of a millennia. Yeah. That's what they say. That amazing discovery, some of the finest translucency, some of the finest colour. We have forty of these, and that's it. Thomas, uh, Pauline, Jeanette, uh, Diana, new customer, new customer, Jane, Helen, Carolyn, Neris. Amazing, and it is jewelry houses like Cartier. Mm. Like, you know, I mean, look at, you only have to look at the outside of a Cartier shop <laughs> um, to realize and appreciate the real value. Each and every single one of your Millennia Jades on this strand is averaging at nine and a half carats. That's amazing. I would do make a, a really long Kumahimo braid 
just just oh. a thin, you know, nothing nothing too thick. And just one of those suspenders at the bottom with a seed bead tassel. Yeah, lovely. Or a chain tassel. Just lovely. Just really beautiful, wouldn't it? Because, you know, the Chinese market do work mm. with cords and silks mm, alongside this. That's right. it, yes. you know, yep. um, it's really more of a Western thing to mm. incorporate the gold. Uh, make sure you're checking out lots of you with it still in your baskets. Um, amazing, amazing to be able to multi-buy on this opportunity. I only have one other, one final Millennium Jade to bring you. Now, if you've been watching and you're thinking, oh, I love it, but it's not within my budget at the moment. We're going to do our absolute best to bring it to you at the most affordable price tag. Hello, to, uh, Michael. I watched Jade Fever on DMAX, and it is so hard for them to find and, uh, find and mine the jade. Oh. I bought the nuggets from Jewelry Maker, and they are stunning. Exactly. Well, mm -hmm. let me just read you one thing on that. And this is this the same applies to your uh, nephrite as your jadeite. Please say that you've highlighted it again, Al. It talks... Uh, I, I hope I have, because I actually can't... It's far too... Jemmy for me to actually uh, say off the top of my head. Here we go. Right. Jadeite. Let's call it jade because mm -hmm. it is jadeite or nephrite. Exceptionally rare due to its specific geological requirements of formation. Mm -hmm. Jade forms when fluids have been squeezed out of subduction zones. An uplift of deeply buried rock within tectonic environments where the Earth's oceanic crust dives into the mantle you are talking about that's why it's so rare because thank thank goodness movements of tectonic plates doesn't happen every single day and we're talking about some of the deepest levels of the earth's okay. crust itself so that makes sense michael yeah yeah ultra jemmy yeah ultra jemmy Think about the Elsa Peretti, oh, that, that beautiful organic necklace that we saw. Yeah, that one. Look at that. Look how gemmy this is. Now look how gemmy your jade is. I love this. I'm going to go. I'm going to stick my neck out and say some, that's some of the best quality jade Amazing. I've seen. This is natural colour. I want you to get this home. Oh, I love it. That's my favourite colour of green as well. Nobody is going to pay the next price crash. Nobody. How many do we have of these then, Ross? Really? We've got a hundred. We're not stopping there. No, we're going lower. Can you see this this necklace? Is it's it's a it's a um That's El Sapretti. Tiffany's. Yeah. Oh it's the Lark's head knot. Lark's head knot. So even Tiffany are using them. Can uh -huh. we look at the picture after this one? I think it's the one after this. This one? Is it just me or can anyone see a teenage mutant ninja turtle at the end? With the mask. Is it just me? Is it just me? Yeah, much just me. Uh, it's very elegant though, isn't it? It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the quality of yours. Look how gemmy your Millennia Jade is. And compare it. I'm telling you to do it. Compare it with one of the biggest jewellery houses in the world. And that's a tiny piece of, uh, of jade, by the way. I can't um, believe we're not stopping there. Oh, this, just... this for me, alongside pearls, and I would have little sections. Mm. White pearls. Oh. There's nothing stopping you pearl knotting this. You, no. could, you could have your jade marla. Oh. I want to buy this. I want to mm. join you on this one. It's absolute. That's my favourite colour of green, too. I'm intrigued. I hope there's some of these left. There's a queue on the phone lines. There are 100 available. 40 have already gone. There is a queue. Uh, it's natural. Millennia Jade from that location. 90% of the deposits that come from British, British Columbia make their way directly to the Chinese market. Where does the other 10% go? I'll tell you where it goes. Van Cleef and Arpel. It goes to uh, Tiffany's and Co. And it goes to Cartier. Those are the locations to work with big designers like this. Big designers. £12.99. It's mad, isn't it? It's the gemmiest millennia jade that I think we've brought to mm -hmm. air. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Michael, Marva, Thomas, Jeanette, Olivia, Miriam, hello to you, Candice, hello to you, Hertfordshire, Lincolnshire, hello to you, uh, Lindsay, I can't keep up with you. Every time I, I say a name, you, you jump off the screen. 
Um, stay where you are. Now, we've got 20 minutes be um, before your masterclass. Please remember, I have got to bring you the kits before we go into the demonstration. So uh, we'll do the kits and then go into your demonstration. But before we do that, keep dialing through. Should we do another one, locational gemstone? I would put these small rounds of the Laramore, I would put with the, the wheels. Oh, the wheels. In between. Big yeah. wheels or little wheels? Um, Neither is little. Big. Big wheels. Larger. Yeah, just put one of these little Laramars in between. Simple threading. I think just look amazing. Yeah, that's just beautiful. I love that. Laramar and Millennia yeah. Jade. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to start with this strand. How often do we do rounds of Laramar? Not very often. Seldom. No. Um, now, for those people that don't know Laramar, it is a one locational gemstone. And I have a, a very short PowerPoint to show you. But really, we've briefly touched about sort of one locational gemstone, certainly with your Mukai. I think probably if you were to ask the question, Elle, name a few gemstones that literally demonstrate where they're from. I would oh, say yeah. Mukai yeah, and yeah. I would say Laramar. Yeah. Um, this gemstone forms in uh, the Dominican Republic. It's the only location that this, uh, that this gemstone forms. It's actually a rare variety of pectolite. Pectolite ordinarily is a sort of grayish, white colored stone not particularly beautiful in terms of your jewellery. However, in this one location, speaking of geological occurrences, in this one location, um, possibly movements of tectonic plates, which created the actual volcano that sits um, in, uh, in the Dominican, that occurrence, whichever it is, and we can't, scientists and gemologists literally can't decipher exactly what mm. it was, transformed your pectolite into a vision of blue. They call this gemstone Larimar, named after one of the original uh, uh, discoverers, daughter, who was called Larissa, and Ma, which translates, of course, in Spanish, to the sea. If you can imagine you were a bird in flight <laughs> and you were looking down on places like the Dominican Republic, the Caribbean, the Maldives, the Seychelles, Mauritius, this is what we can visualise, mm, isn't it? Completely, completely. And that is all totally natural. You want to have those markings as if the sunlight is capturing those, those caps of the waves. Some if, and you know, I put this PowerPoint together many years ago, uh, well, probably not many years, but a while ago. And it was, it was on the back of someone saying to me, What's la what, sh what should Larimar look like? And I went, close your eyes and picture the most beautiful tropical destination that's what Laramar yeah. should look like. Absolutely. There we are. Now, one of these is Laramar. One of these is actually underwater. But look how distinctly similar mm. they are. And both absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Again, one mining deposit of, exists. Um, and it's not one of those gemstones that we can actually say you've got X amount of years left of mining, sadly, because Laramar is found within uh, sort of paths that were created by... Uh, volcanic activity, previous volcanic activity, they can just literally come to a stop. It's a few kilometres square, isn't it? It's not. It's a well, no, area, they are. We've got a little bit of information about yeah. that, haven't we, Ross? Um, the mining, the actual mining of the uh, of the of, of the gemstone itself. I've so, I've shown it before. Um, but yeah, they are digging to as astonishing mm. depths, mm. Um, and they work wonderfully together in groups. So when miners actually go down. Um, sort of go down the actual vertical shaft, so it's quite similar to your, mm -hmm. your, yes. your tanzanite in that way. Um, they work in groups. What's wonderful is that they all, here we go, um, they all uh, share the reaps of their labours. So say, for example, it was you and I, and you were really successful, you had a really great day mining, and we would share the fruits of our labour, mm. and vice versa. Um, so this Where is a fantastic, yeah, exactly. This yeah. is a fantastic yeah. article, talk about how Laramara's mined. Considered artisan, meaning that it's small scale and informal, carried out by individuals or small groups, um, using minimal machinery and equipment. Uh, equipment. Um, it is a major driver for community development by providing jobs and ensuring profits for local villagers in surrounding regions. There is no, I mean, this gemstone, what I love, it really gifts back mm, to no, those local absolutely. communities. It's also um, illegal to export 
rough Larimar. So every single Larimar has been cut on the shores of the Dominican Republic, which I just absolutely love. Alternative employment in the area is limited and low paying sectors such as agriculture and fishing. In contrast to industrial scale mining, the miners' earnings are spent locally, supporting sustainable economic growth within their own community. So isn't that wonderful to know that you are actually sourcing a gemstone which really gives back to the locals themselves. Now ask me if we have a huge quantity of Larimar available here at Jewelry Maker. No. Oh no. We have two. Two strands. The price of Larimar has doubled and then tripled again on top of that. So it keeps rising and rising and rising. Do you want to know how many I've got of the six to seven millimeter? It's going up to the neckline, this. Ask how many we have available of this. How many do you have available of this? 20. <laughs> Oh, no. Literally 20. I would wear it all summer. You're right, Adam. Completely. Literally restrand yeah. it. Yeah. I, it's, it's an all summer piece. That's totally natural, mm. Larimar. And oh, has it got those, the distinguishable features which categorise Larimar at the finest quality? Larimar with less blue and more white is the supreme quality. Would we all concur? Completely. This is Larimar with less blue. Uh, sorry, sorry, other way round. With, with any, less white and more blue. No I apologise. I apologise. Let me read it to you. It's here. You can see it on my notes. I apologise. It's stunning. Shadow zone by Trace. Here we go. Look at the bottom line there. Can you read my scrawly writing just here? Larimar with less white and exotic blues are the most desirable. Uh, there's no white in these. There's no white, absolutely. No. <laughs> We've got two strands, that's it. 20 of these, and oh. the entire quantity is going into, um, into the showcase today. Um, wow. Again, I, why would you alternate with perfection? It's one of those gemstones, I think. That's, that's so stunning beautiful. as it is. Do you remember those single piece days? With the little hearts yeah. and oh, triangles. Yes. And, oh, with yeah, Herman? With Herman, yeah. Yeah. Do you know, we, 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 we don't buy Larimar from Herman at the moment, which is a real shame because yeah, I loved Herman. Yeah. But do you know why? It's too expensive. Right. So expensive at the moment. He did his best, didn't he, to give us... The, the best deals, deals absolutely, yeah. absolutely. At the moment, we're outpriced. Right. Um, hopefully, in the future, we'll be able to work together. It's because they're keeping it for themselves to sell on <coughs> cruise ships and things like that. Ah, Larimar. extortionate prices. Larimar in the Caribbean is, yeah. is so expensive. Yeah. Because people have got that holiday vibe and they yeah. want something to capture those memories. Right. You can pick a price. 20 oh, of we're these. Not stopping. 20 of these are available. Oh. <laughs> Natural. Get your certificate of authenticity. Genuine Larimar at £129.99. Um, if you're wondering why we don't often see Larimar in rounds, it's mm. very wasteful. Yes. Same applies with your turquoise. They tend to avoid cutting rounds um, in that gemstone because if you think about it, if you've got a seam, follow my fingers right now, if you've got a seam like this, um, it's much more, uh, much more logical to cut it in ovals oh, across the seam like yeah. this, like little sections, rather than cutting out and leaving big areas. Um, so very, very wasteful. We're not even done though. After everything you've just said. There are two strands. That's all I've got. Two strands of Larimar to bring you. Oh. That's it. We are not stopping here. We are going to take this under £100. 40 years ago, the deposits of Larimar was on the surface. But over time, that material has been mined out, requiring the shafts to go deeper and deeper. The best quality Larimar is often found in layers between two different types of rock. So the miners dig vertical shafts down until they hit uh, this boundary layer and then start to tunnel across into the veins. Wow. It's, it's extremely challenging. Remember, Larimar with less white and more blue is the most desirable. 79.99. <laughs> there are 10 of these left. That's it. Maker in Devon, Susan, Louise, Sandra, 
London, Elizabeth uh, and Somerset. Again, when I was over in Tucson, I saw Larimar. I saw Larimar. It was so expensive. Mm. Really expensive. And it did tend to be, it, it, it was more often than not actually in finished pieces of jewellery. Silver uh, always or precious metal. Um, finished pieces of jewellery. I, 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 don't, I actually don't recall seeing strands. I saw strands of turquoise. I saw strands of all kinds of gemstones. Lamar, Larimar, I actually don't recall. They tend to have been more in your cabochons mm. and maybe in your pendants. What colour metal would you put with it? Because I think Larimar goes with everything. It does, Antique yeah. bronze, copper, yeah. silver, gold, Rooms, all the colours, I think. Yeah. Beautiful silver, of course. Mm. You wouldn't catch me going in a mine, let alone working in one. I'd never go around the ground. To. Oh, no, no. I'd love to, yeah. Would you? Mm. Uh, listen, I'm scared of the sea, but I would do that. I'm terrified of the sea, but I've done yeah. potholing before. Oh, I grew yeah. up in Wales. Of course, yeah. I know. Yeah. I grew up in Wales. So it's kind of like you do it as an outdoor pursuit excursion over in Wales, don't we? Um, yeah, I'd love to. <sighs> but then that being said, that does look terrifying. And yes. it's incredibly hot. Mm. Incredibly hot. And, and they'll go down. Um, I don't know if we can flick through. They go down at the beginning of the day and literally resurface at the end of the day. The one after that, sorry... This one, yeah. Will Larimar run out? Due to very small deposits of Larimar um, and the limited financial value of the Larimar deposit, extension geological surveys of the land have never been done. The available quantity of Larimar is unknown. But what is known is that the surface area has been mined out, so now the shafts are chasing Larimar. I mean, it makes sense. We've only got two strands. So in that case, then, that should be getting more expensive, not... Getting less expensive. Well, yeah, we, we're, we're, we're priced out <laughs> of Larimar. Yeah. At the moment, we can't buy it. Mm. If that's your necklace, mm. maybe this could be the most beautiful bracelet. Do you own Larimar in any yeah, shape I or love form? It. Or you've I, got love, something I love Larimar. Yeah, yeah. I, I own Larimar purely because of jewellery maker, because mm. it is expensive. Yeah. I, I, when I went over years, look at that colour. Seriously, what? That, look at the quality of this Larimar. Ross, please tell me there's, please tell me there's quantity of these. Is there? Oh. 70. Right. <laughs> what are you taking it to? With stunning colours, owed by, tra for traces of your copper, Sometimes stones will exhibit spots of green, red, or brown as a result of oxidization in the presence of iron. Larimar with less white and more exotic blues are the most desirable. It doesn't get any more exotic no, than that. Doesn't. Let's Absolutely go back not. to those pictures, those wonderful destinations that you're going to see Ross there. He's going to be he's going to be there soon, aren't you, Ross? Look. See, that doesn't appeal to me. I have to be honest. I know, call me old-fashioned, call me old-fashioned, but I, I just wouldn't, because I'm not a beach, I don't lay on a beach, I don't do that sort of thing, so I'd, I'd have to get up and move around and try to explore. <coughs> you can explore? Yeah. I think, I'd, I think I'd have a go at snorkelling, I wouldn't do the whole deep sea thing. No, nor me. But, um, no, never appealed to me. Take I'd rather be on a wet and windy highland in, <coughs> or in the Lake District, I mean, freezing yeah. Now you're just taking it too far. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> That's what makes us all... Yeah. No, you know what? Yeah. Our, be our country has its beauty. Mm. And I look at that and go, oh my goodness me, look at it. It doesn't get any more exotic than the blue that you see on your screens right now. We have Amazing. quantity. But saying that, we went, we went to Devon and Cornwall last year and yep. we saw seas in Devon and Cornwall that blue. Absolutely, they do. In Little Bay. The South Coast is amazing. Coast. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for this? Previous auction, we're going even lower. Oh, no. Four mil rounds. Oh, if you've got the most amazing strand of pearls at home, this needs mm. to go with it because nothing would capture that photograph more than Larimar and then maybe your, I don't know, South Sea pearls or your, your white culture pearls, whatever. And nothing would capture that image than those two gemstones combined and within Dave, one. bring recent, are they peach? Yeah, peach the papaya. Pearl, the papaya pearls, that oh. would look amazing with these. Oh, yes. Word. Just perfect. I'm going to buy this strand. We're not stopping there. If there's any of them left, I'm all over this strand. That's beautiful. 
I love, I love Larimar. And there will come a point. I don't know when. That's the answer to the question. Mm. I don't know when. Nobody knows. When this gemstone does get announced to the world amongst the collectors and the connoisseurs that there is no longer, there's no longer Larimar available, we are already seeing it dwindling. We, I, we, you, you met Herman. Some of our regular viewers met Herman. Uh, he was lovely, uh, really lovely, and his wife was absolutely gorgeous as well. We can't do business with him at the moment because his Larimar is far too expensive. You can get this home. Two pound a carat. Yeah, Natural yeah. Larimar. I bought some copper coloured Larimar donuts off Herman. Ah. Oh. I love the copper inclusions. Oh, the red. Mm, the red, mm -hmm. yeah. And the flashes of red. Big quantity of these were available. The only rounds that we have available, we don't see it because it is so wasteful, basically, and you want a strand. So think about the price that this is going to be on your, on your cruise liners and your yeah. Caribbean holiday destinations. The moment those 60 seconds are up, that is your call to action because jewellery makers, um, there's literally two strands. There's literally two strands that I can bring to you. It shouldn't be going a single penny lower than 49.99, but that's exactly what we're doing. For me, I'm looking at it. I've looked at that pictures at the picture earlier on. I can't remember where that is, um, but it'll be somewhere in the Caribbean. And I'm going right. Team it with some beautiful metallic golden pearls or something like that. Oh. Team it with your Larimar. Which is, where's the eye going to gravitate? Is it going to gravitate to the pills or is it going to gravitate to the Larimar? Cool. It, I, I think it's going to be about this color all day long. You've, we're keeping your split paying even though we're not meant to, especially when it goes under 50 pounds. Karen, Sandra, Diane, West Yorkshire, Devon, Susan, Louise, hypnotizing Larimar, totally natural from that one single location of source. The Larimar with more exotic blues and less white is the most desirable. That's exactly what you've got. It's textbook. And we're £39.99. Yeah. That's madness. Absolute madness. Would it go with the new Kite mustards? I think it would, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. We get a nice. Yeah. <coughs> I think it would. Any of them, really. I think that works really Actually, well. Actually, yeah. That dark red is incredible with it, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, I think it would. I think all the colours would actually work. Absolutely. I love that yeah. combination. Oh, look. Perfect. Does it get any more beautiful than that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I, we haven't got these pearls anymore. They sold out. But wanted to keep them close by to me. So I think they've sold out anyway. Um, so I could actually, they have sold out, uh, show them alongside your natural Larimar worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. Again, I mean, I hear quite a lot, you know, oh, you can get gemstones from um, other suppliers. Yeah, of course you can. And, and I would encourage you to do price comparisons. Make sure you're getting the real deal, though, Absolutely. especially with yeah. Larimar, because yeah. Larimar is very easily uh, sort of um, imitated, basically. Make sure you're getting the real deal. There's no doubt about it. The price per carat of Larimar has gone through the roof, and we've explained, hopefully, the reasoning why so little of it has come from, is coming from the ground. It was one locational source in the first place, and you've seen you know, the depths. Um, it's, it's nothing like an open pit mine that you would imagine maybe uh, with diamonds or or even sort of a sifting in riverbeds. It's literally down mm. vertical shafts. Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible what they, what they go through to bring this up to us. And then they give back to the community, mm. which I love it. Absolutely love it. Every single Larimar will be, have been cut in the Dominican yeah. itself. So coming up straight after the break, we have your masterclass. And oh my goodness me, Mark these necklaces we've got six kits so let me bring you the kits and then we do the demonstration these pieces mark are just amazing i can teach you how to make that in five minutes so if i get the kit i can five minutes tune in check out your baskets make sure you get your larimar and your millennium jade and everything else we'll be back after this <laughs> Thank you. 
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. bring you something a little bit different. Oh, Because Ross has just made a suggestion. He was like, I tell you what, Al, why don't we do the masterclass like a viewer's choice? Does that mean they're disappearing then, Ross? No, okay. No, they won't disappear. Um, but we'll basically upload all of your kits so you can shop along with the demonstration as well. Um, and we'll drop the prices. So it means that we've absolutely got enough time. Um, Mark, these are absolutely gorgeous. What's this technique called? So this is called, we need, we need to give it a more glamorous name, but this is known as the simple spiral. It's not very glamorous, I know. Yeah. For what you, for what you get at the end of it, you think it has a more glamorous name, but it's called the simple spiral. Oh my God, these are absolutely beautiful. 
So beautiful. In that piece behind, I could literally imagine on, around the decolletage. Well, the bridal piece, yeah. Well, yeah, on, on Lady yeah. Gaga or something so, like that. So um, I've made three necklaces, a bracelet, and two pairs of earrings here. And uh, you've got enough in your kits to make two of each of the necklaces at least. Really? You get masses, yeah. Okay. You get masses. And what we've done is we've, we've gone for four colourways and we've kept everything in that colourway. So you've got a black... You've got a Love silver, it. you've got a blue, and you've got a pink. Love it. Mode. The kit names are, are hilarious. Um, oh, is, this, is this the twerk? This one? is twerk. Yeah, this is twerk. <laughs> this is lovely, Alice. Um, uh, Alice, hilarious. Yeah. So what we're going to do? We're going to upload all of your kits. You've got six kits in total. Um, we're going to drop the prices, and we're going to dive into your masterclass demonstration, so you can shop along with us effectively. Um, we haven't overly complicated the kits, which I quite like. The fact they are literally in the different colourways. So you've got your beautiful pinks, you've got your turquoise, you've got these lovely almost bridal uh, crystal ABs, then you've got the black. Then you've got uh, the inclusions of your gemstones as well. So you can you can choose and shop ahead, as many of you already are. Definitely recommend getting at least two of these kits because all of the colours work. So as I've mixed and matched with all of the colours just to show you the different combinations. So. Yeah, and I was really surprised what at the What prices price. are they going um, to? Really? And there's big quantities. So shake, which Oh my word. Okay. okay. This okay. kit. Wow. We've got 150 of. But we're gonna need every single one of those. So Mark, take it away with your masterclass. Okay. Does this feel weird? Yeah, completely and utterly. It's it's uh, grown me a bit. <laughs> right, okay. Um the kits are locked and loaded. We will drop the price as and when. And I will have to reference the price, obviously. Um, but we'll go st right. dive straight into uh, into your masterclass. So, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to start the fundamentals of the simple spiral. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to show you, as I promised earlier, how to add thread, and then how to finish another clasp. Oh yeah, I forgot you said so that. So I'm going to do that as well because you so, do run out of thread. Yeah. So for for the necklaces, for the necklace you're looking at here, you'll probably need to. So you'll have your original thread. I always when I'm doing a, a rope like this, I always have a thread six foot long. Mm. Um, and I, I had to add another six foot for this. So and obviously, if you want a 360 over the head, you'll need to add another, another, again, the same necklace length to get it over the head. So you're, look, you're looking at about 25 feet of thread, wow. something it's like that. So yeah, it's you can't, lot, you can't work with a length that length, so you, no. can, you will need to add. Okay. Right, so for your simple spiral, you will need three sizes of your beads, which is funny, that because that's what you get in the kit. Yay. You think we planned this. Yay. So we have our two seed beads. You have your 11 O's, which are, which are the amazing turquoise. Your eight O's, this color is just beautiful. And then we've gone for one of our fire polish. Now these are fire polish, not, not um, glass. So these, these are really special. These are the fire polish beads. And these are the AB. So what I've done is I've taken the AB beads from the crystal kit to use alongside the blue kit, just to show you how amazing they work together. So what I'm doing for this particular color, I'm using Hobnob. This is the forest green. And I've, again, as if I was at home, it would be a six foot length, which is fingertip to fingertip length. And I'm using a size 12 tulip needle, which I've pre-threaded. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we're going to pop on a stopper bead. So I'm going to use one of my 11 O's. Now what, I've, what I'm going to show you is how to do basically a, a piece of rope so you can either make an earring, a bit longer into a bracelet, a bit longer into a necklace. It's the same technique, but it just depends on when you stop, okay? But to make the earring, you do something with your stopper bead. And I've discovered that you may as well do the same technique with your bracelet and, and necklace as well, because it adds a bit of safety, mm -hmm. okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and we're going to pull our thread down and you're gonna leave about eight inches of thread. Okay, if you're doing earrings, you don't need to leave that much. If you're doing a bracelet and a necklace, you will because you'll need to add your clasp. So I'm going to take my needle round and back up through the bead once. So that's your conventional stopper. So for your earrings, you'll need to repeat that process as many times as you can until you can't get the needle through the bead anymore, which is about five or six times. If you're using a size 10 needle, it will be less because the needle will be slightly bigger. 
Okay, so that's three, and then four, and then five. Okay, so I've now, I've now basically stopped that B five times. If this was an earring, you'd now go in and cut off your tail. So what I'm going to do, if I show you, I'm going to show you the earring across. So that's the earring. And can you see the stopper bead yeah. is at the bottom? And you can just see, if we go in a tiny bit closer, you can see all of the stopper bead moves in that last little bead. So that's how you would finish off your earring. OK, so even though we're not making an earring, leave that stopper bead repeated times. And that adds, just adds a bit more security when you come to add your clasp yeah. later. OK, they're beautiful. OK, so your simple spiral. So these are your fundamentals. And I've shown this on the show a few times, but it's one of my favourites. And it's one of these techniques which, if you're always a bit, a bit scared about seed beading, this is the perfect introduction to because it's a really simple technique. Yeah. You don't have to do anything apart from thread on your beads, and it builds really quickly. Oh, so it's a confidence builder, yeah, surely, absolutely. as well. Because no, without the a doubt. Result. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. I did that necklace. OK, it take the, for me to do that, I mean, I've been doing spiral for a few years now. That took me about three, three and a half hours. Amazing. So, you know. Oh, you, you compare yeah. that to the Cellini spiral. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which will take days. Three and a half hours to do an inch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. But the, so it has the same look as a Cellini, but you don't use <coughs> as many different sizes of beads. And, but again, the, the technique is really, really simple. So, can we do this one first? Let's do this one first. I'll yep. tell you what, okay. we'll drop the price. Yep. What are we doing? Are we There's really going to do that? Are yeah. we really going to do that? Mm. You get masses of fire polish, by the way. Look, here it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. They're beautiful. Mm. A lot have already gone at the price that's on your screens. Don't worry, nowhere near forty nine ninety nine. What's the name of the dark green? Uh, oh, this one, the CB. Oh, yeah. uh, hang on. It's called silver lined teal oh perfect there we Beautiful. go you, it, i love this colorway yeah it's gorgeous oh it's 19 pounds and 99 pence and you are getting how many of the the fire polish i think it's well over 100 they're all four I mil it's a lot i think it's 200 is it um, maybe even more the only blue stroke greeny kit that we've got you've got a white you've got a pink you've got black and you've got this one um in the czech uh fire polish this is called twerk <laughs> 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 I love it. I don't, I don't know why, but it is. It's called twerk. Just because we can. Um, we did also have a little demonstration from our Lindsay, didn't we, this morning? 400. 400. We've never, we've never done 400 of fire polish before, ever. Amazing. So they, these are perfect for your kiss cross as well, the fire polish shapes as well. So I tell you what, listen, we're going to... Uh, I don't want to keep interrupting Mark, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Bring, to, bring your price on your screens. Is that then the same for all the kits? Are you going to literally do the, do, drop the prices? All the ones with these ingredients, no. if you like, we're going to do to this. We're going to do to the same price. So basically, you're buying the seed beads, and we're giving you the fire polish free. Four hundred fire 400. polish. Four so hundred. Normally, do them in packs of fifty. So yeah. you've got four hundred. That's amazing. Well, we'll bring you the price of this kit, and then we will honour that price across all the other um, fire polish kits. Obviously, there's ones with gemstones as well, so that will be slightly different. Mm. In 20 seconds, we are going even lower. We have 150 of this colourway. Wow. And you can see, in fact, I'll put them behind you. Well, you can see on your jewellery mark, can't you? You've got the pink colourway. You've yep. got the black. Stunning. And then you've got... Eh, then you've got the white or crystal. So and they're all going fifteen pounds. Yes. Oh my word. I think so. Yes. Is that right, Russ? Have I? Have I? Oh no! I hope he's. I hope he's saying. Are they this. all? <laughs> are, are they all going to that price? These, yes. Phew. Not the ones with the gemstones. <laughs> So we're going we're gonna to literally put all the uh, prices shop ahead and then we can obviously show you around the kits. Literally, you can see them on here. You've got these. This is, this is the, obviously the green and the blues. 400 of your five polish. If you want it in the greens, if you want it in the black, if you want it in the, um, in the crystal colour, you can do that as well. We so can't be doing the AB for the same price. <coughs> we are. Are we? Yeah. There's a big quantity of all these kits. 
Back to you, lovely. Right, mate. OK, right. So, I've shown you how to finish your earrings and also to add your multiple stopper bead to the bottom. So now we're going to do the spiral. So the spiral consists of two sections. We have the core, which runs through the centre. If I bring those earrings across again, you can't really see... You just sh you look so closely, we can see the dark teal core running through the centre of our... Now, this is quite a tight spiral running through the centre. You, you can just see it. So we've got our core, which runs through the centre, and then we've got the actual spiral sections, which are called arcs. Okay? So what you have to do, first of all, is you'll have to come up with a ratio of core to arc beads. Now, for all of my pieces, I've done the same ratio. So if you want to copy my ratio, you will have this really tight, beautiful little spiral. Okay? So what you'll need to do is we'll start with our core running through the centre. So for the beginning of our core, we're going to add an amount of beads. Once we've started doing our actual spiral, you will only add one of your core beads at a time. So at the beginning is the only time that you will add multiples to. So we're going to pick up six of our core beads. Now your core bead, I'm using the size eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to slide those down so it meets our stopper bead. And then we're going to work out the ratio for our arc. And what you need the arc is you basically need a semicircle, a half circle with a tiny little gap either side of the core. So I've worked out the ratio for you already, and it is two 11s. Now I'm using two of the same colour, but you can use single colours if you want to. So two 11, one 8. So you always go from small to large, and then mirror image, large to small. So two 11s, one 8, one fire polish, and I'm using the AB from the second kit. The sparkle is just amazing. So that's going to, so I'm using that as my central section. And then we're going to do this in reverse. So we're going to pick up an eight and two 11s. Okay, so that's our arc combination. And what you might find useful is just to lay this, com lay this combination out at the top of your bead mat and just use that as a reference. Okay, so two 11s, one eight, one central bead, which is always the largest. So you can use a fire polish, you can use a gemstone, a 6-0 bead if you want to use, or just seed beads, and then you do in reverse. Okay, and then what we're going to do, so as we did with our stopper bead, we're going to take our needle all the way <coughs> around and take it all the way up through all of our six core beads. Okay, so treat this little row here as a stopper. We're going to go all the way around and bring the needle back up through all six. So when we pull our needle, and I lay that down flat, you can see now we've got our core running up the centre and we have our arc. Okay, that is all we're going to be repeating. So I'm just going to, can you see there's a little gap after my stopper bead here, so all I'm going to do is just pull a bit tighter and then that feeds it all the way down. Okay, so that's, as I mentioned earlier, that's the only time we're going to be adding six of our core. From now on, we're just going to be adding one of each. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do our next arc. So we've, as I just mentioned, we're going to be adding one core bead. So we're just going to pick up one of our 8 So the core will never change. It's always going to be the, the same bead. So we're going to slide that down, and then we're going to do our arc. So two 11s, one 8, one fire polish. So this will never change. One 8 and two 11s. Okay. Now, do you remember when we, did, when we did our first bead stop arc, if you like, we took our needle all the way around and back up six beads. We're going to repeat this, but the bead we've just added, our core bead, when we slide that down, we now have seven beads going down the center. We're only going to take our needle up the top six. So the one we just added will be bead number one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to take our needle all the way up through. I'm going to, I'm going to pick it up because I'll find that easier. So, okay, so we're going to count from the top. That's our core bead we've just added. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to take our needle back up through the six core beads. So we've not gone up the bottom, which is the seventh. We've just gone up through the six. 
we're going to pull nice and tight. So now we have two in a row. Okay, so we're just going to flip that round. So we have our first bead arc and then our second arc. So you can already see that they're sat side by side. Lay that down again and then we're going to repeat. So we always, always, always pick up an arc bead, uh, sorry, a core bead first. So we slide that down so it meets the core going down the centre. Then we're going to pick up our arc combination, which you remember was two 11s, one 8, one central bead, the fire polish, the AB, then one 8, and then two 11s. That's the one we just added, so that's always bead number one. We're always going to take the needle up through six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is why it's important when you're doing the simple spiral. If you can, use a size 12 needle, because in effect, you're going to be, you're going to be taking your needle back up through one bead six times, in effect. So you need, to, you need quite a thin needle and a fine thread. So whenever you see hobnob on the show, which is a really nice fine thread, and the reason I call it hobnob is the code. Yes, let's explain. Is the code so H O B N zero five. This is the forest green, <laughs> which I, I tend to use more more times than any other colour. So if you ever hear me say hobnob, it's the, it's the forest green wildfire. Okay, so I've taken my needle up through the last six. I'm going to pull my needle up through, pull nice and tight, and then I'm going to flip that bead section all the way around and then what I do is I just use my thumb and finger just to push down on that last little section and you can see now we've already got three sat side by side so I'll do the next one so you always pick up your core bead slide that down then you pick up your arc so that's two elevens one eight one of our central beads one size eight two size 11s. We're going to pick up our section and then we're going to count from the top. So that's our core bead we've added. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Put our needle in just underneath bead number six and then we're going to feed, oops, and then we're going to feed all the way up through the six Bs. It'll need a bit of a wiggle. Okay, so we've gone up through the six. And we're going to pull the needle up through, make sure that sits on the top, and then we're just going to flip it all the way round the back to the left, so they all sit next to each other. Again, go in with your thumb and finger and push down so it's nice and tight. And you can see that, you, that I've not done that. All I've done is I've flipped the piece of beading around so it meets its partners around the back. You can already see the spiral starting to happen already. Okay. So I'll do a couple more if you if you want to bring another kit colour. Yeah, and yeah, then, um, I can show you that. And then I'll um, um, I'll show you how to add thread. Okay. Um, yes, that's a good. That's a top tip. Yeah. Should we do? I'm just literally going to be bringing the graphics to your screens right now. They're, you are already shopping ahead, which is absolutely amazing. You know the price tag. Do you know what's just dawned on me, Mark? Mm -hmm. It's sixty pound for all these kits. No, it's silly, isn't it? That's four hundred check glass beads. Yeah. yeah. Black is always going to be. Hugely oh. popular. Do you know, I, I was going to do just a black piece. So I think it would be mm. so elegant, but I used it with the pink instead. I like that too. Yeah. You know, you know what brand I'm thinking of, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very <laughs> agent, agent provocateur. Yeah. We say it every single time, don't we, when you see black and pink together. It's beautiful. Um, so there's the black kit for you all. Um, you're getting your 11 O's, your 8 O's, and of course, 400 of your beautiful uh, Czech glass fire polish beads. Um, just be, for those of you that don't know what a fire polish bead is, what's the, di what's the difference really between a fire polish and maybe um, a Mayuki or say a Preciosa? Well, fire polish, um, A, you tend, they tend to come from America, but I think these are, these are Czech. Okay? Okay. So you, you can get Czech or American. And the fire polish is basically, they were trying to come up with a name to, to typify the sparkle that you get on this particular coating on your beads. And they thought it, it, it reminded people of flickering fire in the flames. 
which is why it's got the, the word fire polish. So, so fire polish is probably, apart from your Swarovski, which we know that we can no longer, no longer we can't no. get anymore. No. Um, so I think your fire polish, if you were looking for that really intense sparkle and AB coatings and things like that, your fire polish are your next one to go for. And a doubt, a doubt. And what, and can you see they're slightly elongated? <coughs> they're rather like um, a cylinder rather than a complete round. Mm -hmm. Here can we you go. See? Here we are. Yeah. One slight side is slightly longer than the other. Can you see oh, that yes. like little, yeah, the little tubes, they're beautiful. And again, for your um, Kiss Cross, they're just beautiful because of that, that excess sparkle that you get. They're amazing. Amazing, that's amazing, good, amazing, amazing. So Loving the, um, these. So what I've done with this necklace here, if Stephen can just have a little look. If you can just see, I've got the pink Ato going down the core, going through the center. And then I've used 211 in black, one eight in pink, and then the black fire polish just on that, because you can see that sparkle look. Just yeah. imagine that in candlelight. I just, I think it just. Imagine that on a long ranger. line necklace yeah, as just, well. Yes, just, just, just beautiful. And that's just using two colors. Amazing. And as I said, this is exact. All pieces that you can see here are exactly the same technique that I'm, I'm showing you. So it, as I said, this is why it's called the simple. Sp I must come up with another name, because I think simple spiral just. No, but there's nothing wrong with simple. No, 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 no. Nothing wrong with no. simple. Um, Batch, if you're ready, or right. do you want yeah, me no, to? No, 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 I can, um, it's up to you. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to do one more of my little sections. Okay, so I'm going to slide that down. Mm -hmm. And then as I said, we're going to take our needle up through the last six. So that was the one we just added, bead number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to pop our needle in. I normally sit closer when I'm working like this, so excuse me a second. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to place my needle in. Now you do it at arm's length, don't you? I know. Because it's so I can't get my I can't get my head under the. Bring it closer if you want. There we go. Place my needle in. There we go. So I'm coming up through. So that's up through five, and then I'll just add my core bead, number six. Okay. Place that down through the top, and then pull that through. And then there's our next arc, which all we're going to do is just pop it round to the left or the right if you're left-handed. Mm -hmm. Pull nice and tight, and you can see that we're starting to get that beautiful spiral starting to happen. It does it all itself. It's just lovely. So. What, when, to do the earrings, I did 20 arcs, and that will give you, can you see we've got a distinct back, we've got two flat ends yeah. with two spirals in the centre, and then if I flip it over, which will be the front of the earring, you have three complete spirals. So just when you're putting your shepherd's hook on, just bear that in mind. Yeah, with positioning. Mark, that's beautiful. Okay, so that's how you would do the earring. So, I'm going to trim my thread. Mm -hmm. Okay, now... The technique I'm going to show you is really important, and, and um, I'll explain why. If we add thread in our core, it will make a knot, and that knot will form in the core, and you'll find it really difficult to get six threads and the knot past the needle. Mm -hmm. Okay, So I definitely recommend doing the following. So pop on your core bead, then your two 11s, one eight, then your fire polished, then stop. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to add our thread in the center of an arc, and then the knot will be on the arc, which we're not going to pass through again. But if we did it in, on the core, you imagine there's a knot mm. blocking, and you've also you've taken your needle through five or six times already. So there's no room. There, there'll be no room, and it'll be a real nightmare. Okay, so I've got to trim my thread, okay? And when I, when I get do something like this, when it gets to about six inches of thread, I then replace my thread, okay? Because okay. you need a long enough tail to pull. Okay, so we're gonna change to our thread. So I've taken another piece of thread, similar sort of length, and we're going to do the following. There's lots, there are lots of different ways of adding thread, but I find this is, this is probably the easiest. So I've got thread in my hand. I'm going to wrap it around my index finger once, so we have a little loop. And then the, the, the longer piece, I'm gonna push up through my loop and pull. So this is this is a slip knot, so you can pull it, you can make it larger or you can make it smaller. Okay, so it's a, it's a slip knot. Can that be seen on my blue? Yeah, we can see. Yeah. 
Let me see if I can, I don't want to lose all my beads. I might be able to just pull this across a little bit. Let's have a look, take my needle out. Let me pull this across, why isn't it going across? Oh no. Oh well. Oh no. There we go, that might be better. Oh yes, yeah, so we can see. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's my, this is, that's my old piece of thread that I'm using. Okay, so I need to pop on my beads again. We lost them, didn't we? So I pop on my core. And then we're going to pop on our two 11s. See, with the, with the file, wildfire and fire line, you don't actually need a needle. Oops. So just use our thread as our needle. So that's my two 11s. And then we'll do an eight. And then we'll do our fire polished. OK, right. So that's our existing piece of thread. So we've got our slip knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that little slip knot that we've made and we're going to place it over the, our existing piece of thread. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pull our slip knot nice and tight. OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let go. We're going to take our existing piece of thread that we've already had in our piece of work and we're going to slide all the way down. Okay, nice and tight. And we've got two short ends and we've got our new working end. Okay, so if you look after the show, if you look back on YouTube and just go over and actually do it along with me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep those two short ends because we're going to knot and get rid of those in a second. Now we're going to continue and finish off our arc. So we've got our 8 and two 11s going to slide those down and then we're going to continue with our beading. So I'm going to take my needle up through six, starting from the top, which is the core we added. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to take in our needle. We're going to go all the way up through the core. And then we're going to then we're going to pull nice and tight and then we're going to flip round. So as I said, if you, if you added more thread in your core, you'd have a knot in between these two beads. So when you come to do your multiple passes, um, it, the, the, knot will, the knot will get in the way. So I'll just do one more arc. Mm -hmm. So And that's, I, I assume, sort of almost cages it, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. So yep. it's not yep. going anywhere. So that's our core bead. Then we're going to add two 11s, then an eight, then a fire polished, then an eight, then two 11s, and then what I'm going to do again, slide those down, slide those, oops, slide those down, and then we've got count from the top, so one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to take our needle up through, like so, all the way up through, pull it nice and tight, flip it round to the back, pull nice and tight, and that you can already see now we're already working with our with our thread. So what I'm going to do now is I'll probably recommend that you do this at the end when you finished your piece of work. And all I'm going to do now, oh, I'm being honest here. Okay, I'm just going to. So those are the two threads. I'm just going to tie a single knot, like so. So a single knot, pulling nice and tight. Now that knot will disappear inside that fire polish, so, uh -huh. it, so you won't even know it's there. And then I'm going in to do a double knot, a surgeon's knot, I think it's called. Again, pulling that nice and tight. Now, life's too short, okay. I agree. You're, you're, probably, you're probably going to Life's too short to make pastry, and life is too what short What I would to recommend do. doing, this is a bit of do as I say, not do as I do, I would definitely pop needles on your th threads and just wiggle through before oh. you cut away. Mm -hmm. Okay, as I said, life's, life's too short. So I go in and I just cut my threads away. And because I'm using a color coordinated thread, it completely disappears. Okay. Yeah. I would recommend threading your needles and wiggling through and then cutting. Okay. I wouldn't probably do what I just did. But as I said, I'm, you know, I've, 
I'm up against so many deadlines at home that anything, oh, uh, anything yeah. that saves me time, you see. To be fair, yeah, yep, we'll, we'll let you off there. You'll let absolutely. Me off. Okay, so if you want to bring another kit and then I'll show you how we finish. Well, we also have oh. to do oh, this my kit. Word. Do you right. know why? Because why? it's almost sold out. It's almost sold out Let's on pre-orders. I just love this. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> you know the price yeah. tag. That's why so you can make you can make two of these at least. And I reckon you could make a bracelet and the earrings to match. Mark, that's absolutely exquisite. Exactly the same technique. It hasn't changed. And it's this kit. So you can make two yeah. of these. At least. At least. And that, I've popped a little um, sterling silver toggle on the back. Yeah, let's show that. So if you wanted to um, do an over the head, obviously you just keep going until you can actually place it over the head. And then you, you, um, you join the two ends together. So it's a simple, it's exactly the same simple spiral, but you're just joining two and you're splicing the two ends together, which uh, is quite self-explanatory as you're doing your spiral. Mark, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I think it's, uh, as, and again, it's about three, three and a half hours, one thread change in the centre using six foot lengths. Yeah. Uh, hello, Karen. Mark, all your pieces are stunning. Can't believe the kit I know, prices. I know. Had to get one of each. Well, an extra AB <gasps> slipped into oh, my basket. I don't, Karen. Well, why not? Yeah. This, it's There's so beautiful. There's 400 check class beads. I think I've never had more than 100 in a kit before. Because we normally get them in, as I said, we get them in packs of 50. So to get 400, that's unheard of. You can um, make the most amazing kiss cross with this kit as oh, well. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Kiss cross bracelet. How many have we got of this kit then? Oh, no. There's 17 left. It's going to sell out very, very, very Gosh. quickly. So I've still got the brink, uh, the brink, oh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. We've still got the pink. To bring. This is the slipper it colour. Slipper it. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? Oh, so you can yeah. shop ahead with this as well. Yeah. Um, it's incredible. It's, it's, we're matching that price. It's so gorgeous. It's like a, a yeah. blush pink, isn't it? So if you look at it. So I'll, do, I'll bring that, the graphics on soon, but you, you can shop ahead. In, if you look at it in the bracelet, if you look at it in the bracelet. Uh, the white sold out. Oh, well done. Should we do the yeah, pink now, yeah, so I'm absolutely. not interrupting yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, It's just stunning, isn't it? Oh, Mark, that is beautiful. I put a little video of the, of the pieces on my Facebook page the other evening. I was desperate for the sunshine to come out to film it. I bet but it, it wouldn't come out. No, it would be <laughs> Typically. An ultra naughty, wasn't yeah. it? I just wanted to see it, the, the colour just picking up in the sun. It's breathtaking. Oh, it's lovely. That's like strawberries and cream. It is. Love lovely, it. Isn't Absolutely it? Yeah. beautiful. This is called Shake. Unbelievable. So you can make, I would think you could probably make six of those bracelets. For £14. For, for £40 pound each, I'd probably yes. sell those for. So you can make a bracelet, you can do that in probably an hour and a quarter, hour and a half. Amazing. And it's, like it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Mm. Um, make sure you check out these kits that have, are absolutely flying. Yeah, I mean, Karen, like you, I'm thinking I can get all kits, all of them, Mad, isn't it? and make completely different designs by mixing the colours for £60. Pounds. Yeah. Crazy, That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, I'll pass that back yeah, to you and yeah. hand the baton back. Right, okay, so I'm going to show you how we finish now. So you would just obviously continue until you've had your, your bracelet or your... Um, I'm just trying to think what I'm going to show you. Shall I show you how to pop on that? I'll show you how to do a, a shepherd's hook. It's exactly the same way as if you were doing a clasp. So you can use any... I'd probably recommend using really nice magnetic clasps hmm. um, with this type of bracelet as well. Okay, so we've meant, so I've shown you how to pop on your multiple layer stopper bead at the end if you're making an earring. If you weren't making an earring, you'd still do your multiple stopper and you'd have a tail at one mm. end, okay? You'd only take the tail off if you're finishing of an, when it's an earring. So imagine that I've made my, my length and now we're coming to finish off. So because we started with a stopper bead with multiple passes, we're going to finish with the same. So we're going to pick up our 11-0 and then we're going to do our stopper bead. We're going to send it all the way down to the bottom. And then we're just going to repeat as many times as you can. As I said, I tend to just do it until I can't get the needle through any longer. So I'm just going to repeat, pulling nice and tight. And then, as I said, because I'm using, this is where it's important that you color coordinate your threads. So you'd use black with black, white with the white, but I think the forest green and the turquoise. Okay, so you'll just keep going until you can't get your needle up anymore. And the reason that I do this, this multiple passing, 
is if you just popped on a stopper bead and you popped on your clasp and you had a breakage and lost the clasp, you'd lose at least one of the arcs. With this way, if your clasp falls off, you've got that multiple layered stopper, which mm. will stop uh, any beads from falling off. And then all you would do is you would then take a new piece of thread and I would probably go, again, as many core beads as you can up through, reattach your clasp, sew down to meet your thread entrance and then tie them together. So again, you've got that, that clasp attached. Okay. And you need that to be secure, don't you? Because that's, you know, the, the, yeah, no, no. that's the yeah. part that's going to be... Absolutely. I get the most use. Absolutely. So I'll, I will show you how to pop on a clasp because um, the earrings will go on in exactly the same way. I'll use my, my T-bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut our thread to a good six inches, something like that. And then what we're going, so again, there are lots of different ways of putting clasps on. This is the way that I've, I've always done it this way and I found it the easiest. So we've attached our stopper bead at the end. We're gonna pick up, and as I said, this would be the same if it was a shepherd's hook or um, a toggle. So I'm gonna take my, th my tail, gonna feed it through the toggle. The only thing is if you're adding a, a jump ring now, a couple of shows ago, I think it was with you, we launched closed jump rings. Yeah, we did. Sterling silver, yeah. So what I would do for popping on clasps, um, especially with your seed beading pieces, is keep a stash near to you, maybe even in your seed bead box, of your closed jump rings. Mm. Because if you used an, an open jump ring to do this, it, it might slip through the little slit. Yes. Okay, so if you've got any closed jump rings, have them in your stack. <coughs> okay. Is that a closed jump ring on the toggle then? This is this is closed on the toggle. Okay. Yeah. And, and the same with the um, the other half as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie a simple knot. This is a, this is a simple overhand knot, and then we're just going to take our clasp and slide it down so it meets our stopper bead. Pull nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tail, and I'm going to go. Now you can either go down or you can come up. I tend to come up, so I'm going round the back of the clasp, up through the loop, pull, so you've got a little loop about the size of a grape. And again, you can either come up from the bottom or down from the top. I find it easy to come up from the bottom underneath. So I'm going to take my thread up once, and then up through twice. So don't pull tight at this point. So up through once, up through twice and I'm going to pull nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip my clasp over 180 degrees and repeat. So up from the back through the loop, up through the loop I've made twice. So once and twice, pull nice and tight. Now you can repeat it once more. You can do it another time, another your third time if you want to, but I think twice is enough. And then what you would do then is you would Take your needle, make sure we've got the right. So this is what I would do if you were doing your, um, adding your thread. So I'm just going to thread my needle. I did it first time then typically. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew away from that knot. So what you can do is just take your needle through the stopper bead and then also down through a few of your core beads. So just give that a wiggle through and then there we go. Then down through, you need to maybe go down three or four of your core beads. And then we're going to exit. Can you see where I'm exiting? Pull that through, nice and tight. Again, pull nice and tight, so that's really nice and firmly attached. Then you can go in and cut off your excess thread. So then you would go down to the other end because we've attached our, our thread there and then you would repeat the same with the other half of your toggle. And then for the earrings, all I've done is I've done exactly the same way I've just shown you to attach your toggle clasp, but I've used a shepherd's hook. And again, because of the shepherd's hook is open, the loop at the bottom of the shepherd's hook, just make sure that that's nice and tight yeah. and closed up against your shepherd hook. And as you can see, that's, that's the earring there. And then if I just open up the bracelet, as I said, magnetic clasps are really nice with these as well. So again, there's the stopper with the multiple passes. I've attached the other half of the toggle there, so that's the T-bar, that's the ogle. And then if I bring, let's bring this turquoise one again. So with this one, I've used a bolt ring clasp. 
Okay, so I've just used bolt ring at the end there. So again, I've done exactly the same. So somewhere in here would be my thread, my thread addition, and you can't see because no, again, can't like I said, all. because I've used forest green. But I definitely recommend, as I said, if you're adding thread, to do it on an arc rather than down the core, down the centre, because you won't get that needle through the knot yeah. that's inside. Look how different it is as well, just with the yeah. substitution, the Absolutely. You know, actually yeah. changing your fire polish. Yeah. So what I've got, I've got some remnants left of the kits uh -huh. from today. So what I might do is, if I've, if I've got a spare half an hour, is just make a pair of just black earrings. Because yes. I think just using monochrome colours, oh. well, it worked beautifully with the white, with the crystal. It totally so, so does. I think it'll do exactly the same. Yeah, with the, with you need to do that. I think it's going to be amazing. So there, if I bring a little bit yeah. Dieter von Tees. Yes. Yeah. So they're the, they're the black, just with the um, again with the clear running through the centre. So it's, beautiful. It's fantastic. So, so after the show, just go back at the start and, and just get to grips with the, how the how the um, the core and the arc works. Mm -hmm. But as I said, after five or six moves, it does it itself. And you, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. just you just it's just lovely. This is what this is probably one of my all-time favourite tips. And you're not going to lose your way, are you, either? No, not at all. You, you no, know, no, absolutely. But I definitely recommend, so top tips, just make sure you secure your stopper bead yeah. five or six times, and then also just lay out your arc combination on your mat okay. above your work. And yeah, so a pile of that, pile of that. Yeah, absolutely, pile. and remember your core bead yeah. every time. I forget to do the core bead sometimes, and all you do is you just okay. reverse and unpick your, your arc and pop a core bead on again. So couldn't be easier, but I think it's just one of the most effective ropes. It really is. It, is. It's so, so well, it looks like a Cellini spiral, yeah, doesn't it? Absolutely. But without anywhere, no, yeah, at, at a fraction of the time. Gorgeous, these yeah. kits are gorgeous. Your pieces are gorgeous, Bless you. as no, I loved always. I loved these. Now, oh. the white is sold out. Wow. Um, I know this is confusing, but uh, twerk is turquoise. <laughs> turquoise. I don't know why, <laughs> but it is. I love it. I love it. Twerk is the turquoise colourway. Um, well, you get the blue fire polish. Yeah, you can, one, it's yeah. still available. So that's this beautiful colourway that Mark was just showing you. There are loads of you with it still in baskets. How many do we have left in quantity? 45. Wow. Um, oh, we had a lot of that one. Yeah, but Go yeah, on. but we're over allocated on it. So first come, first serve. Right. So what was the next one? The black. This is the most oh limited. No. We oh should have called the black burlesque if we're thinking about yes. dance moves, aren't we? Should have been burlesque or something like that. Have you ever twerked? Uh, probably when I've had a few uh. glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dance move, isn't it? Well, don't you just stick your bottom out and basically gyrate? I'm oh, not <laughs> sure. I think you do that. I'm not sure. I think I think Adam's twerking in the gallery oh, is right he? now. Oh. Can we see? <laughs> oh. oh. Privacy of his own. I probably bedroom. have when I was when I was younger and, and probably isn't under the influence. Millie, isn't it a, um, what's her name? Miley, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus, doesn't she? Oh, she made it famous. Yeah, she's on oh, YouTube yeah. twerking. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm sure there are how-to videos on probably. YouTube. Probably. I'm not that bothered. <laughs> <laughs> to, be bothered to be fair, not that bothered. <laughs> um, so, twirl. Is the black. It's the black. It's the beautiful right. black. It's okay. over allocated. We've got nine left. Wow. Um, and then we've got... The only other one is the pink. That's beautiful. Um, which I think was called mm. Swirl. Shake. Shake. Oh, I don't know why I've got into Tom Cruise, but I have. There we go. Um, and this is that Rosaline AB. It's, it's beautiful. It's like it a peony so pink. Lovely. No, it's beautiful. Oh, loving that. Again, limited though. We've still got double rows. Look, I mean, look at how many of you are on the phone lines and on the web. Um, how many do I have left of this kit? Oh, we've got quantity of this, currently 60. But if you look at those of you that have it, well, you've, you've already confirmed, um, but have a look on the other side as well. These are the people that have confirmed, and your names go off the bottom of the screen, by the way. Literally off the bottom. And then if you look on the other side, oh. people that are on the phone lines or with it in their basket or on the app that haven't yet checked out. If you have a one next to your name, don't worry, it's because you're on the phone lines. I've still got two kids to do. Ah! Ah! Oh. With so, hands, though. So again, these are, this is, these are 
it's sort of a fire polish version. These are gemstone versions. Mm -hmm. Now, they're four mil, the same size as your fire polish. So just copy exactly what I've done yeah. in the same demo, and you'll get the same look, but you'll have a gemstone spiral rather than a fire gemstones. polish. Don't Absolutely. They? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yep. Got That's red again. Apps. Oh, yes. Yeah, snaffle up the reds. Christmas is only eight months away. I mean, where is this year yeah. going, seriously? Yeah. Seriously, what is happening? Mm -hmm. um, it's mental, isn't it, that yeah. it's April already? I know. Yeah. I can't. It's our 12th birthday next month. I know. Lots of big, exciting plans going on behind the scenes. £19.99. Wow. 12 years of jewellery making. Wow, isn't it? Now, due to popularity <gasps> of the previous kits, should we really? match the price, even though these are genuine gemstones? Um, they are more limited, for obvious reasons. Oh, God. Black Rutile, so you get your lovely monochrome. That would work, actually, with the sea beads. See, what I would do, looking at this kit, is I would keep the green for the Rosaline yeah. by a published kit, yeah. the pinks, and then the, the, the three that are left just, would just make the most exquisite, especially with that pop of red, either side of your um, Rutile. Yeah, it'd be incredible. I'd use it with the black. Or with the black. Yeah. Red and the black. Nice. I'll snaffle these. So you save, the original price was £20 of the four kits. Uh -huh. You save £20. Yeah. So you may as well get one of these and mix and match the colours just for the red with the black. Red and the white. We're matching the price. Yeah, Aren't red we? and the white. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. So you get this free <laughs> then. You're basically buying your tubes of sea beads, aren't you? And then yeah. you're getting the gemstones free. Natural, beautiful rhyolite with those wonderful Mother Nature earthy greens and patterns, and then natural rutile right. quartz. That's yeah, I mean, look at it this way. Yeah. One sec. So get the black from there with the red. Oh, my word. That would look amazing. Yeah? Hang on. Would you take the red out? Uh, yes, those three would be amazing together. I love that a lot. Yes. So, so the combination of the arc beads we, we just had for today's show, but all you need to do if you want to change the shape of your design is maybe have eight core beads, a bigger arc incorporating more beads, and you'll get a bigger spiral twist and you can incorporate a lot more gemstones. So have an experiment. Have a go at the one I've shown you on the show today and then experiment with the number of core beads through the centre and the number of beads you have in the arcs. Amazing. Come up with some amazing designs. Uh, for fourteen ninety nine for that's everything crazy. that's on your that's screen. That's the strand of the of rhyolite in my opinion. Yes, I mean we, could, we yeah. always say it, don't we, Mark? You know, we rarely ever get mm. rhyolite. No, no rarely ever. It's one of lovely Allison's favourite gems. Yeah, I rhyolite. get that. Yeah. It is beautiful, isn't it? And if you love the Mookite showcase, I think you're going to love mm. the rhyolite. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Um, because they have actually got quite similar. Oh, yeah. and similar that'll incorporate that bit of green that was missing. Yes. That's a great idea. Um, Stay we are. Make sure you check out those baskets. Hello to you, Maureen, Carmarthenshire, Lincolnshire, Wendy, Pauline, Devon, and Jenny, Rachel. Um, keep on dialing through. Perfect. Wonderful, wonderful addition to go alongside Mark's uh, check fire polish kits, which, as I said, very limited now across many. I think only the Rosaline one is actually, uh, I wouldn't call plentiful, mm. but actually has some um, some level of stock within. The black is on the verge of selling out if it already hasn't done so. And I, I fully expect the turquoise to. Um, wow. Okay, final kit. Are you going to do what I think you're going to do? That tourmaline is stunning. That's what I was thinking. So that's the, that's the kit price then. There's the price of the kit. <laughs> There's the price oh, of the kit. Oh, it's beautiful. So you could ombre this if you wanted to, or you could put it in your stash and use one of your fire polish. You can do all sorts of things with this. And being four mil. Oh, wow. That's stunning. Faceted. We don't have faceted very often, do we? So delight. Mm. Oh, wow. Ben. One of our favorites. And red. Silver lined red. Oh, oh yes. So that means literally the heart or the core yeah, of the uh, uh, of the Mayuki yeah. is literally poured with silver, isn't it? The whole bead are covered. The, the beads are put into a huge vat, in covered in molten silver, and then it's left to dry. And then the outside of the beads are jet washed to get all the silver off, leaving yeah. the, the silver on the inside. That's amazing. And then they're all individually hand they pro, hand 
just to check that the holes aren't blocked. The amount of work that goes into Masses, this. Masses, yeah. You know, and you've got two beautiful, rare, genuine gemstones in your soda light. Look at that blue. It's absolutely amazing. And then, um, wow, I'm just looking at a ruble light casually walk before, uh, sort yeah, of roll yeah. around. Tourmaline, of course, the most complex um, of probably all of your gemstones. Each and every single color of tourmaline has a different chemical composition. And those chemical compositions are in excess of 50. So you, you think about the rarity that tourmaline actually mm -hmm. has to... You know, to, you know, to yeah. form. And we, we bring it to you at £14.99. Crazy. <laughs> that is basically the, the, the price of your tubes and then your gemstones for right. free. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Unbelievable. Kathleen, Wendy, Angela, Karen, Yvonne, Sharon, Elspeth, Tynanway. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. And you could, because I we get it, don't we? Not everybody... Um, works with seabeads. Some people would actually prefer to work with your gemstones, absolutely. but that doesn't mean you can't do the same no. techniques. No, absolutely not. Do, no. You remember, do you remember when we first launched seabeading? So many people were anti it. I was. You weren't. I was. Yeah, now yeah, look yeah. at you. I know. I was, actually, I was looking for some pieces for Hannah yesterday for a project she's working on, and I found my very first seabead piece of jewellery yesterday, which has been hidden how away did, in, How in, did you in, convert? In it was Hannah. Hannah Osborne, because when, when we were told that we were going to be launching seed beading, all of the guest designers were given a kit and I gave mine back. I've made this no secret. I gave mine back and said, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, it's not for me. I'm, it's too fiddly, too faffy for me. And um, just by chance, I, um, I went on a Cellini spiral workshop with Hannah Osborne. It was the very first seed bead workshop at Ivy House. Within five minutes, I don't know whether it was the products or whether it was Hannah's teaching. It was probably Hannah's teaching. Within five minutes, I was hooked. Asked for my CB kits back. The rest is history. And just yeah. so many Designed and had my own beads. Well, so many well, people were know? anti anti sea beads and oh, we're like, well, listen, no it's the way. biggest medium in jewelry in making. Absolutely. And that doesn't mean that you can't cross those mediums. No. Well, I, I always use gemstones yeah. alongside. Yeah. Hence Absolutely. why we're bringing you this yeah. kit. Yeah. Um, Oh, wow. Well, I tell you what, jewelry makers, wow. it has been absolutely amazing. The black kit oh. um, has sold out. You can get the blue and you can still get the pink. Those colours wow. would be lovely together. You can mix and match. If you bought yeah. all four, the yeah. colour combinations that you can do are incredible. Yeah, there we go. So the, fr the front two kits just here have sold out. You can still get the pink just and you can still get the blue. I can't remember what they're called. Have a little look at the photos Twerk on the web. And twerk and shake. Shake. You <laughs> twerk. twerk. You twerk. twerk. You twerk and shake. <laughs> um, Adam will show us how to twerk, won't you, Adam? No, absolutely no. He's like, no, adamantly no. Um, but stay with us, everybody. Uh, of course, you can watch back this morning online um, or you can switch over to our lovely sister channel, Lovely Vicky is on Hobby Maker, looking gorgeous as always. You're hooked with Hobby Maker, aren't you? Um, hunky dory, yes. Yes. And I have to, I have to remortgage my house. The products I've spent with Hunky Dory the past two weeks. Andrew's fuming. And but I'm going to make I'm going to make my own cards this year. Lovely. Love it, absolutely love it. And you're also going to be on Sewing so Street. So I've got my Sewing Street debut on Thursday. I'm doing the 12 to 1 hour. And then I'm on with Carol here at Jewelry Maker on Sunday for the last few pieces of the Chestnut Close collection. Lovely. Which we're launching at 11 o'clock. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Um, I'm off now for the weekend, so I will see you ah. back, on, uh, back on Monday, Monday. morning. Monday. Well, have Monday a lovely... Morning. You're going to go home and practice your twerking now, aren't you? No. No. <laughs> no, not even. I thought you said you were having a glass of wine this evening. Glass I mean, of wine, you never twerking, know. Twerking, you never know. Normally when I have a glass of wine, it doesn't <laughs> quite reach that scale, but you never know. You never know. Um, I might find myself twerking later on. You have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Mark. Bye-bye. Thank you.